the road to the ultimate Madden Bowl final in Las Vegas makes one final stop at EA Studios in Redwood City, California. Tonight, we take six competitors down to two. Who of this elite group of six will find their way to punch their ticket to Las Vegas and a chance at $250,000 and the first ever ultimate Madden Bowl ring. Some of the best in action tonight. You're not going to want to miss it as we bring you the ultimate Madden Bowl presented by Lexus. The road to glory is a long one. It's crowded. It's bumpy. It's maddening, but it can be freeing. It's filled with both moments of triumph and of disappointment. You never know where it's going to lead or when you'll even get there. Some arrive right away. He might be the rookie of the year in Madden 24. While others feel like they're on an endless journey. No matter what, you keep on moving because that's what the best do. They don't stop when the road gets too difficult. They don't give up. Come on, Let's go. Come on. Come on man. They fight. It's time for the ultimate Madden Bowl. Oh, he's out here going crazy. They work harder. Thousands competed all year long to get to this point. They train longer. This is our Super Bowl, the biggest stage we have in Madden. They stay on that road even while everybody has already turned their back the other way. Who will be the first one to win the first ever Madden championship ring? You want to be the best? Greatest of all time. Then you got to beat the best. Why would you piss me off? He's done it all when it comes to competitive Madden. This Come on. Come on. is the ultimate Madden Bowl. One more chance for all these players to punch their ticket to Las Vegas. A few games left before we find out who's going to be competing for $250,000 in the first Ultimate Madden Bowl ring. It's the Ultimate Madden Bowl presented by Lexus. So happy to be back with you for day three. Nick Mazesco, one great user, Tyler Davis, and Clef the God back with you once again. User, it doesn't get more high pressure than this. The money, of course, adds pressure. Obviously, the ring adds pressure, but just the thought that at the end of the day, you could be punching a trip to Las Vegas. These boys are locked in. I mean, this is the moment before the moment, right? You got history on the line. You got legacy on the line. These last six people, the elite six, championship ring, $250,000 for the championship winner. Henry's still here. D TJ, the rookie of the year, Kobo. Henry said he want to see Kobo. He wants to get his revenge from the harvest. There's so much on the line in Las Vegas. Who's gonna punch that ticket? Are you ready we for Las Vegas? Vegas? Can we get there now? Man, like, I Like, can we just go tonight? Can we fast just, forward like, this all just to get to Vegas? Yeah. I mean, it's gonna be insane. It's gonna be electric. We're gonna be, you know, I don't wanna give it to away. Big theater, though. It's gonna be electric. <laughs> I, mean, I can't wait to go get ahead, there. Go ahead, snitch, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> With the final six here in the Madden Bowl, I mean, you talked about the money, but it's that ring. It's that first ever ring. Who's gonna be able to cement themselves as a legend in the Madden community and say, I was the first ever to hold that Madden Bowl ring? Clef, we got a field full of heavy hitters some fields of guys who are playing with house money as they're just hoping to maybe make a surprise and get to Las Vegas. A little mix of everything tonight. Yeah, a lot of people in this in this final six right here, you get to play loose. You know, really, Henry and West supposed to meet in the finals of this tournament. That's what everybody thinking. Mm. You know, they've been the best two here. They've had dominant performances. And you just see some, a name like TJ playing with house money, very loose. Nobody expected him to even get to this far. And let alone, he got a chance to get to the finals and get to Vegas in his first year. I mean, what an accomplishment that'll be. DJ, two wins away. Same Mr. Football fan. I mean, there's this. No this one's talking field. about fancy, too. I feel like, and he's 12th all time in money earned, and no one's still talking about him. He's in another Final Four in the Madden Bowl. Don't forget about the silent assassin Kobo also waiting in the wings. But if you missed any of the action from day two of the Ultimate Madden Bowl, let's catch you up. We started things off. Dreamy and Gabagol, an onside kick gets recovered. But Drini's defense able to lock down late, thwart the Hail Mary. It is Drini who was able to come away with that first round win, 34-27 over Gabigol. Following that, Kobo and Astro, fireworks abound, high-powered offense. But at the end of the day, it was Kobo, the silent assassin with the win, 34-27 over the gunslinger Astro. TJ and Kim, a rematch from the playoffs challenge and guess what? It was TJ once again able to come away with the victory. 
He takes home the win and knocks out the Madden 18 Bowl champion. We close out the night with history. It was nothing but history in our final game as it was Dreamy and uh, we, we finish it off. Dreamy in action, taking on Henry, Henry, and that game was electric. The crowd was electric. Legacy game. And this is what sets up tonight's matchups. We got Mr. Football and Fancy. That's a quarterfinal matchup, $45,000 on the line. Kobo and TJ as well. Then we move to Wesley, who's waiting to find out the winner of that Mr. Football Fancy matchup and the number one player in the world. Henry will close out the night, taking on the winner of Kobo, who said he wants, he wants Henry. Henry wants Kobo. They want that matchup, but TJ's standing in the way. Well, I'm going to tell you one thing. Even though Kobo wants Henry, I don't like Clef touched on it, y'all forget, Wesley and Henry used to be best friends. When they lost that Madden Bowl championship, a friendship was broken up forever. Here's all you know money. Wesley's looking for me. All the money on the line, $250,000 going to the winner. That's going to be handed out in Las Vegas. Look how much is being handed out tonight. A couple $45,000 games of Madden, a couple $50,000 games of Madden as well, and they're all working towards that Madden Bowl ring. That's all, that's all they wanted. They want that Madden Bowl ring. The money is cool, but the ring being the only one to have that beautiful ring designed by Justin's, that is that is what these are, players are playing for today. Plenty of high-powered action. Let's see how we got to this point. Start things off, user, with Fancy, a consistent year from a man who's been consistently at the top of Madden. I mean, let's be real. Fancy has been one of those guys on the brink every year. Somehow, some way, he always finds a way to lose a game devastated. Could this be his year? Because he's always had the offensive talent. Mr. Football 88, the most recent belt winner coming into the tournament. He's looked strong early. Momentum is real. He's on fire right now. And another thing, too, could he be the first ever to win a championship with his girlfriend in attendance? How about Kobo? What more can be said about Kobo Clef? Trips tight end offense. Everyone's having trouble stopping this. Been a real sleeper this tournament. Haven't heard a lot from Kobo, but if you watched him play yesterday, he was dominant. A brilliant win versus Astro defensively, offensively. Hey, he's somebody you got to watch out for. Maybe the rookie of the year, TJ. So close to getting a belt, but a couple second place finishes, and he's thinking about that ring. Yes, TJ, I, I think he's earned rookie of the year, in my opinion, because honestly, the way he plays, he looks dominant in every game. Even when he lost his championship to John Beast, TJ is a guy that can sneak up and win this whole thing. Wesley Gittins, what more to be said for who may be the best player without a belt? A lot of debate there, but right now he looks like one of the best players in competitive Madden. And this is what he does, right? He gets deep into every single tournament, but he's yet to get over that hump and win his first individual belt. We know and we're hoping maybe we get that Henry Wesley matchup in our championship, and you know Wesley has revenge on his mind. Wesley reached 100 wins yesterday. Guess who else got there? It was Henry Clef. In his short career, 100 wins. First player over $900,000 in career earnings. A true icon, the greatest to do it. Looks as good as he ever, ever has looked. His confidence is on another level, closing games out. I mean, there's nothing he hasn't done, and he just keep doing. He, he's making the impossible just possible. Those are your six competitors, two of them will punch their ticket to Las Vegas at the end of the night. Let's start talking matchups, gentlemen, because we've got two great quarterfinal matchups coming up. We start off with Fancy and Mr. Football. Ty, Fancy is one of those guys that has been at the top of the sport for a long time. We've been waiting for him to make that big leap to getting a belt, to getting a clutch win. Can he do it today? Yeah, you know, and he's been so consistent. And, you know, we talk about Clef. We talk about Wesley as the two that really are the closest that haven't got a belt yet. I think Fancy's third on that list. I really do. He's come close multiple times. He's right behind Clef and Wesley. Uh, he's, I believe he's 12th, I think 12th or 12th all time in money earned. I mean, just insane the accomplishments he has. You know, those big moments have been his issue, right? In those big moments. And we saw uh, this week he lived up to the hype in that big moment when he had that game-winning drive. So he's been living up to the moment. Can he continue to do it here? Yeah, and for Fancy, Clyde, Fancy's always been an elite offensive user. Yeah, he's always had great offense. And I think yesterday was probably... That was probably the best win he's gotten. You know, that win right there, because you need wins like that. You need an adversity win. We have not seen him get those type of wins. We've seen him lose games in that situation. So to get his first win in the Madibow in a situation where he's usually gave the lead away and, and win in a clutch fashion, that's big for his confidence. On the flip side, user, we got 88. Most recent belt winner, a man who, well, when he won his belt, 
you might have trashed him a little bit as you. I, you, I mean, you let him know how I just bad he was. Facts. Listen, I try to give people the journey. You know what I'm saying? Because sometimes people, you see people at the top, and you never understand or know what it took for them to get there. That's all I was saying. But you did kind of. No. You did, no. But I mean, talk about the leap that he has had into the elite in competitive men. I mean, he has. I mean, this guy, he's you know catapulted his game to it. To a different stratosphere. Let's be honest. 88 looks like he's the most well balanced player out here. He could be the one that really checked with this tournament because he's been playing sound football. You know, Henry doesn't look rattled, but 88 on the other end, he's just been playing real calm and controlled. He doesn't seem to be shaken by anything. We used to see him make mistakes. He's not making those mistakes anymore. Fancy is going to be a tough hurdle for him to get over, but if he keeps playing sound football and doesn't turn the ball over, 88 is easily one of the guys that can upset this whole bracket and win that championship ring. 88 has had a fantastic year. How about we have a little fun with this one, boys? You weren't here for this the first time, but we got to throw it to the dev, K Spade's favorite segment. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's actually crazy. Crazy. I mean, that's crazy. That is crazy. I mean, that's crazy. All right, Ty, we're going to start with you. A statement for this game. Of the six remaining competitors, Mr. Football is the most likely to make the Madden Bowl final. That's crazy. I'm going to say that's not crazy because what? momentum is real. And he's not on the side of Henry. He's got Wesley on the side, which is obviously a tough task, no doubt about it. But he can beat Wesley, and that's a game I definitely want to see as well. But You I said mean, that's crazy. That's though. crazy. I mean, Ty talking like we're already in Vegas and he being at the craft table. That's crazy. Wait till next week. The disrespect. I think it's crazy. I think it's <laughs> wow, crazy. When, okay. when, you, when you got Henry in Madden Bowl and Wesley in Madden Bowl, those two are, are most likely – Bump Wesley. When you got Henry and Madden Bowl, on, he's man. most likely to make it. I mean, he's shown us that time and time and time and time again. And what's even more crazy, this guy is always picking Henry or Wesley the highest pick, and he's going to sit up here and say, you know what? He tried to be sharp. Hey, he's trying to be sharp right now. You know what I'm saying? But if you would have hey. asked him to pick, hey. he would have said, hey, Nick, no, just let them know who's undefeated in their picks yesterday. Well, okay. I think I am too, though. He took, he's undefeated. No? He took Henry. No, no. You yeah. took Dreamy? No, I took Henry. I took him. No, 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 I took you him did not. Don't lie. Don't sit up here and lie. Can we roll the tape? I ain't want to. We have it on tape. It's fine. It's fine. That's going to be a fantastic battle. But later tonight, the winner of this game will take on Wesley Gittins. To some, he's considered the best player in NCS history without an individual championship. It's a title Wesley is hoping to shed in this ultimate Madden Bowl tournament. And if you know Wesley, you know he won't quit until he does. <laughs> until he does. Oh my goodness, what a monumental mistake to do in a championship game. When things go wrong, and they sometimes will, and the road you're running seems all uphill. Beat down. This is heartbreaking right now for Wesley. When the funds are low and the depths are high. Wesley cannot believe how that last drive went. And you want to smile, but you have to sigh. When care is pressing you down a bit, that is an absolute heartbreaker. Rest if you must, but baby, don't you quit. Often the struggler has given up. Oh, so close to that belt. And as you mentioned. But he might have captured the victor's cup. But he has to bounce back. And he learned too late when the night slipped down how close he was to the golden crown. Call him Wesley, call him Joe Rice, you're gonna call him the winner. Success is failure turned inside out, the silver tint of the clouds of doubt. And we have life. Wesley with a deep breath. And you never can tell how close you are. It may be near when it seems so far. A spot in the semifinals, Wesley Giddens in OT. So stick to the fight when your heart is hit. It's all about heart, it's all about fire. It's when things seem worse that you must not quit. And there is the man who will, is one win away from a spot in the Madden Bowl final, Wesley Gittens. When you talk about Wesley Club, the interesting thing, this is, I mean, you saw the piece. He's had so many heartbreaking losses. But he's currently the only player that has won two games here at the Ultimate Madden Bowl. He took down the number two seed, John Beast. Is this the best we've seen Wesley in form? 
This is by far the best I've seen Wes. Um, just defensively, he's gotten a lot of stops this tournament. And the one knock against him every year since he's been playing Madden is he can't play defense. He's not a defensive player. He's an offensive defense, player. His defense against Dez was oh, unbelievable. His defense against Dez was phenomenal. And it won him the game. And when you have an offensive player who's so talented and so high-powered like Wes, if he can just get a stop or two, he's going to win that game. And that's how he feels. And you can see he's playing complete Madden right now. Yeah, and that's the one issue, though, is, right? He played so good defense against Dez. And then we saw he did against John Beast. It wasn't that great defensively. So he's very up and down. Was it not great defense or was it two really good offenses? It, that's part of it, too. That's part of it, too. And, you know, Wesley's always had that amazing offense. And I feel like Wesley's been in, like, ten Final Fours at this point, right? Like, just seems like every tournament he's making that run into the Final Four. And you talked to him the other day. He seems confident now, and he wants Henry yeah. in that championship That's what game. I was going to say, User. It's, it's in the back of his head. He knows he has work to do. But you know all he's looking at is Las Vegas and a possible rematch of the Madden 22 Ultimate Madden Bowl. I mean, you got to think about it. That win was the win that catapulted Henry. You know what I'm saying? Henry lost relationships. They were best friends. I mean, they literally they, moved they into they the same yeah, exactly. apartment building together. I mean, understand the type of relationship and rapport you have to have with somebody like, oh, you know what? I'm going to move down from Chicago and live one floor below you. Man, they laughed up. They prepared together. And somehow, some way, it was a magical moment, both of them meeting in the finals. And Wesley has to sit back and see Henry get all the glory and just keep rising and rising. Now, new rings, new championships, new Mount Rushmore. Henry's the GOAT. You fast forward three years later, and we're like, Wesley still hasn't won one yet. I believe it's an un an unbelievable fire and desire burning inside of Wesley that he's going to come up here and you're going to see the best game you've ever seen out of this man. Still a long way to go before we get to that. Let's go to our other quarterfinal matchup, TD. You got TJ taking on Kobo. And for TJ, what a rookie season. Hadn't played much before before this year, really. Comes onto the competitive man scene. Two top two, so close to a belt. Uh, and he's already got another win over a legend in Kim. Yeah, and I really think if he wins this game right here, he he's in that running for rookie there. Might even be the favorite. I know Abram has that belt, but what TJ has accomplished this year is unbelievable. Two finals appearances. Uh, if he gets a third in one season, that would be insane. I mean, TJ has been phenomenal. He's been consistent, and he does it on offense and defense. His offense has been unstoppable. TJ so close to a belt on the flip side. Kobo. I mean, Clef, what more can be said about this kid? We, I think the community has known how talented he is, and this has been his coming out party this year with how good he has played and taking home a belt. I think Kobo is underrated. I think people don't realize how much he plays the game. You know, you, you think about all these guys and you think they all play the game the same. No, Kobo plays the game more than anybody. He put the most work in in this tournament, and that's why here, and his defense has been immaculate. Astro, the best offensive player in the world, Kobo shut him down. Kobo made him look mortal. You know, he got so many turnovers versus him and his offense, Kobo offense in that trip's tight end. You don't see people run it as methodically as he does. So I can't wait to see that game. All right, let's play a little That's Crazy user. I'm going to start with you. The statement for this game, specifically to Kobo, his trip's tight end scheme is the best and hardest offense to defend in Madden 24. That's crazy. I mean, it's tough, but is it better than strong bunch? I, I don't think it's crazy because you don't get crazy. trips. You don't get trips. I mean, that's true. The way he runs trips, that's not spamming buttons trips. It's no, it's not these type of trips. He actually It's has, not like a basic trips. He's got yes. layers it's, and layers to this thing. It's definitely not buttons trip, but we can, like, we can say that for sure. More people. Do spam buttons just catch a stray? Uh, from well, user. Every from time user. I say from something, user. I'm from user. always firing a stray. I mean, we just saying facts here. I just repeated what he but, said. But to break but it, when it, I say it, it's a stray. Kobo motions and does stuff like that. Spamming button is more, he quick yeah. snaps a lot. Kobo don't really do that. Kobo yeah. motion people over Kobo's more quick diet. Yeah, yeah. spamming more vertical down the field. Yeah, I mean, you know, when I see Kobo play, his offense is methodical, but like you said, we don't see it a lot. And so I feel like if we had more looks at it, would it be as Hold methodical? Hold on, what do you mean we don't see it a lot? He just won a belt running it, and we saw it. Yeah. But no, that's what I'm saying. We don't see everyone else running trips tight end. We're like not getting reps against five, that's six other guys out there. Okay. That's what makes it hard to stop, because you don't okay. see it. You don't I guess it can go both ways. That's crazy, not crazy. That's crazy. Well, either way, the winner of this task will have the unenviable task. Nice try getting me that in the prompter. I almost missed that. Of facing the sixth time, Henry. Uh, that game will take place at the end of tonight and decide who will be the second competitor in the Ultimate Madden Bowl final. Henry has some experience winning a Madden Bowl and was able to break down some tape with one great user and Madden 24 cover athlete Josh Allen.
I'm one great user. I'm here in the Madden film room. I'm here with the King Henry himself and the cover athlete, Josh Allen. And Josh, here we are, the final play, Madden Bowl, $100,000 on the line. Henry playing Wesley. Wesley, arguably one of the best players in the world that hasn't won a belt. And Henry, as you can see, number one, still on top of the mountain. And Henry is down. He has to come up with one of the clutchest moments in his life. Can he do it? How bad is your heart beating right here? I'm actually calm. Calm? Okay. Yeah. Derrick Henry, quarterback, I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so once again, he's running his favorite play verticals. We're highlighting the user right there, the running back coming out the backfield, and RB. When you first take a look at this play, what decision or where does your mind go to? You know what? If I'm in my mad mode, and I've played this guy a million times, I know which way he's probably more than likely going to go, right? Yeah, exactly. So that's, that's knowing, your, knowing your personnel, it's knowing your opponent. That's, uh, that's, what we, that's our film work, right? So understanding what that guy's going to do, where he's going to lean, where he's better moving. I'm, I'm squeezing it into RB. I'm throwing a bullet. Right well, you here. love to fit something in the window, <laughs> don't you? Okay. <laughs> All right, so he said he's going to squeeze it to RB. And that's exactly what my guy Henry does right here in this situation. Henry, you can just bring us back to this moment. And you see Josh Allen saying, hey, I'm going to do the same thing as you. You're going for the guts and glory. How did you come to that decision at that moment? Uh, yeah, so, you know, I mentioned it before, acrobat. Big ability, scary. He has acrobat on his user. So not only can he jump high, but now he can dive. Gotcha. So as soon as I see this, you know, this guy's open. You're just gonna assume they're not gonna leave him open, right? And plus, you mentioned it, I played this dude a million times. I'm throwing it straight to him. You know, if he gets there, great play. But you know, I, I, I feel like I really do know who I'm playing and I'm just gonna trust it and deliver it over the middle. Henry squeezes in the high ball. He's scary. Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> squeezes it in there, high ball, and yeah, he snapped it. Oh, yeah. That's the energy you was looking for, Josh. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we had to mute everything. Yeah. yeah. Had to lock his door so he didn't run upstairs, right? <laughs> so hopefully, man, 24, we may maybe get to see you and him suit up one time. Who knows? We appreciate you coming out. Appreciate you doing the film room with us. Henry tweeted out two more. Uh, there's nothing scary to see that tweet. I don't know why, but that tweet's ominous. Henry, just two wins away from another championship, and by the way, $2 million in career earnings. Not too bad, but Henry is out here. A little, he's not exactly 100%. Clef, you were out there on the, on the court. Yeah, but listen, I've heard it is, uh, the injury report is day-to-day. Uh, -day. He's fine, just a little jammed thumb. He says it should not affect him too much, but it's going to be, he said it's going to be uncomfortable. Hey, hey, well, they, the, the report is he's probable to play. Yeah, he's probably. You know, he, yeah, yeah. They moved from a, a game time decision, so it's, he's, he's going to play. There's no way you took the king out there with Ooh. all this on the line and had him risk it playing. You could have stopped it, but no, what no, was no, you no, doing? Were you? What were you at when I everybody was, doing was what in that been doing. Doing. Laying in the bed, resting up. He getting his mind right. No. He was getting now his mind right. Now you got this guy injured. This is one of them Lamar Jackson moves. Mm -hmm. That's what Uncle Shannon Sharp is talking about. It's too much on the line. Now you got the king out here bandaged up. You are supposed to set an example for these young you guys. And you got him out here balling. Ball is life. Listen, ball, ball is, is life. life. Yes, it is. It's a million ball dollars on the life. line. And now that you got the ball. king wrapped up in bandage. Is ball is life, man. Oh Some goodness, people, they man. take this serious, man. Well, pick up game, you might have cost this man hundreds of thousands of dollars. That's a loser mentality. Do you think it's going to affect Henry? I mean, you never know how, how deep this injury extends. You know what I'm saying? Maybe his fingers won't be firing. Look, you look, never know. And look, he, he has two more wins to win that uh, ring. But at the end of the day today, he could be the first Madden millionaire. That's so right. this is like the he biggest. Needs, he needs both wins to get to a million. He needs the 50, 50k will get him he to needs nine. Both? Okay, okay. Yeah. So he needs both. So this, but this still is one of the biggest days of his life. Yeah. Just a punch. You got the him out here Vegas, playing yeah. ball. It's like a sprained ankle. You know, a, a, a jam thumb. See, for, this is for somebody a gamer, like that a does not ankle. care. You could play on it. He can play on a jam thumb. He gonna be all right. And sometimes you need that adversity. There's some people at home you take notes. That. You know how your parents always tell you, you gotta protect yourself. Watch yourself because you have people around you that don't really understand what you really got on the line. And as you can see, Clef the God is one of those guys. He wasn't worried about Henry playing for 250. Do you understand? He's what like, he let's got go get line? buckets. Do you understand what he got? Oh on? yeah, I legacy. Been I done been. How you been there? You you ain't been there. How you been there? You ain't never. How, been how many belts you won with a jam? There was a lot of discussion before this about the two jumpers. 
I seen that jumper. You ain't pull up. And he picking splash. berries, ain't he? That jumper wet. Splash. Come on, man. That jumper's wet. Come on, man. It is wet, but it's ugly, Come though, on. ain't it? Uh, well, he I'm digging on. straight from Zada the gut. Hollins, he man. digging straight from the gut. <laughs> uh, it uses, he uses his entire body. Speaking of basketball, we saw this earlier today from the Madden Championship Series Twitter. Madden pickup basketball update. Tall guy's not lost a game yet. Then an update. Tall guy dropped his first game. Who's on that team? Nick Mazesco. Who else was on that team? Nick Mazesco. Who else was on that team? Okay. Oh, we three, 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 three from three. Three from three. That was going crazy. Bro. Oh, baby. We got, wait, we got footage? We got footage? That's not. Here we go. To the corner. Nick Mazesco. Oh, Splash, baby. Brother. Splash, brother. Splash, brother. Give this, Clay Give this man a 10 day. I just would like to point out. For all those people that saw the picture of me hitting the jump shot over Wesley back oh, in that night, oh, look I got way more ups. Look at the hustle. Back, hey, look at I'm the hustle. Effort. I bring, I bring hustle, bro. That's look at the hustle. You can't coach that. I right don't there. know why you had to slow it down, though. That was kind of unnecessary. You can't coach that right look now. Look at the hustle. That was unnecessary. You can't coach that right now. The fun was great. Like, Nick shot so well, man. I seen him guard him in the parking lot. He was that hot. I'm like, why you still guard him in the parking lot? They say, hey, coach, I got to pick him up. He was that hot. He was shooting from deep, too. It's at this moment I'd like to announce my retirement from ever playing competitive sports. I hurt. I hurt. It's all bad over here. But it was good stuff. All his life. Use it to understand that. He, well, he was. He don't understand. Sleep is he life was for him. snoring. Listen, Fake sleep. And who's feeling good right now? We feeling good. We feeling good. No, you were asleep. Y'all guys asleep. are sore. Yeah, you guys are sore. You guys are sore, sore, but energy. You got Henry yeah. bandage up. Listen, yeah. I made the right decision. Good. I made the right decision. I don't decision. respect the fake sleeper. Just be sleep. Don't fake sleep. But hit me with a sleepy voice. Yeah, he, he did. He did. Wide awake, fake sleep. man. I see you change. Let's take a look at our bracket tonight. See where we stand right now. This is what we have on tap. You see the two quarterfinal matchups, Kobo and TJ and Mr. Football and Fancy Henry and Wesley waiting in the wings respectively. By the end of tonight, we will have our ultimate Madden Bowl final set. Two of the world's best Madden players go head to head for their share of the $1 million prize pool and to be crowned the ultimate Madden Bowl champion in Las Vegas, Nevada. Will you be in Las Vegas on Friday, February 9th? If so, we have limited spots available for guests to catch all the action in person. If you're interested, DM us at EA Madden NFL underscore MCS and we'll reach out with more details. We want everybody to show up to this thing. So if you're in the area, shoot us a DM. Let's do some predictions. Let's start off quickly with our first game. Fancy and Mr. Football has taken home the win. I think I might have to roll with Fancy on this one. Somehow, some way, I want to see Fancy finally get over the hurdle because he's one of those guys. I mean, we've always seen it offensively. Can he finally do it? Yeah, you know, it's a great matchup here. I think 88 has that momentum. He's been hot. He hasn't lost since November, I believe, yeah. in MCS. He since, hasn't lost since, since qualifying for zero chill. chill. Yeah, so he hasn't lost in a long time. Fan, uh, football's on fire. I'm going to go 88. Yeah, this is this is really this is a great matchup for fantasy. You know, when you're an elite passer, you want to play against somebody like football who is way more defensive than he is passing. I think this is by far fancy best chance to make a final and make a run. I'm going with fancy. Well, there's only one way to find out. It's to get these games underway. And tonight we'll have our final. We got a long way to go, ladies and gentlemen. We're so glad you're along with us. There is the ultimate Magna Bowl ring, the final prize, game number one. Fancy and Mr. Football battle it out for $45,000. It's all coming up from the Ultimate Madden Bowl presented by Lexus. Lexus GX. 1.7 million dollars. It's insanity. Let's go, baby! There's no world where we're thinking about a million dollar winner inside of Madden. Hold up that belt, young fella. The best man players in the world. Oh, he's out here going crazy! Woo! All fighting for 14 spots in the year's biggest tournament. Welcome to the ultimate Madden Bowl. Oh, my God! And all eyes are on one man in his quest to become Madden's first seven-figure earner. Henry has a chance to get his Tom Brady on. Let's go! 
winning the Madden Bowl. That's definitely the end goal for sure. Talk to me. EA Sports presents Road to Madden Millionaire. It's time. The $1 million Madden Ball is here. And so are the final MCS Twitch drops of the season. First up, viewers can earn two MCS Madden Ball tokens per stream during the broadcast on January 30th, January 31st, and February 1st. That's six Madden Ball tokens in total that can be earned over the first three Madden Ball broadcasts. Madden Ball tokens can then be redeemed for Super Bowl program packs starting on February 2nd. Or redeem your tokens for an MCS player fantasy pack that will let you choose one of the six MCS program players from this season. This is a good opportunity for anyone who might be missing a player that they need for the MCS champion set. Speaking of MCS program players, the playoffs champion, Mr. Football 88, decided to design none other than 94 overall Kyle Pitts as the Madden Ball Drop Player Reward. Boom. Viewers can earn this Kyle Pitts by linking their EA and Twitch accounts. Then watch the Madden Ball finale on February 9th for at least 45 minutes. This Kyle Pitts has a focus on its speed, deep route running, and pass block rating. For abilities, this item will get discounted Tight End Apprentice and Slot Apprentice in its custom ability bucket. Like the other MCS drop players this season, Kyle Pitts will go into the MCS Champion set at the end of the Madden Ball. That's not all. By tuning into the Madden Ball Finale on February 9th, you will also be able to earn a Fantasy Pack that will guarantee a 92-plus BND Super Bowl Program player. So go ahead and join us so we can find out who is winning the Madden Ball. Day three gets underway. The crowd is ready. The people are ready. Are you ready? As we have the first game of the night, quarterfinal action, $45,000 on the line as Fancy battles Mr. Football for the spot in the semis and a matchup with Wesley. Let's take a look at our tail of the tape, see how these two square up against each other. Very even Madden careers, TD. These guys seem to be on parallel paths pretty much. You look at the earnings, you look at the career record, there's not a whole lot of difference. There's not a lot of difference. The only one is Mr. Football has that elusive belt, won the playoff challenge just a month ago. He is hot right now, and Fancy is looking over, looking to get over that hump and get his first championship. Both these guys are super talented John Madden football players. Boys ready in a couple hours to have who's going to Vegas with us? Absolutely. Yeah. Can't wait. Mm. You're, you're going, right? Come on, man. Okay, I just want to make sure. I, wouldn't miss I thought you might have a, a party or something. Might be a day later, so. Nah, nah, listen, I did it like I told you. I missed that one that day for us. That ain't for us. For us. That's cap. I guarantee you, you ain't say Nick Davis Clef. You ain't even say the words not I one did. time I in Orlando. <laughs> you ain't say them words listen, once. I said, man, I got a brother, man, now. He put Beijing in his beard, but listen, he, he can call some Madden now. What are you talking about? You related to like Carlos Boozer? You know Carlos Boozer? <laughs> no, we no. Kick things off inside Lexus Stadium. It is Mr. Football with the ball. First, John Britt, the fourth TD, the tw Madden 24 Playoffs Challenge champion, the most recent belt winner, a veteran of the game, and he is just getting started. Yeah, John Britt from San Diego, California, 24 years old, two Final Four appearances, seven majors already in his young career, and user talked about at length, you know, he really started from the bottom, worked all the way up, and now he's one of the top players in the community. That last stat user is crazy. There are three players who have made three consecutive ultimate Madden Bowls, Henry, Wesley, and Mr. Football. I don't think a lot of people at home would have picked that. Nah, I, that would have definitely been a stat that went over my head. What can we expect, Clef, from Mr. Football on offense? 
just very, he's been very conservative recently. You know, he doesn't really make a lot of mistakes. Just trying to rely on his defense. You know, he's came up here and he's told us, like, he's he's not beating himself anymore. He's letting people make mistakes, and that's how he's winning ball games. Starts off C.J. Stroud at quarterback. You're going to see Stroud quite a bit as he throws this one away. Uh, Clef, I was talking to him earlier today at the hotel. He said, I asked him how he's feeling. He says, well, I know that Fancy runs Dollar, and I've had about 2,000 reps against Dollar. Oh, yeah. When you come out here and you get to this Madden Bowl, it's not really something you're going to see where people just pull out some completely different. He's played against his defense mm. a lot. But on the other hand, Fancy got a lot of football, uh, film on Mr. Football, so he's going to be have certain adjustments set just for the plays that football likes to run. Fancy's heating it up early here. Nice. Quick throw. Ooh, nice dive. What a way to deal with the pressure. Just get rid of the ball immediately. Excellent dog. Goes quick. He's going to go quick again here, but throws to the seam where you're vulnerable against that pressure, and he throws in there for a first down. There is the bunch strong formation. Stroud back to pass. Rolling right. Looking right. He's going to look for the deep corner, and it is Romeo mm. Dobbs. Blue pass for a first okay. down. That's the key right there, getting that perfect timing. The blue pass right there on the run. It doesn't matter where you are when you throw it. If you get that blue pass, it's going to be on the money. Mr. Football looking good here early. Goes to trips. Three-man rush. Stroud dumps it off underneath, and he'll find James Cook. And it's a great start for Mr. Football. You see him giving him a bunch of strong trips. He, he's really just, he's finding his groove right now. He got a nice rhythm right now, and he's moving the ball fast. Three-man rush. Pressure not getting home his last couple plays. Does he have him? Does he have him? Megatron, it is knocked out, though. We've seen Megatron. He's been so good for so many players, but User has had a couple key drops. I mean, you know, these guys have all the knockout abilities out here on the field, so you got to make sure you have at least a step or two so you'll be able to get oh, yeah. oh, it's Lark. Come on. It's Lark Neal the other way. Fancy with a defensive stop to start things out, TD, and that got to feel good. That's absolutely massive for Fancy's confidence. Not known as a defensive player, but coming up with that big Lurk is huge. As we take a look at it, Ryan Neal comes right, then comes back left, lurks the streak to the running back, and Fancy's in business. Come on. Mr. Football can't believe that he turned the ball over on the first drive. Let's get to know Fancy a little better. His sixth MCS major appearance, his second Final Four. He's the Madden NFL 21 Cowboys Club champion. Club, as we mentioned, this is a guy, offense is his strength. Yeah, offense is his strength. But when you come out here and you get a stop like he got early, it's real big for your confidence. Fancy is somebody who's been around for a long time. You know, he has a lot of experience in these type of games. We see him in Madden Bowl all the time, had a great run last year, and offensively, he's a juggernaut. What I love about this game, user, fancy Frisco, Texas native, rocking the Cowboys jersey. He's a Cowboys fan. On the flip side, Mr. Football, huge Falcons fan. These boys are playing with pride on their jerseys. Oh, yeah, you got to come out here and, you know, represent your favorite team. You're fighting. You need any extra additive juice you can have, take advantage of it. A reminder that the Ultimate Madden Bowl is presented by the all-new Lexus GX. Second and seven. Bunch over to the left side. James Cook stays in to block. Lots of time. Looks underneath. Little hesitant mm. user there. Mm. As Dobbs picks up the first down. A little fancy footwork. It looked like Neal might have been in position. Eh, football held off a little bit. Yeah, using that stick work right there. Big time run from Fancy. Football did a pretty good job there covering both corner routes, but Fancy's able to come back to that solo side drag and complete it here. Fancy, of course, Jacob Worthington from Frisco, Texas. Texas is really like the Madden hub these days. God, that's a king. Yeah, Fancy in his Jets playbook. Expect a lot of, he pretty much snapped every play in Bunch Strong. Expect a lot of Durham, a lot of double corner outs. He's very simple, but he's very effective. And, and football is going to try to double Mabel and take away these big plays and make them throw underneath. Second and 10. Bunch to the wide side, settle receiver wide left. That is Rasheed Rice. Stroud back to pass. Rolling right, he's got some room, he'll take off. 45, 40, 35, and he'll slide down. Right at the 32 yard line, good pocket awareness. You see that C.J. Stroud, one of the best cards in the game right now with that set feet lead, that hot route master, and that gunslinger ability. First and ten. Good defense. Once good again, pocket. though, 
This is what C.J. Stroud does, user. He is so athletic that even when you play good defense, Stroud might pick up 15. And you really got to appreciate Fancy's pocket right here. He's not drifting back. He's stepping up, so he's giving himself a chance to scramble, even if everything is covered. This is something we haven't seen too much. Tight offset, a popular formation in previous Maddens. Fancy goes to this a little bit here. Stroud looking right side. Does he have him, Romeo Dobbs? Yes, indeed. Touchdown, Fancy. Come on. That's what a dot by Fancy. Just throwing that right under that curl flat What's zone that? on his safety. That is a great, great, great dot by Fancy. And what a drive. You know, you get, you get a pick, you get a turnover, you always want to get seven and really make them pay. Yeah, that's an absolute laser. Goes to the tight offset, those double corner routes. And that was a tight window, but he threaded in there. Seven nothing to score. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we'll take a look one more time. This just one of those dots out of this formation. Find it, Romeo Dobbs. And I really want to see how 88 is going to respond. On his run, we haven't seen him really, you know, fall behind in many of his games because he's really been efficient, haven't been throwing as many picks as he normally does. And, like, right there, he would have yeah. normally already checked that down a triangle. In his matchup with Justin, we, we talked about after the game, he didn't really have to do anything offensively because his defense, two pick sixes. So, all of a sudden, being behind the sticks, this is an unfamiliar position for him. Mm -hmm. Especially having not lost a game and, since November. In the last few games we've seen 88 play, he's won by people making mistakes, and he's kind of gotten used to that. That's okay, a great of bounds. Wow. Real tough break there. Fancy does have five KOs back there in his defense. Third and ten. Come on, Darius. Get it to Megatron out of bounds. Wow. Fourth down. <laughs> That That's another good. unfortunate break there, Clef, because he didn't have Lurk Artist there, the guy he was using, tried to throw it in there and just overthrew him. Yeah, yeah and I think he hot ball free form that. And when you hot ball and free form, and this is a bag right here, you got to throw to this tight end late. <sighs> and he gets oh him. God. It's Kelsey. Great read there from Mr. Football, waiting for him to clear the defender. Yeah, that's just great patience right there by football. And way to escape the pocket when you need to, you know, escaping the right way and, and finding that man late. Stroud on first and ten. Oh, that's good defense. Wow, Fancy, we talk about him, his offense. Fancy's in his bag right now. He is. And, and when you think about it, 88, this is a position we haven't seen him many times. And is he going to make sure he make, makes the right read? Because, look, we haven't seen him run the ball yet. And that's the thing about it. His run game has been very dominant in his last couple weeks Tackle. of him being successful. And he has not run at all so far. Third and seven now as we near the end of the first quarter. Bunch wide side, so the receiver left side. Cook out of the backfield, and Cook will get the completion and pick up the first down to the 44-yard line. That's where we'll end the first half of action. An early stop from Fancy turns into six. He's up 7-0. And so tough to defend that play, of course. Mr. Football rocking that Indianapolis Colts playbook. He loves to play double post from bunch offset. Checks what, it down. What percent to the of the Madden here. community you think loves the play double post? Uh-oh. A lot. Gotta be 60 to 70. It's gotta be a lot. Is it the best play, man? I, I think it is. It's up there. That's why I run. Bat and Durham. Out yep. of Gun Bunch Strong. Strong two, yep. two best players. This man said that's why I run Bunch. <laughs> you make it look really bad, so please don't. I mean, is that. Is, why you always want to criticize my bunch? Oh, you my. got the worst bunch I've seen. Your bunch is bad, but it's okay. What a dot by 88. Your, your, your bunch is ugly, your jump shot is ugly, but. Texas, Which one's effective? The Texas route on the running back. Remember who set the medal. Thank you. Now, my reads might not you? have been right. Yes. But the route combination, you know what I'm saying? I cook up. You're the architect. Hell no. End zone. Dobbs. Oh, high ball. Can't man. get it. That's a scary throw right there. He yeah. highballed that, too. I'm calling Real you, scary. I'm calling user the architect from now on. <laughs> he might not be able to put the building together, but he drew up the plans. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And it's right, it's four down territory for 88. It's all about, depending on who you're playing against. You know you're playing against a, a guy on offense. He's going to score points. you got to get seven here. Three won't cut it. Here, double post. Stroud back oh, to good pass. Dish. It's good oh. stick. Good disengage, though. It's going to be third down. 88's trying to hit those seams. You see, he goes double post, but he gets rid of the post route, and he puts a streak out there. Tried to hit it earlier, tries to go to it again. Nothing doing. <laughs> you see all the stress that that play puts on the middle of the field, especially... When you audible that halfback to an angle route, you're forcing a, a lot of routes to the center of the field. Stroud backs pass on third and ten. Looks left nope. side. Megatron, high ball, oh. knockout. Oh. 
very unfortunate to get that knockout right there because that wasn't a KO lighting up. You know, he just he just Megatron knocked that pass out. Drop. We saw John Beast uh, Megatron had a key drop late in that game. Yeah, and that's that's very unfortunate right there. Like Clef said, it's four down territory. He's already turned the ball over once. He cannot settle for three. He goes to trips. He, he's going trips, which he's not super comfortable in. But does he have a dot dialed up? It is Stroud back to pass. Three-man rush. Running back. Left side. He's got Cook. Angle route. That's the one great listen, user angle route. Listen, that Texas route is one of the best routes to defend. No matter what formation you're in, Cook up a Texas route. Listen, you're not, I'm not letting you take credit for no passing concept. <laughs> That'd be disrespectful to the I gave you the credit. Listen, disrespectful Cook to the books. Into the end zone. Nope, he's going to be down to the one-yard line. There's just so much hate in you, man. I blame you, daddy, man. So sad. You can't see it. You up here talking about passing. Listen, the one thing about it, now, my dots may not have complimented the Texas route, but I definitely put it out there every and play. The architect. The building <laughs> might not. How many picks you threw on that compared that to That doesn't that matter. Route. That doesn't matter. The point is, I always had that route on the field. What does it say on this paper right here? You read this paper? No, nah, I can't see that far. Second and goal. He's going to go under center. He subs, yeah. in, he subs in three tight ends from the trips to audible down here. Wing tight. Stretch play, give it a cook, let him cook. Hurdle and jurtle into the end zone. And that's what you have to do when you're playing somebody high powered on offense like that. Fancy, you have to make sure you keep pace with this offense. You've already turned the ball over once. Going forward on fourth down, great play call, way to convert and keep yourself in this ball game. How big is this drive though, user? 306. You gotta hold him to three on this drive. And, and if Fancy, you know, Damn. is a seasoned vet right now, whether he gets seven or three, he already gets the ball back at half. He just needs to make sure 88 does not get this ball back. Check it with the return. Big hit over the middle. I'll get to the 17 yard line. Let's take a look at this one more time. This is the fourth and 10. Such a dot. I mean, what are the combo, too? You see the post route there going to the right. That stresses the user over there. The angle route's open, and then easy jurtle on the stretch play in the end zone, and we got a tie ball game. Here goes Fancy back to work. RPO action. Hmm. Where to go for Cook? Good tackle on the edge. Is that Randy Moss coming up and make that play again? Yeah, swallowing him up in the backfield. A lot of uh, out of position players from that zero chill program. Yeah, those out of positions are just so good. We've seen it all tournament long. Julius Peppers and Randy Moss making a difference here in the Madden Bowl. Second and 12. The defense again. Ooh. What happened? Passed the line of scrimmage? I don't know. No, it was a legal, legal man, man downfield. How was that? What was that? Uh... The right guard. Interesting. He declines it. He's going to make it third and 12. He's cheating. Can't do that. Yeah, we're not declining it. Fancy another oh, guy. Be second down. Now he makes third down instead of second and 17. You see Fancy setting up those double corners there to that left side. Pressure's coming off that left side, though. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Oh, oh, whoa! Almost caught. Almost picked. It ends up falling to the turf. Fourth and 12. I have a feeling the punter's not coming out. The coach went over to the punter and said, we're well, not going to need you today. You can just go to the locker room. We're not going to need you. Hey, man, enjoy the day off. How about you hit the spa or something? I mean, you understand, Fancy's playing with house money already. That's why he's going for a screamer right down the A-gap, and that's a oh. bing to the running back. Do you see Randy? Randy didn't turn around right there. Oh, my God. That's a pick if Randy turns around. Instead, it's a completion. Listen, the right read is the completed pass. If it's completed, it's not. It's to the two-minute warning. And you know Fancy wants to try to use all this clock here make this the final possession. It will. I think it's worth the static here. Seven apiece as we've hit the two minute warning. Read option. Nice little juke move inside and outside. Picks up a first down. And you can already see that clock management from Fancy. You know when Fancy starts handing the ball off, putting it on the ground, he's going into milkman mode. A reminder all these games being played on PlayStation, the exclusive console provider of the Ultimate Madden Bowl. Stroud, Cook, mm. Tr oh. tried a little slide, a little slide step. Couldn't get past the defender, still gets three. More importantly, that clock keeps moving. Yeah, you see him slowing it down here. Interesting to see when 88 maybe tries to use those timeouts here in a little bit. Looks like he's going to dial up a table out of the back. I like this route combo. Let's see if he can pick up the pressure, though. That's always the key. 
Goes to the slant and flowers into traffic. Somehow makes the catch. 88 will take his first timeout. Yeah, so here he does call that first timeout. I was wondering when he would. It's a little bit early. Now, Fancy, if you're Fancy, you get a first down here. You are in business because you will definitely take it to the half. Remember, Fancy's already up a stop, so he's in a great position. There's X. It's a bean. Boy, how do you decide what to defend with your user when you've got two corner routes and you have that drag route across the middle? You saw 88 in complete conflict. And Fancy, just a master of offensive plays, cooking up great route combinations. And like you say, how do you defend it if you're 88? How we go for 88 takes the second time out. Oh, a lot of point of taking timeouts. Yeah, I think right there you got to call it. I mean, once you know you can't stop the clock, yeah. in my opinion, I, I don't stop it. I don't, I just yeah. let the clock run and let him try to, you know, choke himself well, out you're, again. You're hoping to stop the clock so Fancy will make a mistake so you can get the ball back because you don't get the ball to start the second half. So it's, it's a tough spot. Quick throw to Flowers and Flowers runs into a brick wall. So that's why AD did it because say now Fancy throws an incompletion, now you got a chance, right? So that's why you, you do use those timeouts in that situation. He's going back to a tight offset, which he had the touchdown on earlier. Do you go for the end zone right now? I think you have to. I mean, you got three timeouts, but I would. You I would try open, to go to first and milk more clock, unless you got a wide open touchdown. And he's got a wide open touchdown. It's Travis Kelsey. Dot beam laser, whatever you want to call it. It's a touchdown. If he would have laid down at the one. Oh, masterful. Yeah, that but he fun. gives 88 some time. I believe 88 can easily walk away with three with this much time yep. on the clock. 100%. And that's why 88 called those timeouts. If you couldn't get a stop, he scores, you get the ball back. Fancy, though, with all day in the pocket. I mean, there was no pressure there. He's able to roll out left a little bit, throw that post wide open. User, here's the, I mean, this is the true tough call because you're talking about laying down the one. We've also seen in this tournament how tough red zone offense has been. So it's sort of that risk reward. Do you? Risk possibly only getting a field goal on this drive. He went for the six. Yeah, I, I mean, but you know, it seemed like when he got down in the red zone, his run plays that he was mixing up with the three tight end set, he didn't really even get close to sniffing a third down inside the red zone. So if I was fancy, I would have laid down and taken my chances. Worst case scenario, I walk away with three, I get ball ahead. Let's see if Mr. Football can capitalize on some end of half life. Boy, three routes out of the sidelines and not a single one was open. That's the danger now. But with no timeouts, Fancy knows football is going to use those sidelines. Question is, does Mr. Football take a shot? 36 seconds left. He can use the middle of the field still. He's got to be quick with it. 35 seconds left. Stroud back to pass. The left Bing. side. Oh. That's three oh. now that he hasn't been able to complete. Wow. He's missed three of those sideline. I mean, being dominated all game. Might have Square? Him. Square? Does he have him? He does he have him? It's Flowers inbounds. 23 seconds and counting. Quickly back to the line. Eight seconds, he'll spike the ball. That's massive because now using your guaranteed points here. Mm -hmm. And he one could end shot. up giving up seven. And this is why you lay down at the one. Mm -hmm. One shot to the end zone. Now, does he have a, does he have a Gabagol special up his sleeve Bump. with a little <laughs> slip screen fade? Wouldn't that be crazy if we broke that out right here, the cross screen? <laughs> Looks like he's going to go Z spot here, though. A couple corner routes with a C route. See if he can cook. Eight seconds remain in the first half. Stroud waiting, Stroud looking. Nobody there. He'll throw this away. He'll take his three. But a great drive. That 41 seconds was just enough time for Mr. Football to get in the field goal range. And he about gave up six. <laughs> yeah, that's a win there for football. You know, you come out, start the game, you throw that pick. On your first drive, Do you know, really fake the field goal. No. Okay, no. just checking. I just want to not check. From no, Dave, not from Dave Campbell, I'm just points. Hey, Nick is going for the but, glory. But go. We got to get back in this game now. <laughs> right now. <laughs> right now. Kick us up. It's good. 14 to 10, your halftime score. Really good half of action here. And it will be fancy in the ball first. So for Mr. Football, his number one key has to be a stop on this opening drive. It has to be. It's the most critical possession here. Always to start the second half when you're losing, especially when you started the game rough. Fancy's in a great spot, though. This is exactly what he wanted. Getting the ball up four to start the second half. 
turns it out to the 14 yard line. That's where Fancy will start the second half. I am now I got a mic. oh so alone here at the desk. But not a better place to do it than here. 14 to 10, your halftime score, that MCS championship ring looming over these competitors. $45,000 to the winner of this game and a spot in the semifinals against Wesley. All right, let's talk Twitch props. Kyle Pitts not tonight, but at the final on February 9th, this is going to be, these, these are so important. If you're looking for that final set, maybe you missed an MCS drop, maybe you just came up short. Well, you're getting these Madden Bowl tokens. Three of those tokens will get you a Mutt Super Bowl program pack. So start the Super Bowl program. If you tuned in yesterday, we revealed the Super Bowl program. It is in-game. That set will be available on the second, which is tomorrow. Uh, but if you miss any of those MCS drops, you can put three of those tokens into an MCS drop player fantasy pack. They'll get you any of the drops from this year. So if you're missing them, whether you want it for your squad or whether you want it for that set, uh, make sure you keep your eye out on February 9th. Just make sure your Twitch account linked with your EA account. You're earning those drops just for hanging out here. Again, Kyle Pitts not tonight, but Kyle Pitts is at the final. And speaking of the final, two of the world's best Madden players go head-to-head -head for their share of the $1 million prize pool to be crowned the ultimate Madden Bowl champion. Hey, Las Vegas, Nevada, will you be there? If you're around and you want to watch, we have some spots available, limited spots for guests to catch all the action in person. If you're interested, DM us at EA Madden NFL underscore MCS on X and we'll reach out with more details. Show out if you are in the Las Vegas, Nevada area for Super Bowl week. We've got quite a first half of action for a breakdown. Let's throw it over to TD and Clef. TD, what a first half, man. We talk a lot about fancy offense. That's all we've been talking about. But it's defense in that first half is the reason he's up four points. What did you see? Yeah, the defense was huge. Getting that pick to start the game, I thought football did a good job to fight back, though, because you know, when you throw a pick your first drive and you don't get the ball to start the second half, that's always the worst feeling. But 88 getting that big play right there before the half was huge. Yeah, and let's see how we got here. Go ahead and show this play right here. This right here is, is this is how we got started. You know, this was a game changing play by Fancy. Defensively, he did a great job of just putting pressure on, on football, and his adjust, adjustments were perfect. Let's go ahead and roll this play. And just look at the user on this play. Look at the user. Look at Ryan Neal. Look at him right here. You got to see what 88 see. 88 sees this Ryan Neal. He's looking at him right there. He's thinking he's running with this drag route with this tight end. But no, what does Fancy do? He peels off the drag. And you know he want to throw this running back streak. And what a lurk by the Tampa Bay Buck. Ryan Neal right there. A big time play by fans. Yeah, that's a huge play. And you always want to bait someone low to high, right? So you start underneath with that drag, then you jump back on the deeper route. Fancy did a great job there, kind of confusing 88. He had to throw the streak a little bit later than he wanted. Fancy was all over it for the pick. Yeah, and a lot of lab work by Fancy. Mm -hmm. You can tell something he's he's keying in on 88. And, that, and that's a lot of reps, too. When you know how to lurk like that and you can confuse your opponent, that's a lot of lab work and it's a lot of reps. And how many times have we seen people give up that combination in this? Oh, game? yeah. all the, That's like the best row combo in the game. So that was huge for him. And let, let's go ahead and roll this second play right here. A big thing about Madden, when you get a turnover, you got to make them pay. You got to capitalize. Three is never enough, especially in Madden 24. You got to get seven right here. And this is fancy audibling to tight offset. You don't see this at a all, lot really, at all. At all. We've seen Dream do a little tight doubles, but we haven't seen much of this tight offset at all. Yeah, you don't see a lot of it at all. And what does he do? He First of all, he no huddled to this, so 88 had to stay in his zone drops. He knew he was double Mabelin with his safety. Let's go ahead and roll it. This is a perfect cover three beater, double corner to the right side. And just look how it opens up. You got Romeo Dobbs right here. You can see this safety right here. You can see right there. It's how right behind him as well, yep. Right there, you see the corner right here. This is the flat right here. Zone drops on probably five right here. Then you can look at the safety at 20 and TD. The missile. Oh, absolute laser, right and that's there. that's why you get those double corners. You got the deep one going there, then you got circle here a little bit shorter, but gets behind that five or ten yard zone drop, and he throws an absolute beam in the perfect spot. Gets the feet down, and that's a big play touchdown. Man, he couldn't he couldn't hand it to him better than that. He couldn't <laughs> he could not hand it to him better than that. And let's get to our our final play. 
key play of this first half right here. And TD, this is beautiful right here, man. This is what we love about Madden. People say in Madden, oh, these guys are running the same plays, same formation. He goes right back to tight offset. Mm -hmm. Knowing what football is thinking, this is high level right here. TD, what are you seeing? Yeah, play? this is a perfect play design here. And he loves his tight offset in the red zone, right? And Mr. Football's thinking, man, I got to watch those double corner routes again. But this time, he sets up the streak post combo, which is one of the best route combos in Madden 24. Clef, if you go ahead and run it here, You'll see, and the you know, the pocket presence too from Fancy, the patience right there. You see the user goes to the streak first, which he had earlier, but then he gets off it, goes to the streak, which he has to because the, it's going to be wide open, and that allows the post to come to the backside wide open. You see the pocket rolling out left and throws an absolute beam wide open to the tight end post for an easy touchdown, Clef. Yeah, and just a great counter punch. You know, he set him up with the double corners, really made him think, hey, I'm coming right back to that, and, and just the post right there. It was just a beautiful play call. What do you expect in this second half? Yeah, and that's why it's important to have multiple plays in a formation too, so you always keep your opponent off guard. Second half, I think both guys just got to keep doing what they're doing, right? 88 obviously down a possession. That was huge for him, but if he can play some defense here and get a stop, we got a real ball game. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how this second half play. We're going to get it to User. User in the Players Lounge. He's doing interviews. User, take it away. What's going on, man? I'm in here with Wesley the Man Gittins. Obviously, you're one of the few players that's in a great position like Henry to sit back and watch your opponent play. Now, I know you really don't care who you play because that's the type of Madden play you are, but what are you taking away when you're sitting back watching, getting ready for next game? Yeah, no, watching this game is huge because football plays very similar to me, and so if I did end up playing fancy, I would have a basically a perfect game of film to watch of like exactly how he would play if I played against him. Another way around, let's say uh, football one, I played him a ton, so I kind of really know all his tendencies as well. So this uh, game of sitting back is very advantageous for me. Well, that's good. And, and I don't want to, you know, reach too far ahead, <laughs> but we know who's on the other side of the bracket. We know what's at stake. How much do you want to get your revenge versus that guy, Henry, in the Madden Bowl, in the championship? And you know, it seemed like both of y'all guys was at the top of the mountain, and somebody had, there's always got to be a winner and a loser. Yeah, nah, that matchup with Henry is actually everything. Uh, that Madden 22 bowl loss, you know, that, that one still stings to this day. I mean, I could literally remember every play of that game, basically, because came down to the last play, you know, it's a $100,000 Madden oh, game. Yeah. Like, you don't get those very often. So oh, no. the fact that I might get a chance to, you know, beat Henry for another 100K back, I mean. The redemption. That, that storyline would hit different. It would. It would. Listen, Nick, we appreciate it. We throwing it back to you in the booth. User and Wesley, thank you so much. Time for the first giveaway of the night. If you were watching last night, you recognize these guys from round one, the least one of that Super Bowl program. Ronnie Lott, Warren Sapp, and Herb Adderley are heading to the Mutt accounts of C Cotton 10. C Cotton 10, thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in on the final day of action here at EA headquarters. Before we book it to Vegas, boys, our final show here from the studio. But we got a lot of action still to go. There is the beautiful, the beautiful Madden Bowl ring designed by Jostens. 37 Super Bowl champions have had their rings designed by Jostens Clef. And one Madden Bowl champion will have it. Just one. Just one. Hey, we know it's just one because we've been trying to get one. We've been trying to, hey, can we get one too? You know, we are part of the team. You know, what a beautiful is ring. Is this like, man. like when the, like Bruce Brown gets a, gets a ring even though he wasn't Yes. Like he, he left the team in the yeah. offseason. They give rings to like the, the concession workers. And the, we deserve we Everybody deserve. getting mm -hmm. rings. We a part of this too. Let You're us feel a part of this. Oh, absolutely. What about Alexis? Can we just get Alexis? I'll take Alexis over the ring. All right, so you heard it here first. Alexis or ring? Hey, according to the social media, you already got the ring. Wow. No, that's not. Yeah, I did see it. I profile, saw a profile, profile picture pic. change. <laughs> profile according pic. According to social media, he got the ring already. Listen, I just had to look at it and make sure it was right. You know what I'm saying? Make sure it wasn't missing any diamonds. It's ready. You know, are you trying to fool people to think that that's your ring, that you won that? No, of course not. Of course not. Never. I would never do that. I would never tell people I'm the greatest man player in the world. Make it try, man. That's a bead. That's a lot of skill right here. These players are so skilled in this tournament. We haven't seen a lot of blue passing until we came to this tournament and just making throws on the run look easy, like if, as if they had Roman Dead Eye or Dash and Dead Eye. And that's the thing, too, Clef, about the evolution of the Madden season, right? When ultimate kickoff, we didn't know much about blue passing, right? And here we are in January, February, and blue passing is the hot new thing. You see these guys mastering it. Second five, Cook splits out of the backfield. Three wide to the left, to the right. Empty backfield. 
for C.J. Stroud. Up the James Cook, end zone. Talk about an expeditious drive for six. That was an unbelievable laser, something you don't see too often as well. He motions out his running back to send out five and puts him on a streak. He really can attack the seams that way, and that's exactly what he did. That's an absolute beam. And we're going to figure out a lot about Mr. Football this game. We're going to figure out a lot about his character as a Madden player because we haven't seen him in this situation mm -hmm. in a long time. You know, a lot of these times he's had the lead. He's been in control of the games right here. This is just great. Down here you love seeing Wide streaks. Open. And Fancy just does a great job. And saving that play until the right time. You see the swag. You see the swag by Fancy. You know he's feeling good. And like you said, Clef, it's easy to be the hot guy on the street when you ain't facing no adversity. You know what yeah. I'm saying? You ain't fumbled. You ain't made no picks. You starting off people throwing pick six. You say, hey, yeah. Correct. Yeah. Ty, you can pick me. I am the hottest player alive. You right. Matter of fact, I don't want every coin toss in the last two months. I ain't been on offense once starting the game. Yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's a little rougher now. 10 for 25 passing for 88. I mean, you know, Fancy's defense, phenomenal. Third and short. Uh -oh. Nope. <laughs> Throw knocked out yeah. for the Jordan. And how many plays have we seen Rondé Barber make with that mid zone for one AP? You know, you just can't teach dog. A dog, when he get that mid zone for one AP and you put him in a hook zone or any zone 10 to 20 yards, he's going to activate, light up, and knock passes out just like that. Idiot's going to go to his bread and butter here. Double post. He's making a lot of hot routes. Stroud looking down uh -oh. the seam. Oh! 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 Big drop from Finish. Megatron. Dude's got the butterfingers today. Hey, Why am I oh. playing so much defense, bro? My man got a cage out there. Got a cage out there. And this is this is when you in scary territory because you're playing against an offensive player. And he out here putting on a clinic of how to just bag gun bunch offset to trips to bunch strong. And Clef, you know, I just think about the matchups that 88 has had. You know what I'm saying? He's playing, like you said, fancy. Fancy's a different, cali uh, different caliber of Madden player. No disrespect to Strap God and all those other guys that 88 played to win his belt. Yeah. But you already know. So you're trying to say his belt don't matter. I see every time no, I, I go to speak no, his no. stats. What I think, yeah. <laughs> what I think he was trying to say was Mr. Fool, you know, throwing some shit no. Justin yeah. yesterday. No, what I'm saying is that. Are you saying Justin wasn't a cal oh, high caliber? This, James, this is a James, James, James. James Cook changed his name to James Chef the way he's out here. Him. Cooking up touchdowns. Open the be floodgates. honest, I'm just piggybacking off what Clef said. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes when you see these guys get these belts, it's different caliber of man players out there. You be like, hey, you know what? I would I would love to see what he had to do if he had to play a guy like Fancy or Wesley to go to go get that belt. Yeah, because these guys are gonna push you. These mm -hmm. guys who are offensive players, they're gonna push you to get out your comfort zone. Just playing it safe and waiting for them to make a mistake, you'll be waiting the whole game. But you ain't gonna see no RPOs in the final. You Bubble ain't. gum, no. What do what you in? Watch the commander? He was, yeah. Watch the commander book? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know, he's a belt winner. You can never take that away from him. It's That's not like a you bag. Be taking away from him. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit. It does. Like a little bit. Oh, oh. I, I love, you just agree with everything I said this. Hey, I'm taking something away from him. I agree with it, but I ain't say it, though. Oh, man. In the day, they're going to say you just said that. <laughs> nah, man, listen. I'm just saying what you want to so say, what, brother. What, what you're trying to say, which I do agree with, is that the competition in the Madden Bowl is just, just next You level. got the best of the best. Okay. Yes. You got the best of the best. That's why they get yeah. in the championship ring here, not a belt. And with this field of 14, you got to think we was playing Final Four. You can't escape one of these high elite guys. These guys Rick. are ultra elite players, like a player like oh. that. Oh, dangerous, man. And see, that's the big difference oh. in the Madden Bowl and these other events, right? Because you have to cut consistently all be season. consistent all to win season. some of the best points to earn points all year to make the man bowl yeah you might do good in one tournament you know what i'm saying and like you know i'm, I'm not trying to hop on my guy but like you saw strap guy how he lost to justin for the tie tiebreaker i'm just giving you an example you know what i'm saying strap guy had a great he had a great event but to have a consistent year like fancy and, and wesley and all these other guys oh, finds kelsey late me bro that was scary because Randy Moss was waiting right there. Randy Moss was waiting. Yeah, and that's why Madden Bowl crowns the best Madden player of the year. And to go to your point, when you come to Madden Bowl, you gonna have to be in is flustered. He just called. He just he just did a. He on tilt. Yeah, he's he's flustered. He's on tilt. I mean, you're down 18. You understand? You'll be on tilt too. Yeah, you gotta. He got. He gotta score quick. 
Got to score quick. And this onside kick territory all day. You don't. He score here, you can't kick this deep. And what were you about to say, Cliff? I was going to say, when you come to Madden Bowl, that a lot of these tournaments, you don't have to beat Henry. You don't have to beat Dez. You don't have to beat West. You That's come true. to Madden Bowl, you got to be, be there. the best of the best. They the dog is going to be there. No matter what, they going to be there. So you got to... There ain't no... You can't skate through it. You can't skate through it. You got to go through the fire to win this ring. How about the message right now, Clef, that Fancy is sending to his possible next opponent, Wesley? The defense he's playing out here right now, this might be the best defensive game we've seen Fancy play. Yeah, and, it, and it's great for West too, because West runs the same offense as 88. So just seeing, seeing that right there, you can see what he's doing on adjustment and what I can do better. Ooh. And it's... And it's great for fancy confidence, too, to mm -hmm. come out here and just bag because he's mm -hmm. an elite offensively. Oh, yeah. When you win a game from your weakness, oh, yeah. I mean, it gives you so much strength. It's, especially when you're playing arguably the hottest guy right now, like Ty said, the recent belt winner, and you're you able think, to come out here. You think Ty Mushin? It's Ty Mushin. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. I ain't, it, I'm just saying what you I mean, but the thing say, about, well, I mean, let's be real. The thing about Ty has a history pretty sure of just you guys picking. Lost he, he has a history of just picking whoever the best guy is yeah. at that moment. You that know was, what I'm saying? So yeah. Yeah, we knew he was going to take 88. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, 88 won the belt. He's he the hottest guy crazy, right you know, now. He, he ain't lost. I'm going with 88, you know? You guys just mad because you picked Drini Joker yesterday. I ain't going to the end zone. I picked the king. All I'm saying is that, like, at no point this year was he taking the Detroit Lions. He's like, nope. Never. Nope, never. <laughs> Next year, though? Next, Next year. year. Detroit Lions. Two-point conversion opportunity, maybe to cut this to 10. Goes down to single back wing tight. It's where we've seen stretch all day. And it's really hard to run versus even. Look, this 4-3-6-1 even. Best run defense in the game. Oh, Ooh, nice move. move. Really, really nice stick work. Does he go for the onside here? Oh, you got to. No choice. There's a lot no of choice. time. And, and you think about 88, how he's got here. We've seen him have some of the biggest run plays in these tournaments. Because he's playing somebody like Fancy, who's so high power offensively, scoring so quick, we haven't really even seen him put the ball yeah. on the ground. Yeah, and he, he does an onside kick it, by the way. He kicks it deep. And this is a mistake. You got to feel how the game going. You ain't came close to a stop, really, this whole game. Fancy and, real and again, we're back to a field goal doesn't hurt you. Exactly. It two points. Even if you get a, two a field goal, you're, up, you're down 13, so you're not dead in that situation. And it prolongs the game. You can't yeah. clock that out from half field. From midfield, he won't be able to clock this out. Right here, he can take all 440 with him right now if he wants to. Also, when he's got oh, Sigler, oh, like, oh, 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 put him on the TikTok. There goes Cook. 30, 25, 20 yard line. What a run. James Cook out here making people look silly. And that's also a big tackle, though, there for 88. Because remember, a touchdown here would pretty much be game over, 17 points. So to, hold, to get that touchdown's big. How much will it matter? We'll see. Hey, Clef, you don't need to go for an onside kick if you just give up a 60-yard run to start the drive. And that is a short field. Hey, he right where he's supposed to be now. Yeah, he right where he's supposed to be. And you know Fancy wants seven here. No doubt about it. You see him chewing that clock already, getting it down to one on the play clock. A bunch, bunch tight end. I haven't seen a lot of bunch tight end this year. Alexander makes the tackle. Timeout taken. And using timeouts. Use time oh, way, way. He knows how crazy. desperate this is, though. This is panic mode, though. You never use timeouts this early. You know, you, you should save these because <clears throat> he got plenty of time. You know, when you start using these timeouts early, it just make it that much harder on you to have time. You're going to have to rely on the onside kick, which he wouldn't have to. Even if he didn't get the onside kick, if he had timeouts, he'd be okay. Listen, man, like my cousin Magic always said, man, nobody know it's over before you know it's over. You feel me? I heard it. Don't show that play art again, ever. Let me, let me ask a question to the uh, the MCS competitors at the table. So, Clef, uh, how many times have you run a fake spike? Fake spike? Never. Never? That's just being flustered. He's just flustered okay. right now. He's just out curious. Of I didn't know if there was a bag out there. You never, oh, no. you never picked fake spike back in the day, you know, playing when you're, when you're young? You might have. You do, but not in this game. No, not in this game. You got to be too locked in right now. It's the mad Is he going to go get a touchdown here? I, He's setting up those double corner routes again. Stroud stepping back, and he'll throw this one away. Great defense. Great defense. At least I, I would say this. He's playing good defense. You got to get desperate. He just sent the team and a good user. Got to hold the door on this play right here. Have to. Third down and 10. Bunch to the wide side. Flowers, the solo receiver, wide left. Left looks like he's going to Durham here. Of course, one of the best plays. Yeah, and he's going to be looking, and now he's switching to the double corner, looking to get outside the pocket. 
Does, and he throws it, and he finds Kelsey, but doesn't get oh the feet God. inbounds. Fourth and 10. Decision for Fancy. And you kick the three? No, I think this is a decision, though, because 17 compared to 13 is a big difference in this game. But he's going to kick it. Yeah, to me, you kick this and force him to play perfect. You need yeah. two no, touchdowns. If you, when you got the lead, you want somebody to have to play perfect to beat yeah. you. You know, so right here, up 13, he only got 18 points. Correct. He, he got to get 14 points. Yeah, yeah I mean, and understand he's going to get that ball back. So even if he gets held to three, he kicks it, he'll be up nine. He'll still be in a great position to win this ball game. The Boo Bird's out in full force once again. Can we talk just for a second about how electric the studio has been these three days? Oh, you got to love the Madden community coming out here, showing great energy. Brings back yeah. the old days, the old feel. Mm -hmm. I would say this, this is the most balanced crowd we've had for a game. <laughs> yeah, that's not a road There's no road home away. Home team. You know, this is a neutral site. For now. For we'll now. see where the rest of the day goes. This is this is neutral for now. It's why we need, if, if you're in that Las Vegas area, DM at EA Madden NFL underscore MCS. We want as many people in the Madden community there to watch this, this final, this historic final. We need that energy. We need the crowd there. Also, use that hashtag MaddenBow on Twitter. Let us know your thoughts. Ultimate Madden Bowl final Friday, February 9th, 6.30 p.m. Pacific, 9.30 p.m. Eastern. The Ultimate Madden Bowl presented by Lexus. Second and 10, 340 left in this $45,000 game of Madden. Stroud, three-man rush. There's absolutely nowhere to go, and there were four underneath zones waiting for C.J. Stroud to scramble. This is just super impressive from Fancy. I mean, he's taking away everything 88 wants to do. He takes away those double corners. He's been bro, taking I'm away this, this concept play, here, bro. but he might have them. Oh, oh, man, that's a book. Come on, man. That's a book. Let's go. Wow. Man, what a play. And that is insane oh because he gets stuck on oh his D tackle cleft. And so still gets you, it. So you think you have it, you throw it, and then you get tipped and it's picked. Wow. Yeah, and he did a great job right here. Just the discipline with his user to just keep running with his crosser. His adjustments down low made it perfect where he could just trust that. And Eric Berry getting two feet in. Zadarius Smith prize the ball free. Eric Berry with the pick. And boy, we're setting up for a Wesley fancy final here from... San Francisco spot in the ultimate Madden Bowl final on the line. These are two guys who have history. One of those guys, it looks like, is going to be able to compete for that ring. And, you know, we talk about that class of guys that, you know, are, are, are so close to getting that belt that on that list of the next one to get one should have one. Those are the top two, in my opinion, also with Clef. So that's a big time matchup to see who's going to get a chance at that ring. And make sure y'all using hashtag Madden Bowl on Twitter. Listen, I heard if it was trending. You know what? You know, I'm gonna go that Nick, go ahead. Yeah. No, okay, I'm gonna go rogue. Go ahead, Nick. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Because he was talking about it. He happy was talking about, about it. Go ahead, Nick. But tell you, tell him sure? what you're gonna do. Are you sure? Is this I mean, the you, time you to got the power. Off? Yeah. All right. So how it's about this? early. I mean, I think you gotta tell them early so they can get yeah. the momentum and so the juice. How about, how about this? If we get that hashtag Madden Bowl trending in the U.S., we'll do an extra dump truck tonight. You said you was gonna do three extra dump trucks. No, extra dump truck. No, you said I, three. I, I, now, if we get we'll trending, see. I'm going to make you stand on business. Okay, you extra, said three. Extra, extra dump truck. Oh, oh, my. Oh, man. Oh, oh, my. He said he didn't even want to make a highlight for player of the year. Don't even and worry about it. You know what? I'm going to go. I'm going to double down on that one. You want to double down? I'm going to double down on that one. Nobody at the desk will win that dump truck. So you at home can no, get it. No, no, no. You said You're three. You're not tweeting. You said three. Now, if we start trending, extra I'm going to make you stand. Right. I'm going to make sure you stand on business. For How the about I meet you in the middle? How no. about two extra dump trucks? No, you said three. Um, well, oh, you already heard people. Either. We got two, so we're going to make sure we get three for you. Adjust. That's crazy. That's crazy. So Hashtag sure. Madden Bowl. We want to give it all away. User, I got Wait, a question You know what? For you. We'll give away user salary for this week. How's that? Is that what you're saying? I don't want that. Is that? No, yeah, I don't want that. He can just give some love to us. Yeah, yeah, I don't want that. No? Mm -hmm. you're, you're not even that. You missed the uh, We'll do the dump truck then. Listen, I, do dump a, truck. Uh, I do a lot of things out the kindness of my heart. I'm real excited, what you expect. Talk to him, man. You got a question, Todd. What up, man? Yeah. Do you think the Madden girlfriend curse will ever be broken? Because it's not going to happen here again. I mean, I think it's already been broken. I mean, you talking about winning for the Madden Bowl? No. Who, who's broke? He, he had his lady out here last time when he won his belt. No, he, she wasn't here. Oh, she, oh that's why right. he went here. to go get her. Yeah. yeah. Mm. I could have sworn somebody broke it already. Nobody man. has broken it. Nobody broke it. All right, man. I'm going to tell you. My lady come with me. I got to play this game. You feel me? Who? You? Huh? Oh, he ain't breaking the curse. <laughs> hey. Do you hit with a you? Huh? That curse going to be heavier than ever. There's <laughs> a misinput, bro. <laughs> misinput. Misinput. Shoot. 
We got headphones falling out. This man is up by two scores, about to go by three scores. He's worried about the music. Kicks up, it's good. 34 well, 18, still a two score game. I know. And that, that was the thing that we wanted to see how 88 will be able to deal with having a ball first, <laughs> adversity, throwing that interception. You know what I'm saying? We know 88 is a great man player. He's able to win his first belt this year. Great run. You can't do nothing but tip your hat to him. Back to back to back Madden Bowl appearances. But we understand sometimes you put yourself in a situation when you're playing a dog. Vince is a dog. Even though he has not won a belt, he's on that short list of people mm -hmm. that you can say, you know, he's due. Yeah, and I think 88 will learn from this. I think he'll learn a lot from these type of games and, and understand, you know, versus some people, you can't just, hey, I'm going to let you beat yourself. You know, you got to go take the win. And I think he'll he'll learn a lot from this game. And, and kind of remind me a lot like what you're saying, what Cam Newton was saying. You know, you got game managers, and then you got playmakers or superstars. Said Brock Purdy yeah. was the 10th best player on his team, and I started counting, and I went, he's not that wrong. No, he's not wrong. He's not that wrong, man. You start counting, and then you, you're getting that second, and you're like, uh-oh. Yeah. Maybe D he is. Debo, IU, Juszczyk, CMC, Kittle, C Kittle, Fred Warner, Fred Warner, Ooh, Nick Bosa, Bosa, yeah, Bosa, Bosa, Armstead. He ain't, he ain't wrong. It's not wrong. I might honestly he might not even be 10, but he's in the Super Bowl. I'll tell you that. Yeah, and it's, it really has been a terrific season for 88. Yeah, nothing to hang your hat about. No, I mean, no, you got no. a belt. Anytime you can get a belt and you can make the Madden Bowl, I, that's a W in my book. And it can be a launching pad for your next year. Like, it's a strong season yeah. to to get ready for next year. It's we wind down the final seconds. It, it sucks to end your year like this, though, because every Madden player, they understand the Madden Bowl is where I want to do my best, you know, because it leaves a sour taste in your mouth going into the offseason. You know, this is the biggest tournament, the most money. So it'll be definitely something that has a chip on his shoulder going into next year. Even though he won that belt, you know, he wants to get out here in Madden Bowl and he wants to make a real run. I mean, this is why Madden Bowl is the Madden Bowl. You got to play yeah. the best of the best. Oh, he only want to do the last four seconds. Yeah. He said it's all good. Up. It's game. 45000 extra dollars in his pocket and a spot in the semifinals to take on Wesley. It was fancy over Mr. Football and... User, it was the defense from Vance that really set the tone, 34-18. Yeah, he came out here, first play, first drive, getting that turnover, and he just never looked back, never relinquished the lead, and just played smart football, played fancy football, and his offense is high-powered as ever. And his defense was one thing that we wanted to see. Could he actually step up and do it? Right here, the big lurk. This, this started off the game with the tone. Yeah, right there, just a great lurk. Baiting 88 right there to get him to turn the ball over on your opening drive. And nothing is worse than getting stopped on your opening drive. TD turns that first turnover into a touchdown, Romeo Dobbs. Yeah, and that was an absolute laser right on the money with the precision. Fancy was fired up about it in that jean jacket, too. Jean jacket's looking good, and we see it here. This was another dot from 88. Nice route combo there to convert on a clutch, fourth and 10. He's able to punch it in with that stretch call and the jurtle into the end zone. Football ties it up, but fancy not to be outdone. Rolls left for CJ Stroud. He finds Travis Kelsey. And what a dot by fancy coming to that play late. Right and right here, this is just great down here. Seam streaks are really good with set feet, and he finds James Cook. And this is a great play by Hooker in that third. Getting to that on fourth and inches, that's a big stop. That really put the game away right there because he was already up 11 points. And when you're a passer and you do a run like this, it just feel like it's your time. 28-10, fancy with the lead. But Mr. Football was not done yet. Able to cash in with a short range touchdown to James Cook. Goes for two. He's able to find it. So we thought there's a little bit of life, but fancy shuts it down defensively with this interception to close out the game. Right here, even though he got quick snap, wasn't ready, but just never giving up on the play chase. No, he can't do nothing but run with him. Yeah, that was a wild play. Gets stuck on the D tackle, but still, like you said, user doesn't give up on it, stays on it, and gets the tip pick. 34-18, your final score. Fancy is on to the semifinals. He joins us at the desk. Fancy, congratulations, my friend. Uh, you said at one point, and by one point, I think it was first quarter, I am playing so much defense right now. What was clicking with you here? Because this might be the best defensive game I've seen from you on an MCS stage. I don't know what got into me. Um, I Every rep game I've played uh, coming into this tournament, I've given up 40 points every game. Like Every game is like 50 to 50 in every rep game I play. Um, and against against 88, I don't know what happened, but I was just putting good adjustments out there, playing good defense, and you know it's it's probably why I won that game. By the way, you know you know the defense is going right when you get stuck on your D tackle and get a pick on that play yeah, with yeah. the D tackle breaking up. 
that pass. That's, that was a good way to start things out. Absolutely fancy. Now, you know you're one of the few guys on that short list who hasn't won the belt yet. I want to know, does it feel different right now? Did this run right now feel a little bit different? Like, does it feel magical to you? Yeah, I mean, because honestly, like, I didn't have the the biggest confidence, like, going into this because, like, I haven't been playing as much, like, leading up to the tournament. Uh, but sometimes, like, Sometimes it just doesn't matter. Like sometimes you just you feel like you're due, and I feel like I'm due to to make a run uh, in this tournament. Fancy. Sometimes when you have a game like that, it's something you saw 88 plan or just a game plan. Like you felt like if you got him out of his comfort zone and really forced him to pass every play, you know you had a real advantage. Like what was the game plan going into this game? Yeah. So uh, I know like he likes to call dagger like pretty much every play, dagger and double post, and I felt like um, if I just took away those two plays, uh, I'd feel like it would be a lot easier for me to play defense and you know it worked out fancy congrats obviously another final four for you you know you've been to a few final fours just talk about your first of all your opponent wesley here coming up and just how bad you want to get to vegas and have a chance at that ring man a trip to vegas i mean that's 150k possibly 250k and a ring i mean i need that what if he was just like yeah, i don't feel like it like yeah, yeah. No yeah it's, cool. it's cool it's cool I, one thing yeah. i gotta say wes said he always beat you this is true. true. I didn't want to bring that up. He I didn't want to beat it down. Yeah, here's the thing. Because if I brought it up, if I brought yeah, it up, y'all busy. He gonna use again. He's, he's just making up. He's making up narratives. That's just not true at all. He did beat me uh, in the Madden 21 Bowl, though, like in, in the finals. So that was that was the one time we played in the MCS. I'm pretty sure. So he did get me on that. Um, but that's to say he always beats me is just that's just not true. I'll say this. You know, he started off by saying he didn't feel great going into this. Yeah. Like Clef said to me this morning. He says the best workouts that you have are the ones that you're not feeling like you're gonna work out for. It kind of felt like that right here because you might not have felt great, but you look great out there. You pocket forty-five thousand dollars in a spot in the semifinals. Congratulations. We'll see you later on tonight. Spot in Vegas on the line. Let's take a look at our updated bracket. We've got one semifinal set. Who would have seen the 10 and 11 seed, by the way, facing off for a spot in Vegas and 50,000 extra dollars? Wesley and Fancy, that'll come up later tonight. But coming up next, will Kobo set up the rubber match versus best friend Henry, or can TJ continue his incredible Madden 24 run and add another big win to his rookie season? TJ Battle Wesley, his first MCS major appearance. CMC's got the room. CMC to the house. Can TJ pull off the upset? And TJ does it in his first live final. He's on to a felt game. He's got him. Third play, Tory holds to the house. What a start for the youngster, TJ. He's looking for him. him. Over the top, Please. Kyle Please. Pitts. House call. Come on, it's a And he's got him down the middle, hold to it die, man. TJ, the most feared challenge runner up, making his second Final Four appearance this season. He seems cool, calm, and collected. Like, these moments don't get to him. And he's got him, man. And Rice into the end zone. Good user again. Deep down the field. He's got Dion. TJ th facing a three man rush. Stepping, throwing oh, left. He's got him, man. It's Kelsey. Come it's on, a touchdown. Man. Go, go. Quest for Rookie of the Year continues. Lexus GX. Get on the board first. 
Looking, looking, has a man, and touchdown into the end zone. One game is down. We only have one quarterfinal left, and it's going to be a battle between the presumptive, the possible rookie of the year and one of the best offensive minds. It is TJ battling Kobo for $45,000 and a matchup with the hen dog. Let's take a look at our tail of the tape, see how these guys size up against each other. Boy, look at this. TJ in one year TD, already over $100,000 in career earnings. What an opening season to your career for TJ. 100 racks in his first season, just super impressive. You see Kobo there, 176,000. He's been phenomenal all season. Something's gotta give. One of these guys is gonna keep cementing themselves as one of the best players in Madden 24. User, I know, like, you look at this matchup. Everybody's thinking about Henry saying, I want Kobo. I want my get back from that win. That's got to feel as we head inside Lexus Stadium for the kickoff of this game. That makes TJ almost as overlooked as anybody here. So he's got an opportunity to really use that lack of pressure to his advantage. And I, I, I can't wait to see this matchup. Like we talk about these events, you know, TJ getting to the finals. Yes, he had to play the beast. But like you said, Kobo, he's one of those guys. How is TJ going to match up against that? Well, if you don't know TJ, you haven't watched this year. This man has stormed the scene. A former track star, Cleft the God, and he looks like a track star out there on the Madden field. He has jumped out two finals. Hasn't gotten the belt, but two final twos, and he's looking to rectify that with a ring here at the Ultimate Madden Bowl. Yeah, two finals over a period of time and impressive. To do that in one year, mm -hmm. I mean, that is super, super impressive. That's showing consistency. That's showing that dog in you. When you fall down and get right back there, right back the next few tournaments, I mean, he got a lot of dog in him. He's been clutch in these tournaments. He seemed to always pull him out. Tough tax right here. This is, this is a real tough matchup for TJ because he playing against Kobo, trip tight end. TJ has played a lot of bunch this year. You know, going against somebody like Kobo who's in trip tight end, and then not only is he in trip tight end, he is elite, elite defensively. User, we've watched a lot of TJ. This, to me, doesn't feel like a flash in a pan. This feels like oh, somebody no. who's going to be a stalwart for years oh, no. to come. Oh, no. TJ knows how to play this game. You can see that he has the mind to be able to dissect, dissect offenses and defense. He can step it up. And to be honest, he should already be a belt winner. You know, a lot of guys, when they lose the, beast, onside that kick. onside kick, you know, th those are one of the plays you'll never forget, like Boog's block field goal. He would never have a club championship if it wasn't for those special moments. And you think about it, TJ took that loss and came right back. Yes, he lost again, but not many people people have that dog in them to bounce back. And when you beat a legend like Kiv twice, back mm -hmm. to back On like the that, stage? On the stage, that Look does that so jump. much for your confidence. $2,500 last year, how about 98000 this Unbelievable. year? Unbelievable. And Super possibly impressive. counting. Super impressive. And you can tell, he th these bright lights, this big stage doesn't bother him at all. You know, we talked to him a little bit today, though he was, Clef, a little bit concerned about this trip to that offense that Kobo brings out, because it is so different than the bunch strong and bunch offset meta that we've seen all year. Yeah, and you can't get a rep for him. Who are you going to hit up and say, hey, Come play like Kobo. Keep no one, Kobo, no one plays Nobody like Nobody runs trips like this anymore. Everybody who runs trips is running trips, and they're getting way more downfield. It's not I mean, as methodical. You know, as he Buttons does. is always ready for a call. He swear he got the best trips tight end in the league, but you know, 
What, what was it that was said? Ghost is the worst uh, rep game because nobody plays like Ghost. Mm -hmm. That's kind of Kobo. Like, who else is going to play like Kobo? Looking right side, Negatron. It's a blue pass early. Blue pass. Who loves the blue pass? That's a laser. Those aren't blues yeah. from the crowd. Those are blues. Blue. That's an absolute laser. Ghost of that bunch strong. That route combo we've seen all year long. The streak out of the backfield. Then you got the, the post route. He throws it in there for a laser. Stroud, left side, early in this game. Lots of to the outside. That first time we're seeing that KO letter. And shout out to Clean Guy and shout yeah. out to Boogs Tough. This is Shift Linebackers Dollar using the slot corner. What he's trying to do, he's trying to trick this left tackle to think he's blitzing and open up this A gap for this linebacker to run right through. Who's, who's, Trimmer. who's this Boogs, Boogs Tough guy? Who, Boogs Tough? Yeah, who's that? Reginald Brown. Oh, Reg. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. you mean Reginald? Yeah, 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 yeah. Reginald Brown. Bro, he's, Reginald, no longer, he's no longer book stuff anymore. Reginald was going after y'all on Twitter yesterday. I just like to point out. We yeah. give, and I'm up here giving him his flowers. We are. Wow. This is you are you're the bigger man, aren't you? You're you yeah. definitely giving him his flowers. Books made this defense famous right here, and he's uh, played Kobo a lot. Just so bit overthrown on that one. So it's at about fourth and ten. Speaking of, of X, guys, make sure you use that hashtag, man. I said right here, we'll do some extra dump trucks if yeah. you. If you are out here, you get them get trending. That, you got to get it trending in the U.S. So use that hashtag animal. Let us know who you think's winning this game between Kobo and T.J. An early fourth down opportunity. Gurley splits out of the backfield, emptying it out for C.J. Stroud. T.J. the only player using Todd Gurley as his primary running back. Stroud back to pass, just a three-man rush That's a beam. from Kobo That's and a beam. another oh, inaccurate pass. Oh my goodness! And he it off, swat that one down. Wow, and that was wide open. That was. He had the corner up to triangle wide open. Not sure what happened there. How about the decision to pick that in the five yard line? He swats, he gets it the 50. He, he swatted, he get it, he get it with better field position. It basically turned into a punt right there. Look at the, the silent assassin, Kobo, his fourth MCS major appearance. But user, this is his best year. It seems like one of those moments the dam has broken, and we're going to see Kobo start doing this regularly. He is one of the best offensive minds in that unique trips tight end. I mean, he laughs with some of the best. He gets some of the best reps, and like Clef says, he's always on the game. And we already knew the caliber of Madden player it was. It's a mental thing. He finally has got over that hurdle, has his first belt. You don't know what type of run he could possibly do. And just going back to that, that interception TJ throw through, it's just a, it's just a, the differences you see, like you see everybody roll out and throw that and blue pass that. You know, he got an inaccurate right there. He was throwing the to the red. corner. He got a red right there. He's throwing to the corner out, but it just went right to where the safety was because it was that inaccurate. That was, that was back to back red throws. Beamer. Side, Tony G. That's a beam. And you get back to Kobo. You know, he did switch this running gun offense. He's going to go tempo here. He got some unique plays in this trips to formation. You saw it right zone. there. Yeah, with that tight end right there on that kind of sharp corner rope. So this shot time he goes top? PA slot, but it's bagged. If there's one thing we've learned from TJ, this man doesn't lack confidence, especially defensively. And this is another situation. TJ, another guy, we really haven't seen him play behind the eight ball. Think about it. Both games that he kind of lost, you're kind of thinking like, well, TJ has this in the bag. Yeah, TJ and Kim was a back and forth battle. But this one, he's already starting out behind the eight ball. Reminder, all games being played on PlayStation, the exclusive console provider of the ultimate Madden Bowl. First and 10. Three wide receivers to the right side, one to the left side. Dree Archer in the backfield. Pressure off the right side, and damn, goes Stroud. Hello, Mr. Peppers. How often did you see that as a Carolina Panthers fan? All the time. All the time. Repeatedly. All the time. And I like the strategy from TJ. You got to send the dogs, whether it's spinner, DB fire, you cannot let Kobo sit in the pocket and dissect it. And there you go again. This time it was that out of position, Randy Moss, corner blitz. And that's a great job with TJ. He took his user and he hit the guard, engaged with the guard. So it's basically like he's sending six now. And you can see he just heating him up right now. TJ's defense was a lot of pressure yesterday against Kiv. Stroud back has oh, the 23. Oh, my One, goodness. two. Three Pete in sacks now fourth and forever. And that's the one thing about Trips tight end historically of all time, the tight end running back on the same side. You can always get pressure from the opposite side. This is DB fire. You see Julius Peppers come in clean. It's the same oh, thing. Is this the first oh, punt? Oh, I mean, it was fourth in Africa. But first, yeah. First punt we've seen here in the Madden Bowl. That's who, great. Who had over a half punt in today's games? I didn't take that. That's crazy. That was crazy. I don't think there were a lot of people thinking we'd even see 
one. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, you get through that first game, you're like, man. First and 10. Bunch to the short side. Prime time. The solo receiver goes to that bunch strong formation. Stroud back to pass. So one stop apiece as Stroud rolls left, and Stroud will throw this into the crowd as we see the number one player in the world, Mr. $900,000, Henry, waiting in the wings. Users are going to catch up with him at halftime. What do you think Henry's doing right now? Is this a, is this an entertainment or is this a business watching of this game? You know, the, the crazy thing Because he knows about, Kobo pretty well. Yeah, the crazy thing about Henry, he's seen so much, you know. And if you ask him, he's like, oh, it's just another day in the office, man. You know, I don't really have to watch these guys play. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? It's just it's really on me. Now, I don't think Henry fears anyone. But remember, he did lose to Kobo 42 to 19. He got he he got, did get worse. So you gotta think he's yeah. definitely gonna want his get back on Kobo. Yeah, the thing about Henry, you gotta beat him once to get to make you believe yourself. You gotta get into your mind that you can beat him. It's really hard to beat him the first time. You know that how first Henry time is tough. You know how Henry is when he get his get back. Oh, he gonna let you know. No mercy, I believe is the technique. Mm -hmm. he, he gonna let I mean, you know. Fourth down. What uh, was it? Was Kobo the one that Henry for a long time was calling his son? Yeah, for sure. Then, Said he was a step Then the son wouldn't beat Pops. The first time you Clutch's going to get that in like 10, 15 years. First time your son beats you one-on-one, -on -one, it's like, oh, no. Oh, yeah. It's game over. Three going to end up slamming Clutch one day. It's oh, just, it's inevitable. I'm going to be athletic for a long time. I'm not going to lie to y'all. Okay. It's great. Nobody open red pass again. Oh, Turnover on down. That's a snuggie. Another red. And this is what the great defensive players do. This is what Drini does. This is what Henry does. They come out with a new look for games like this. Kobo running defense you haven't seen all tournament, and he just two or nine passing. And I think moving forward here, Kobo on offense, he's going to have to start to use a little motion blocking because you, like Clef pointed out, the trip center weakness is that slot DB blitzing it off that left side. So look for him to maybe motion block off that left side. He's going to have to do something, top because at the end of the day, we know TJ, he believes in sending pressure. Mm -hmm. and, and when you have gotten two stops and it's just the first quarter, you got to just make, you got to start playing offense deep differently. You're bagging right now. Do you, you make it a little more conservative points. just getting points? You want to make sure you just get oh, oh, points. Oh, Randy Moss! Have mercy, 84! That's why he's on defense out there! See, we saw that a couple of play, a couple of times yesterday. It was real dangerous. Like, he was throwing that quick pass. But this time, Randy Moss makes a play. Look like he has acrobat on him. Get Randy Moss on your squad. My goodness. Kobo tries to go to a wide receiver screen. And Randy Moss says, no, sir, give me that. I don't know if he had Acrobat on him, user, but he had so much Acrobat, he is trying out for Cirque du Soleil. What a diving interception. And this is what we're talking about, Madden. We haven't seen defense all year long. Look at Henry's reaction to the pick. Are we seeing that Looks, from looks like the, when Lesnar broke the Undertaker streak, hit him yeah. with the eyes. <laughs> Yep. I mean, gentlemen, this might be the best 0 0 first oh, yeah. quarter I've ever seen. That's what we love to see. We love to see defense. Grind it out type of battle. I love to see that stuff. But both of these guys, they got to be kicking themselves. They both got multiple stops and it's 0 0. You got to make somebody pay for their mistakes. And, and TJ's had some things open. He's got some un, you know unlucky overthrows, but he's had some things open, just hasn't thrown the ball when oh, he needs good to. Good defense. Yeah, Kobo just got him flustered right now. That was now. just great user, immaculate user. Just enough hesitation right there on that drag. Goes back deep to cover that post over the middle. That's really what TJ was looking for. Immaculate user right there from Kobo. Fourth and five, another fourth down. Can TJ at least not get a red pass on this fourth down? Yeah, Kobo gonna give him coverage right here. Three-man rush. Over the middle. Ooh, that's a nice guy. Zay Flowers. That's In that situation, do you, you you call for the coverage, but do yeah. you try to send the kitchen sink right there? I think you dance with who got you here. You know, you playing good. The coverage has been good, yeah. But the problem is, Kobo got to tell right now, when that linebacker not moving over that D-tackle, you can tell he's not sending him on the blitz. Right Beamer. The and that's one of the worst things about being a defensive player when you know you have a tail in the defense you'd be like man hold on i might want to throw the whole defense away because if you're able to tell if your opponent is blitzing or not it changes everything yeah and, and, and you got to make everything look the same great defense nowhere to go one thing i am noticing ty about tj 
he's not stepping up in the pocket. It's a lot of rolling out, and that's causing him some problems. Yeah, it has. A lot of that pressure's getting to him. He's been forced to roll out, and that's why he's getting a lot of those inaccurate passes. He's not been able to blue pass at all. He's staying in this tight slots, of course, in the Chicago Bears playbook. He's going to this tight slots weak formation lot. Nice oh, dot boy. there. It's a quick out route. Oh. 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 Hit him with a Harlem shake. And that's smart right there. Going five out, motion that running back out of that tight slots formation. You don't have any defenders out there. Just a quick out route, little check down. He's able to make a nice move and pick up a first. First and ten. Both players locked into this $45,000 game of Madden. Rolling right with Stroud, but nowhere to go. He'll maybe get half a yard. A reminder, guys. Let us know who you think is going to win this game. If you're in the chat, give us a one. TJ, give us a two. Kobo. But if you're, you want to get this trending in the U.S., if you want to maybe some extra dump trucks at the end of the night, mm -hmm. use that hashtag Madball over on X. It's going to be trending. on the user squad. No money spent. Budget ballers, where you at, man? You want those extra dump trucks? Hashtag Madball. And I guarantee the user will not win one of these. Don't worry. Let's get this trending on Twitter, boys. Gurley. Third and two. And I've noticed TJ's been a little bit hesitant with a lot of his passes. And he's making sure it's open before he throw it. Yeah, yeah, he is, but some of them he's just missing. He's been rolling out. He's had some crossers, just not throwing the ball when he needs to. Yeah, his pocket is getting him killed right now because he's seeing ghosts. You know, when that A gap start coming in, you know, you think you gotta move a certain way in the pocket, and then he's just getting flushed outside the pocket every time. Go to the ground. No, gives it oh, Lock in touchdown. Make it easy for the track star. TJ with the first score of the game. And it's right back to it's right back to where we were in the first quarter. TJ basically got ball first and finally made him pay. And we finally get some offense in this game. Hey, y'all remind me to go we back on the finally on have points here. Two minutes, 51 seconds left till halftime. And we finally have a touchdown. And you hear TJ using the crowd as his help. Obviously, he feels like this is a home game for him. He said, hey, y'all remind me to go back on balance once I get back on offense. Yeah. And where the Kobo fans at, man? Uh-oh. We, we ain't seen no Kobo fans. Where, where is the Something about that 818 crew, man. They don't get a lot of love. This is a and we got a lot right of love. To Zay Flowers on that replay, able to possession catch it and then punch it in with Todd Gurley on the inside zone. Former Georgia Bulldog putting the first touchdown of the game. 248 to go. I'm a Dree Archer. Oh. I'm Ooh. Hello. What does he have carrying? 64 carry. Have we seen him drop a single ball? Not once. That might be the commentator's curse. Trips to the right side, so the receiver left side. Stroud back Ooh, to pass. Man no detector. Over the middle. So he has time to find the man who gave Henry his Madden Bowl belt back in 22, Tony Gonzalez. And that's the one player that Pobos had really today is that tight end deep. I'm not even sure what to call it. It's a corner route type thing. You can only really find that in the running gun playbook. That's been his bread and butter here in this first half that he's had some success with. I'm, I'm nervous, user, because I look over, you, you know, Clef's fit. Mm -hmm. Got the sunglasses, the black suit. I'm nervous if he wears that in Vegas, he might be mistaken for security and that might not be able to be on the desk. Yeah, he, you know, he real looks a lot like Suge Knight out there. Not yeah, at all. Yeah, 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 You're yeah. not big enough for security. I got you, you good. We'll, mean, just, we'll just, like, if somebody gets rowdy, we'll, we'll send you off the deck. Can you get him security? Security? And Neo, Neo over there. It's good pocket. <laughs> And we talked about how how good Kobo's offense is. But as you see, TJ has a little answer for it. Kobo's having to play a little bit unorthodox like he. Oh, nice drag right there. Oh, but he drops it. KO. Mid zone. And Kobo had the running back wide open on the table route. Just missed it. Looking too, much over, looking too much over the middle of the field. This is a huge play in the game, Nick. You might be tuning in and go 7 0. This, this must not be a good game. This game has been a chess match. Two wide to the left side, one to the right side for Stroud. Quick nice throw over the middle. Really nice route combo right there, finding Darius Hayward Bay. Kobo being smart right here, going to take Ugh. the clock, make sure he takes this ball in the halftime, tied up, trying to get seven. And user, if you're not going to block the side that's pressure, and what should you do? You should throw to where the blitzer's coming. That's exactly what Kobo did there. Stroud. I mean, that guy is coming right up the A-gap. Putting a lot of pressure on him, even though he's getting nano detected, it's, it's hard. Still, it's still there. Uh, listen, when you once you see you him flash, because yeah. you're using your peripherals. Once you see him flash, you're like I gotta get out of here. Using your what? Peripherals. Yeah. That's what I thought it was. But what I say? Peripherals. I think you said the parentheses. <laughs> I said the parentheses. Get out of here. 
Perfect. You, user woke up with his thesaurus and went, hold on, let me find some yeah. words for today. Hey, man, I'm working with your own this morning, man. He's adding <laughs> some, 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 some words to my vocabulary. Yeah, vocab. You know? <laughs> Call him Merriam Webster. <laughs> First and ten. Stroud to work. I also just realized that that Merriam Webster reference might go over a lot of kids' heads because do they still have dictionaries? I think you just go I think you you just Google, Google what the word is, yeah, right? Google. Merriam Webster, Oxford, anybody? All right, I'm old. It's fine. Second ten. I told you, Nick, on your birthday, man. Screen, uh, look at this. Oh, oh nice the, play. The throwback to Dream this. Archer. First and goal, 18 seconds. The bubblegum gimmicky goodness user. That's what we love to see in the red zone. kobo has been labbing that stuff up. It pays off right there. I remember last time he ran the screen, Randy Moss made a crazy Ooh. diving acrobat pick. So you got to be kind of careful out there because you see TJ, he's making some great adjustments on defense. By the way, I, I know you were busy hanging out with all the NFL stars. Thanks for the birthday wishes. I oh, mean, no problem. You know, in the in your own way, I know it meant you know I love you because yeah. you've not once said it said it nicely. It's usually just dunking. Oh, oh that's my! That's a tough throw. Oh, you didn't know what you do. I said. I really felt like he could have scrambled for six. He could have stepped up. I feel like he could have. But how many times has that nano detection gotten home? So you, your your brain maybe turns off that option. Yeah, it is. I mean, the defense that TJ is running, that guy's flashing through the A-gap, going to that 6-1 even right here in the red zone, one of the best defense when it comes to the red zone. In this situation right here, you see a lot of guys that play <coughs> on the defensive end and they have the lurk artists on the defensive end, mm -hmm. and they use those other linebackers to drop hook zones and vert zones right here to make it even more difficult to score. Didn't Kobo what? score a late eight? half touchdown yesterday? Who was? He went to that speed option. He scored like one second. He did, yes. Half. He took the clock down and went speed option. But he, he's too far here. No time off to do like, that. Yeah, parallel oh, no, situations. Yep, for sure. He, 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 now, he activated. He got deep zone KO. Here we go again. TJ, Mr. Positive Play Player. Tell him, hey, man, I got people activated right now. I need to get them off the field. Let me make sure I'm playing a, a clean, fair game. Mm-hmm. Now, TJ. That's good. Yeah, I don't know if these dudes. I don't know if these it's dudes are activated bro. or what. I'm just gonna. Who was it? It was uh. It was, it was Wild Man. Uh, Nisky. So, what they're talking about know. this AKA program? Some mm -hmm. of these players come with a pre-lit X factor. They've agreed not to use those pre-lit X factors that start on at the beginning of the game. So he takes them out, but there are these sub packages. You sometimes get them to see the sub in. So you love to see. You know, taking the, the intentional offside so that that player's not getting the benefit wow. of the pre-lit X factor. That's a big penalty there because now, I mean, this is just now back you're in the kick three. Yeah, back up to the 20. Run the ball here. I don't even no, know you can't run it. Screen. You can't run it. You no no timeouts. Out. No timeouts. So it's got to be one shot to the end. Yeah, he probably, he probably just throws it out of bounds here, honestly. Or he throws it out of bounds to the back of the end zone. That was a, by the way, that was a blue pass throw away. Uh, accurate. Yeah, so that's a big penalty to take because you would have still been down there inside the 10. You would have saw a sh shot at the end zone. You get backed up to the 20. That's a really difficult spot. Now he's forced to kick three. That's a big win for TJ. And that's, and that's, that's tough good. for Kobo. You know, you get two stops in the first half. You're playing phenomenal defense. And Madden 20, you get two stops. You're supposed to be winning. Yet it still feels like even though TJ has the lead, this game is so far from over. This is very evenly matched. The, the way these guys have worked their defenses, nobody has an edge offensively. It's going to come down to who makes a mistake first. Yeah, and both of these guys, they've been playing phenomenal defense. Oh, okay. TJ put together a great job when he great drive when he needed to, running the ball. Kobo tried to do the same thing, got more balance, running screens, handing the ball off more. Let's be real, Kobo's a daughter. He's a surgeon, but you see he's not afraid to make the adjustments saying, hey, I done got stopped twice. Let me try to slow this game down, run the ball, see if TJ has some run defense. Halftime. Here from game two of the final day here in San Francisco, quarterfinal action. It is TJ with the 7-3 lead over Kobo looking for a spot in the semifinals and a matchup with the number one player in the world, Henry. Oh, $45,000. A very special congratulations to the PlayStation Tournament's Road to the Bowl winner, Gino underscore 308, who will get Super Bowl tickets and EA Sports presents the Madden Bowl tickets. If you need a guest for the Super Bowl, let me know. At Nick Zesco, just throwing it out there.
They're giving out Super Bowl tickets over here, gentlemen. It's crazy out here. What a first half. TD, Clef, break it down. Holla at me if you got a guess, man. Hey, holla at me. Man, what a first half right there. But let's be honest, a crazy first half. We ain't seen this much defense. We yeah. have not seen it. And most like an exciting defensive game, too. Who would have thought that? Both these guys really been, you know, prepared for each other. You can tell the lab work's been big. But, yeah, I expect more points in the second half for yeah. sure. Animations, we ain't even seen. I ain't even seen Randy do that. <laughs> I, we ain't even seen that like crazy. acrobat. Let's go ahead and show y'all how we got here. Let's go break down this first play. This is great defense by Kobo right here. He just got TJ. He got him a little flustered right now. This fourth and ten. First drive of the game, really setting the tone. This is what you call a tone setting drive. It's just showing you how this game gonna be. Slobber knocker type of game. Let's go ahead and roll this play and just watch how Kobo uses these zone drops. Look at Julius Peppers. He's getting just deep enough right here. You can see how deep he is. What does that do him being that deep? You can see it just gives him time. It buys Kobo time to make CJ Stroud. It lets that pass rush get to him force him outside the pocket, and you can see he get it inaccurate because this Gronkowski right here, he just all in his face. He right here in his face, and TJ forced to make this read because it's really, it's nothing else open. He doesn't get that blue pass. Let's roll this play. And an easy pick by Kobo. Now, maybe he should have swatted this down right here because this ended up being just a punt yep. for TJ. And what, what a play. And Clef, how many times have we seen TJ had to roll out because of that pressure? This has happened multiple times. That's why his completion percentage is so bad right now. He's had to roll out. He's getting bad errant passes. He's had a few reads that he could have had. He's just not throwing a little bit hesitant. But right there, just a crazy bad throw and, a turn, and it was a turnover. Yeah, that pocket really getting to him. That, that A-gap. This is a defense he hasn't seen before. You know, the shift linebackers use to the slot corner, try to trick that tackle. So it's really giving TJ problems right now. Let's talk about a play of the game. Let's go ahead and roll this second play. This was TJ, unbelievable. I mean, just talk to us, TD, about Yeah, this is unbelievable. Here. I mean, this, guys, this is why you get Randy Moss out of position on your Madden Ultimate team. You see the plays he makes on defense. Six foot four, Clef, you can go ahead and run it. I mean, Kobo goes to a play, doesn't really run. The wide receiver screen, right? We don't see him do that too often. And there you see that man, six foot four, Randy Moss, out of position in the slot, too. Great uh, personnel decision there from TJ. Randy Moss is able to get out there and make one of the most amazing diving picks we've seen all season long. Just unbelievable, Clef. Yeah, what a play. I mean, play of the day. Play of the day from a defense. I didn't think we'd see this defense all tournament, let alone in one half. Yeah. In one half of the game. Absolutely crazy. Second half, I think we're going to see some more points. We have to. Kobo's a machine. He's the silent assassin. He's known for offense. He's got to go down and get seven and beat TJ here and see what we can have, see what we'll have in the second half. Yeah, and Kobo got to, he got to put his, his foot on the gas right here because he he played a good first half. He got two stops early yep. and couldn't make him pay. Got zero points to show for it. It's going to come down to who can get some more points in the second half. I mean, really, both these guys playing phenomenal defense. Yeah, phenomenal defense. And that'll be it from us. We're going to toss it to one of the Madden players of this generation. <laughs> one great user in the players' lounge. <laughs> oh, man. I'm in here with King Henry, the six-time belt winner. Henry, first off, what's going on, man? What were you thinking? I see you try to take the bandages off your hand. How's the fingers feeling? How's the hand feeling? Uh, it feels it feels decent. Uh, it's, it's just awkward. It's going to be awkward to play. It's awkward. I mean, it's so much on the line. Why would you take the risk? Who do you think you are? I wasn't going to. They they kept asking me to. It's not and so fault. you got peer pressure. I got peer pressure. Do you it's understand what's on the line? Don't nobody want you to be the guy to roll to a mad millionaire to win this. So yeah, let's get Henry out here. And guess what? They took a guy, they took a dive at you. You didn't even know you was getting set up. They took a dive. Now your fingers is hurting. Yeah. Did you jam the finger? What happened? Yeah, I jammed. Bro, I just, you yeah. jammed it. <laughs> yeah, oh it's my goodness, man. All right, man, so you're over here. You got a, a great position, great view. You're able to watch the game. And what are you taking away right now? Obviously, you know, you want to get your get back versus Kobo. But what are you seeing right now in this game? Well, one, super low scoring. Did not expect it to be this low scoring. Randy Moss made one of the craziest plays I've ever seen. I mean, y'all show my reaction. Oh, yeah. that, that was crazy. I don't know what that was. But, uh, I mean, they're both playing good defense. I think TJ's running something that Kobo just, like, it's, it's just like random stuff. That's what I was saying about TJ. He runs a lot of random adjustments catching Kobo off guard and Kobo's out here and this is that Bugs defense. You know oh, about yeah, this? Yeah. He running that Bugs stuff and TJ doesn't seem to like it. So uh, it's just, this seems just like a heavily defensive game. And now, you know, you got to match up whether you play Kobo or TJ. Let's say somehow, some way you make it to the finals and somehow, some way on that other end, it's Wesley. Does that bring any out of juice? Because understand when you played him, you wasn't that belt winner. You wasn't who you are now. You wasn't the king. 
Is there any extra sauce to show him like, yeah, it wasn't fluke. Yeah, that was a laser. And I, I deserve to be here. Nah, I said it before. I mean, y'all used to have a great relationship, too. It got to be something on the line. Nah, it's, I mean, yeah. I mean, think about it. You moved from Chicago. You moved from Chicago to stay one floor below him. And all of a sudden, now, like, hey, man, this is what it is, man. Listen, Bob down the street, Wesley, Journey, it doesn't matter. Wow, wow. Everybody gets the same respect. Yeah, that's bro. what happens when you're getting too much money. You're about to become a millionaire. You're getting our money. You're wearing our money. You know, Alexander McQueen, all that stuff, gallery department. He's like, it's whatever, man. It don't matter, man. I don't know what he doing, but we getting checks around here. We throwing it back to you, Nick, in the booth. Pause. Hey, user, thank you so much. Time for another giveaway here on this final day of competition at EA headquarters. We went defensive for game one. Let's swap sides of the ball and give away three offensive Super Bowl legends with Terrell Davis, Doug Williams, and Andrew Whitworth. That Doug Williams gets zero AP. Hot route master with his lighted up X Factor. These three items are headed to the account of Sooner 12M. Boomer soon. Keep hammering hashtag Madball on Twitter or X, depending on who you are out there. What you feeling like? Let's get those dump trucks rolling, I'm telling you. Tony, let's get it trending. Hashtag, Hashtag Madden Bowl. Bowl. Let's go. Second half action. 7 3 your score. Nick Vazesco, Tyler Davis, Cliff Gowd, one great user along with you. Appreciate everybody hanging out on those EA Madden NFL Twitch and YouTube channels. We got to get some more points here in the second half, boys. Especially I, I was loving the defense in that first in that first oh, quarter. Yeah. That's and then you know finishing out the second. No, one right. of the best low-scoring games we've seen. You can tell it's just a real chess match. These guys have put in the lab work. They know each other so well, and they're doing a great job defensively. Yeah. Great defense right here by TJ. Manning people up as well, forcing Kobo that outside pressure getting to him, stepping right up into Reggie White. A big third down early for Kobo in the second half. Look at the defense from TJ. We said, Clef, that this trip's so tough to defend. TJ's out there with ease. And it's relentless pressure. That's what he's doing. You know, when you sit back versus trips, the spacing of the offense, it really gives, especially zone defense problems. But he's sending five every play. Stroud, fourth and nine. Up the seam, he finds Dre Archer. Big first out. Maybe a moment for Kobo to settle down. And right here, this drive is so critical. Yeah, so critical user, and I want to see him use that motion block. There he goes with the motion block, but it True. doesn't matter. Oh, my goodness. And TJ said, listen, all I know how to do is to send pressure. Second and 16. Stroud in the shotgun. Archer on his left hip. Stroud back to pass. Steps up, quick throw to Archer underneath. He's got some room. He's got a first down and more to the 47-yard line. And the adjustment to this, once you see somebody motion blocking to pick up your blitz, you've won. You've done your job. The adjustment to this is now you start mixing in coverage. And that'll really kill that motion blocking. An accurate pass. By the way, uh, the uh, the GOAT problem right has some beef with Clef the God. Hmm, what do you say? He said, Kyle Juszczyk over Purdy. You're going to make me say something. Kyle Juszczyk's one of the best fullbacks ever. Is Brock Purdy one of the best quarterbacks ever? It's that simple. Listen, I'm going to tell you right now. It's that simple. You don't want no smoke with the movement. It's that simple, though. It's, get it's simple. Get him. Get him at Clef the God. The movement, get him. Second and 10. Stepping up with Stroud, looks underneath. He finds Dion prime time with the first down. And Kobo doing a much better job here. He's been attacking the areas that TJ's blitzing, and that's one of the things you have to do when you face all this pressure. Kobo's dialed in right now. Stroud, he's got some room to step up, and he finds Darius Hayward. Oh, hits the brakes on him like it's traffic at 5 o'clock on a Wednesday afternoon. And that's been like three plays in a row there where he's attacking that short left side of the field where that slot, that uh, blitzing slot DB is coming. Does it again. Using the underneath, and we're seeing Kobo starting to settle in that offense user. Yeah, and as you see, he's showing great pocket right here, stepping up. He's just making all the right reads right now, making sure it's open, not pulling that trigger too fast, because we saw what happened with that Randy Moss interception. Could we see the jurdle? And speed Nick, could we get a little of that speed option jurdle? Yes. Oh! oh. <laughs> oh. 
TJ says no, TJ sir. TJ hit him with the no thank you, and you can take a seat right here. Yeah, TJ, he said, listen, man, I know what he's going to. That speed option looked pretty slow. <laughs> I did not mean. Woo. You talk about getting hit. Oh my. Oh. Throw. He's lucky he doesn't fumble that ball. And, and very fortunate that CJ Stroud. Usually when, when that happens, you get that push over the line of scrimmage animation, and a quarterback will fumble. Great job of TJ right there using the quarterback and Tanks, keeping CJ Stroud in the pocket and making him step up into those defenders. Third and goal. Oh, you gotta take off. He had it. You gotta take off. He goes Superman into the end zone, and the presumptive rookie of the year hangs on for six. Kobo takes the lead. Wow, good pocket, but so scary. Dives in, and CJ Stroud takes the hit, doesn't fumble, and gives Kobo the lead. And I like that right there by Kobo. A lot of people in that situation, they slide, they get down. Right there, you got to let him hang. That's just a let him hang moment by Kobo saying, I don't even want to get the fourth down, especially fourth and one from the one. Nobody wants to be in that situation. A great job of Kobo holding on to that square button to dive into that end zone right here. You see, man, just what a play by Kobo. This is the fourth down pickup for Dree Archer and then C.J. Stroud. He believes he can fly. How do you hold on to that ball? What I don't voice. know. Thank you. What a, what a voice. And TJ got to send that zone quicker. I mean, Nick Mazzesco can do it all. He can do it all. Oh, good defense. Eight for 19. Under 50% passing cleft. It's been tough. Yeah, he making them work. He making them work. You come out here with a new defense somebody ain't seen before, it really tests the Madden player's skill work. And how skilled are you? And how much can you adjust right on the fly? A reminder, the Ultimate Madden Bowl is presented by the all-new Lexus GX. Second and ten. TJ looking to retake the lead down by three. Stroud. How about that to Travis Kelsey? Hey, Kelsey with a big game. 48-yard line. That hasn't been pretty. 9 to 20 passing the ball. But so far, TJ's offense looking a little more in rhythm even though Koba scored in that last drive. That's a laser, the double corner up, so effective in Madden 24. We're getting close to the end of this third quarter. Remember, $45,000 game right now. The pressure's coming for TJ. Another errant pass. And Clef, we've seen reds? this a million times today from TJ. Every time he rolls out, it's always a red errant pass. Yeah, and it's, it's a skill gap. It's a skill gap to be able to blue pass these. He, it has cost him all day today, and it's cost him right there as well. Screamo. Gets rid of it. He finds Kelsey once again. By the way, if you haven't gotten that, I know it's it's an LTD. That 95 overall, Travis Kelsey, that playoff pro. I mean, mm -hmm. best time I mean, in the game. But if you do your solos, you got a chance to get As him no in money the spent, got, yeah, of yeah, course. You got a chance to get him in 85 plus pack playoffs. Yeah, I was Is fortunate. That how, that's how yeah, you that's how I got him. I was fortunate. 85. Enough, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I was fortunate enough to get that pack luck. You know what I'm saying? Fours up in the chat. Fours up in the studio. We got fours up everywhere. 10-7, Kobo with the lead. Five minutes away from finding out who Henry will take on in the semifinals. TJ going five out again. Had success with this early when he motions out that running back. Stroud steps right and throws the one away. Question, Clef, is that a mistake? He's stepping right. There's only one route over there. Everything else is working left, but he's rolling right. And it's been TJ problem all tournament. You know, all tournament, it's, it's bothered him with his pocket because he's cutting off the field. He's cutting off the field. Now, if you could just sit in the pocket and make that corner. He had a corner route and a post route on that play. And if he could just sit in the pocket and you'll make the user choose the corner of the post and you just stole the opposite. Gurley fighting for the first down. He's going to be just short. TJ's a fighter, man. It, it seems like, you know, he's not playing great. He's playing ugly. But like he just finds ways to win. He's just one of those grinded out type of players. And we're seeing it on this drive. It hasn't been pretty. It's been pretty ugly. But he, he's finding a way here to get down to the red zone. Third and short. Underneath once again. You're seeing both of these guys really change their offense. That West Coast underneath has been much more effective here in the second half. Absolutely. You see TJ starting to go a lot of fire wide now. Just saying, hey, I can't block this blitz right now. Let me just try to make a read. And I like TJ going out of bounds there. Save yourself time. You know, give Kobo a lot of time so it's hard to milk this out so you can get this ball back, even if he does score seven. 
And Kobo going to that nickel over defense right here. This is another A gap. Shout out to Boog Stuff. Shout out to Clean God. Another one that they made and put on. And this defense right here is screen. He's been giving a lot of love to Boog today. These are his defense. I mean, listen. These are they his are. defenses. They are. Oh, good defense. Had to take the curve. Oh! Unbelievable. That could have been a $45,000 interception. There's no better feeling than when you got Bo Jackson on your squad, Clef, and he's got a, so much space out there, you might call him NASA. And it's Madden Bowl time. All of these guys on defense, they have lurk artists, they have pick artists. If you throw a ball late and try to throw the ball away late being greedy, you are going to pay a lot of the times from them throw out of sack picks, just like we just saw there. And that is a game changing play. Right here, as you see, just throwing the ball away late. Ball yeah, bounced around in the air. Bounces off of Kelsey to his tight end. Oh my God. One more stop, one more stop. You think the hen dog knows what's coming next? Oh yeah. He's already thinking about that game. And it was such a good drive for TJ too to get it all the way down there methodically. Looking to take the lead, and then boom, that wow. happens to you. What a game changing wow. play. Stunned. Absolutely stunned. And this is what you love about the Madden Bowl. You see these guys mixing it up, bringing out different defenses. We haven't seen this defense in a long time. And like Boog said, shout out to Clean and Boogs, because at the end of the day, you might not be one of those guys to make it, but as you see, even if you're not one of the best guys that year, you might bring something to the table. Somebody says, you know what? This might come up and be there very vital to help me there my next championship the journal. play. Still plenty of time left, only a 10-point game. And it says a lot about Kobo. It takes a lot of skill. A lot of people were sitting the same defense all a great game. Point. Kobo has bounced around from defense to defense, trying to figure out what this TJ don't like. That takes a lot of skill to do that. Yeah, to be able to run all those defense and be able to run them successfully. And he's comfortable. You're yeah. comfortable in that mm -hmm. many defense. A lot of people, they're stubborn. They can only run one defense. That just shows you how elite he is and on how that much side work he's been putting in. That's about putting in the work. You're having all these different things you can go to when it's not going your way. Correct. Underneath, it's a tight window throw. Alexander in coverage with Megatron. Makes the catch, steps out of bounds, stops at 2.57 to go. Game not over yet, TD. Definitely not. And keeping those timeouts, obviously, so critical here. Got plenty of time. Obviously, you try to want to score before the two-minute warning. Got tons of time here. Going to that motion out route. It's been open, but looks pressed up on the outside. We'll see if it's open here. He goes right up the seam. Dave Flowers. End zone touchdown, TJ. Little bit of fight here at the end. His defense has been good. It was good in the first half. Second half, a little more suspect user. He needs the best defensive drive of his young career. That's right. He needs to cook up something right now. He's been coming up with new defenses every drive, trying to get Kobo a little bit flustered. Onside? And, he's and going he's, onside. And he's onside, and this is a terrible decision. Phil had a game going. It's 17-14. This ain't a high score Ooh. game. Why do this? Why do this? A touchdown has I mean, been hard to come by. Kick it deep. Play defense yeah, and get the ball He has back. been playing great defense. You've been playing great defense. Why do this? And now he, he's going to easily get three out of this at, at the worst. He's getting three points. And now you got to score a touchdown? Questionable. But you can't get clocked. I mean, you're less likely to get clocked. Automatically yeah. just taking off out the pocket right there. Pocket was clean if he just sits there, take a second, and let the plays develop. And TJ just having tons of success in this DB fire, too. So a lot of times we see the spinner, we see the free safety zone blitz. Haven't seen too much DB fire, too, but TJ's doing a great job mixing it in here, and it's been giving Kobo problems all day. Trips to the left side. Slow tight to the right side. Second and 10, 250 to go. Stroud back to pass. Good user with Gronk. But Stroud's got room. He'll take off. Pick up six, third and four. Clock moving. And the next level from TJ is when you see that guy motioning in, that's when you start zoning out those slot corners. You know, no point in the blitz in them when he's blocking six people. I can't hide. I can't hide. Can't snap the ball. 
And, 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 hey, and you and don't, you don't that, decline right? that. You don't decline that. Well, you accept listen. that every So time. he's not a positive player. Right? Not, listen, every this is why Clef would never not a be, positive player. He would never that. be nominated. He could, he could hike that because he motioned that late. You accept that every single time with $50,000 on I agree. The, this I one, agree, though. I agree. They $100,000. Oh! And he it's threw that? Fourth and two. Do you kick oh, three man. here? He threw that? It's 51-yard field goal to go up by a full touchdown. I like Fourth this and two. Oh, I like this decision. Fourth and two. Two eleven to go. He'll split Archer out of the backfield. And you blitz him right here with him motioning this guy out. And TJ out. taking a timeout. Ooh, that's huge. TJ takes the timeout. That's big. You you need those timeouts. You need those. You can't you can't be out here just giving away timeouts with two minutes left in the fourth quarter and you down. He motioned this guy out. You know he's sending people out. You gotta blitz everybody. Play hard, flash, and get real aggressive. Stroud. Doesn't only rushes to two. Pass. Stroud. Oh, Stroud. Is down. Wow. Stroud. Wow. Stroud. Doesn't fumble. First down, Kobo. Oh, two minute warning. Oh my God. How he does not fumble. CJ Stroud. Take a look at this replay. He just sneaks by. Oh, oh gets hit and then takes another hit and doesn't rush, fumble. Did he only rush three there? I don't know. Only, read, he only rushed two. He's only rushing. And he broke a strip tackle. Ugh. That that That's is what called. He broke a strip tackle by Christian Harris. Yeah. That's a crazy play. Those Buckeyes are tough, my man. Those Buckeyes hold on to the ball. No? Okay. No. That's fine. But this is why you don't hmm. use that timeout. See, now he got the first down, and, and now you're out of 30 seconds at least. You know, he not only did you use your timeout, but he got the first down too. So you basically use that timeout for no reason at all. Does he go back to the pistol? Looks like he's gonna go back to the air. Three point lead for Kobo. $45,000 game of Madden. Jason, the pressure here. Heat sent. Stroud steps up. No oh, go. Oh, oh, my. This is CJ Stroud. CJ Stroud's a god. Confirmed. He got to have trust on him. He has, he has invisible trust. We need the That's Crazy Invisa segment trust. for this drive. Invisible trust. Stroud, pressure, oh. down goes Trust, down goes Trust, down goes Stroud for the 14. Does Is he bringing up the offense? Zero chance he snaps this. There, there should be absolutely zero chance. Wow. Of and and him, him even coming out on this lets me know he doesn't trust his defense. You it's a minute left. The you crowd is TJ, up. Right? Oh this, is, this has to be pressure again from TJ. Yeah, you has gotta to send be. a team. Has to be. You gotta send a team. Can't here. be rushing two on this play, fourth and 14 Cloud for this tournament team. life. Trips to the left side, solo tight end right side of the formation. Minute two to go. Minute two for here. a spot in the semifinals. From the motion block. And he didn't get here the motion he block off. He didn't. Here he goes. Left oh. side looking for it. It's picked up by Moss. And TJ has life. He only wow. gets a field goal. And Kobo, wow. He didn't get the motion block. Take a look at the replay. You see Square. That's supposed to be a blocker. It goes out on the route, so the pressure comes. He's forced to have to throw it, and TJ's all over it. And this has come down to Madden intellect and IQ. This game is low scoring. Defense is great right now. Why not kick three, go up six? Make him go score a touchdown. Trust your defense. You've been balling out on defense if you Kobo. Stroud, left side. I mean, devil's advocate argument is you've been balling out on defense, so go for the kill. If you don't get it, you might get a stop. But you getting three right here is super, super easy. He's going to get three. He's at least going to get three out of this drive. Now you make it where you can lose this game on a touchdown. TJ has a guap drive to secure potentially 100,000 in this tournament. If already had one overtime game, right? We see another. Triangle is open early. Stroud will take off. Third and short. What a game. What a game, gentlemen. We still got two more to go. That's what the Madden Bowl is all about. Best in the world battling it out for a $1 million prize pool. 46 seconds left. Bunch to the short side. Solo receiver wide left. That's a flowers. Stroud rolling right. Stroud no. escapes the pressure. Picks up a first down, stops the clock, 42 seconds. And that's the evolution of Madden as the year goes on. Early in the year, your quarterback, he's a statue. Late in the year, you got guys like C.J. Trout, William the Fridge, Perry. These guys are athletic, they mobile. You can easily escape a blitz. It's a great play call right here because it's going to get over a cloud flat. This is bench right here. It gets over 30s. 
This corner route from Zay Flowers. Portions out Gurley too to try to bring the zones down. Stroud. Corner route, does he have him? B. Zay Flowers first down and more! Inside the 15 to the 12 yard line! Great play. That's just great recognition by TJ to see what coverage Kobo kept abusing. Coming out here and running a great cover two beater, running that bench play. And man, Kobo got to be sick right now. He got to be scared for his Madden Bowl life. Perfect play call in that moment from TJ. And now 34 seconds to try to win this thing. Gonna go to the ground game. It's Todd Gurley up the middle. First down, touchdown! TJ from the brakes of elimination has taken the lead here in the quarterfinals. Still a good bit of time left. Kobo has all three timeouts. But he yeah. needs a touchdown. Can you imagine if he kicks a field goal there and only needed a field goal? Yeah. We'd be saying Kobo's in great position. E exactly. And that's why you kicked the field goal, because he got three timeouts with 31 seconds. He got plenty, plenty of time. And TJ plays that differently if you need a touchdown. You're cool with taking it underneath if you only need three. You can always get three. Take a look one more time at the big play to Zay Flowers. One in doubt, corner route. Picks up the first down, gets inside the red zone, and then Todd Gurley cashing it in. And if you TJ, you can't get and prevent defense here. You got to dance with who brought you here. Kobo still three timeouts. He finds DHB underneath for about, call it five yards. And that's the thing about it. TJ has not given up any chunk plays this game. He's been making Kobo work the whole game. Left side, it's Dre Archer, first down. 23 seconds left. Well, we're talking eight yards to midfield, another 10 to field goal range. So you're talking 18 yards. If he had taken that field goal. Instead, he needs to go. He needs seven. He needs to go 58 yards. And you saw this time he actually motioned his running back left to right, maybe trying to do a little blocking that way instead of motion blocking. Yeah, he doesn't want to motion block and take that because those receivers, those routes you can put on the receivers, they're just so much better than just having a running back out here on a route. He's going to do it again here. <laughs> I don't think he can. I thought he couldn't hurl for a second there. But there we go. He motions that running back over. Should be blocking him off that right side. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh my. That could have been your ball game. And we say Madden give it. Madden, and Madden and also take, take it. We almost see Kobo lose the same way he went up in this game by 10. Gronk comes right through the A gap and swats it, almost picks it. My goodness. Three wide receivers to the right, one to the left from Kobo. Screams off the edge, gets rid of it. 16 seconds left, third and 10. Still needs 58 yards to keep his dreams of a Madden Bowl championship alive. And TJ just relentless with the pressure. Great job by TJ. A lot of people get here, they get loose, they get lax, and they, they just want to play coverage. Kobo has wasted so much time because he got to try to find out how to pick up this blitz. Motions block, blocks here. Corner route oh. fell down. Wow. Mm. What do you need to get on this fourth down? I mean, obviously 10. <laughs> but you're hoping, what, 25 yards to set up a play to the end zone that's not a Hail Mary? Yeah, you got to get her. This has to be a chunk play. You know, Clef, I, I'd like to see maybe a quick snap. Like yeah, obviously, Tim, thank you. He's doing so many hot routes, taking so much time. It's allowing TJ to set up his defense. Yeah, TJ getting everything off right now. He's getting every every adjustment he wants to get off right now. He's getting off. And Cobra probably going to try to seam streak him here and get a chunk play. Probably looking for the tight end. 11 seconds, 10 seconds. Picked up. That's a move. Oh, my. That is your ball game. Wow. He got lucky that whole His game. gamer tag plays under the name, I'm faster than you. Today, he was better than you. He takes down Kobo. He earns $45,000, and he earns himself a matchup with the number one player in the world, Henry. Three live events, three Final Fours. Unbelievable TJ. rookie season continues. Two, fi two finals and mm -hmm. one final. He's a win away from yeah. a final. Yeah, that's the three had, final fours in your rookie season. Yeah, he, he just. And by the way, it's does, been a year. Does this kid get phased? It's been a year. He's found no. a way to consistently pull off tight games like this. Doesn't get phased at all. The pressure doesn't bother him. He's composed throughout it all. You saw it. Perfect example was this game. Excellent performance.
21-17, your final score. TJ will battle Henry in the semifinals. Let's take a look at some highlights from this game. I said that after this first quarter, this was one of the best 0-0 games I have seen. We started off a little inaccurate pick, and you thought Kobo in firm control, or you thought TJ in firm control. What does TJ do? Hey, he turns it over on downs. And then what do we see next? An interception. This game was back and forth defensively. Wow, this was crazy. Going crazy. 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 Unbelievable that lurk. That's why you get Randy Moss on your squad. And you know, for TJ, it, it was an ugly game, right? He he didn't get much going offense. This was a nice dot here to able possession catch that on fourth and five. But you know, it was an ugly game, but he always finds ways, comes up big in clutch moments, able to punch it in there with Gurley. First touchdown, seven nothing. We head to the third quarter. It's a seven-three ball game. Kobo on fourth down finds Dre Archer out of the backfield and then cashes in. CJ Stroud stepping up, Superman into the end zone. And so many times this game, Kobo was scared on ice. I don't know how many times we saw CJ Stroud should have fumbled for Kobo. TJ, one thing about it, he kept making adjustments on offense to try to keep himself in this game. As you see right here, we're thinking this is the dagger. This is it. Kobo's going on to the finals right here. This is what you're thinking. But somehow, some way, TJ keeps fighting. That shows you what type of guy he is. A whole lot of dog in him. Zay Flowers ends up with the touchdown 14-7. First down here on a fourth and two. We thought maybe this was it. Mm -hmm. This might have been. CJ Stroud was fighting through tackles for Kobo. Didn't fumble the ball. Big third and four. We saw this, the declining of the uh, the delay and This of game was huge right here. Kobo wasn't 14. able to get that motion block. He had to throw it up, and TJ's able to get that huge pick right here. And Kobo gonna go back and think, why did I ever go for this? Why, at what point did I have to go for this right here? It just put me in a bad situation. TJ hasn't called bench all game. This was open all game. Waited till his money drive to call this play. Just great, great sense of what he needed to get done right there. Get out of bounds uh, and just tie Gurley. He found success with this inside zone versus that dime defense. A uh, big time, big time, $55,000 drive by TJ. Rolling out right here. And TJ did a great job in this last minute. Just send the heat. He didn't play prevent defense, sent heat, Carmichael in in the game. Ty, what do you say the two best words in competitive Madden? Guap drive. drive. And that was a masterful guap drive. From the Delaware native, the former track star, and now a semifinalist in the Ultimate Madden Bowl. He joins us at the desk. TJ, congratulations, man. Thank Talk you. to me just this game as a whole, because it felt like the ultimate chess match. You guys back and forth, defensive stops, inaccurate passes, turnovers. What kept you centered to be able to fight through and, and get a stop on that last drive from Kobo and then go down and score a touchdown? Yeah, he played a great defense this game. I struggled both games so far. I just switched the Bears like a week ago, and I've really been struggling. But yeah, uh, defense, I want to give a shout out to Wavy. He actually gave me this defense like this morning for trips, and yeah, Kobo was struggling versus it. Yeah, it was a great defense. I mean, obviously, you know, both of y'all guys was coming up with defensive stops. In that moment, he gets the tip pick in the fourth quarter to go up two possessions. What in your mind are you thinking right now? And, and what keeps you that focused in the game? Because a lot of people just get deflated like it's over. Yeah, so after that, I'm not going to lie. Thoughts start creeping in like, damn, this shit might be over. <laughs> <laughs> it's four minutes left. But I'm like, if I, if I can score, then I, I believe I can get a stop, which I've been doing really good on defense all game. And like... I think a touchdown before, like, he had probably like five possessions in that game where his quarterback should have fumbled. Like, Absolutely. Yeah. CJ Stroud went crazy. He, yeah. he was not fumbling the yeah, ball. He was not. Yeah, TJ, congrats. Obviously, looking ahead a little bit here, you got the number one Madden player in the world. Henry, up next. Just your thoughts on that matchup and how you plan to go into it? Yeah, it's going to be a crazy matchup, but at least he runs a uh, coach just like Kib, so I feel like I should be uh, prepared, and I just got to play better on offense. So far in this Bears, I've been bad the first two games, so I definitely got to uh, be better on offense for Henry. Yeah, and TJ, what is it about you? You know, a lot of people, when they struggling, like you struggle. It seems like in all these big games, you struggling on offense. How do you find a way every time to just pull the game out when you need it the most? Yeah, I don't know. I guess maybe it's I, I don't get nervous, and after, and after like a big stop or something, I just stay locked in. And I prepared, been preparing on defense for the uh, formations I'm going to face. And it was just a lot of people don't like to be blitzed, and that's what I've been doing more this tourney, and it's been leading to more stops. And I, and I got another question for you. Somebody like you having an amazing year probably still feel disrespected with what you've done. Is this the type of matchup you want? Sometimes, do you want to run against do you want the, the best player the against the world, put them down, and show, hey, I'm one of them ones too? 
Yes, sir. Yeah, it doesn't really matter who I play, but yeah, playing Henry, if you win that game, yeah, you should get all the respect. But at the end of the day, uh, I don't really uh, care what other people say and shit, so yeah. Well, guess what? You've got uh, a ma big matchup later tonight for a spot in Vegas. Congratulations, my friend. A, a great it. comeback. And let's take a look at our updated bracket here from the Ultimate Matable presented by Lexus. Our semifinals are set. We only have four remaining competitors on one side, Henry and TJ later tonight, but you see on the right side, it's our next matchup. Coming up next, we fill a spot in Vegas as Wesley and Fancy battle it out for a chance at $250,000. The Ultimate Matable presented by Lexus returns after this. Every moment worthy, the all new Lexus GX. There is the ultimate Madden Ball ring. One of the competitors, the winner of this game, will move on to Las Vegas for a chance to compete for that ring. It's our first semifinal here from the ultimate Madden Ball, presented by Lexus as Fancy will battle Wesley. Our tale of the tape. I mean, talk about accomplished. They're talking about 841, dollars in career earnings between them. 180 career wins between them. But guess what? Neither of them have a belt, and they're looking to add a ring to their collection if they can get two more wins. Two of the best ever to never win a belt. Right on that list right there at the top, these two stand alone as they guys that should have a belt, want a belt, and need a belt. Over 800,000 in career earnings, almost 20 majors combined in their careers. This is a big time matchup. Fancy the 11th player in MCS history to reach 300,000 in career earnings. These two have matched up before. We gotta go all the way back to the Madden NFL 21 Bowl Draft Edition, an individual game. I'm gonna let you know, I don't know how, if y'all remember this one. Clef was playing in this one. User, we were on the broadcast. Um, I remember this well. This got well, ugly. This, this got ugly. Mm -hmm. It did. And, it, and one thing about it, you know, Wesley, Fancy was saying, hey, Wesley, you know, he's not that guy. You know what I'm saying? He beat me one time, but at the end of the day, we know Wesley has a slight edge over Fancy. He doesn't want to admit it, but somewhere, Deep down inside, he yeah. should. Wesley liked this matchup. He liked the matchup of him versus 88 or Fancy. 
He liked both. Was it Wesley that said, who would you rather face? And he said, no matter. He said he was the cam man. He said anybody can get it. Anybody. Mm -hmm. anybody. How about this? We're going to know one of our finalists in 20 minutes of gameplay. We head inside Lexus Stadium for the third time tonight. We head outside Lexus I'm Stadium for the third time tonight. <laughs> Let's talk a little more, Wesley Fancy. Uh, on one side, I mean, again, two of the guys, that they don't have belts, user, but you cannot discount their accomplishments. 842,000 and change in career earnings. Biggest thing I take away from these two, though, is the consistency they've been able to have, especially over the last five years. I mean, they're seasoned vets. Let's be honest, both of these guys, you know, well accomplished. Only thing they don't have is a belt. And right now, you got the championship ring on the line, and you understand Fancy. Fancy's been one of those offensive gurus for years. He's always put it together, but somehow, some way, he loses a game when you're like, I can't believe he lost it. It looked like he has it in the bag. And then Wesley. Wesley always has these great performances, but somehow, let's be real, Wesley doesn't lose games that he shouldn't lose on the stage. Man, if you don't know who Wesley gets, because we haven't seen him tonight, so let's give you guys a little bit of information on Wesley Gittins. Or as we knew him for a long time, Clef, Joe Rice, 13 MCS, major appearances, the second highest earning player all time, 100 career wins, and he be looking to get himself his first individual title. Yeah, consistency. Just a lot of consistency with the 13 live events. Second highest earning player, which means he's gotten to finals in, in the biggest moment in Madden Bowl type situations. To be honest, he looks like the best player here. You know, the games he's put together, even at John B's game, things going, going against him and he still found a way to pull it out. And man, both of these guys right now, they are looking like mirror match players, great defense, great offense. It should be a fun one. You, know, you want to try this again? I know we had like a little false start there, but y'all, you want to head into Lexus Stadium. Does this count as the fourth time? I mean, we're there briefly for a second. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll call it the third time, okay? Go to Lexus Stadium for this semifinal matchup. Y'all boys ready? Let's fill a spot in Vegas. Who's going to Vegas? Who's going to Vegas? The kick is away. It will be Wesley with the ball for in the old school Atlanta Falcons helmets. You know, that's going to bring a little juice for Wesley Gittins. Let us know on Twitter, hashtag Madden Bowl, who you guys going with? Oh, Fancy play. or Wesley Chat. Are we turning yet? Are we turning across the U.S.? Mm, Do they earn, have they earned it? Let me turn. This is a $50,000 game of John Madden football. Let us know in the chat who you got. Give us a one if you're going with Fancy. Give us a two if you're going with Wesley. Who's going to be the first participant to head to Vegas at a chance at the Madden Championship ring? Not yet. Right, so they haven't earned it. Not yet. They ain't earned them extra dump trucks. Mm. Let's get it trending. Hashtag Madden Bowl. Let us know what you think. Who's winning this game? Who's winning that second game? Henry TJ. Very interesting matchup. All the expectations on Henry TJ. At this point, literally playing with house money. You take a look at the highest career earners in the MCS. I mean, what, what more can you say? You've got Wesley up over $500,000 in career earnings. And possibly counting as he will start out on oh my. James oh, Cook. Oh my. He's James, James Cook. Him. Left side. First down and more. Okay. Did a little Houdini act. Does Wesley got the juice right now? I mean, he has been playing phenomenal Madden football. He does look like he's one of the best players out here right now. The way he's been playing sound offense. His offense is bunch strong. Has looked the best out of everybody. First and ten. Wesley starting off the, the game with a big run play. That's almost very un -Wesley like Stroud, stepping right. Looking downfield, throws back across his body. A little jump pass, A Flowers inside the red zone, down to the 17-yard line. Expeditious offense from Wesley. He's looking to start out with an early score. And Wesley's dialed in right now, rocking that Indianapolis Colts playbook. He likes that bunch offset, also that bunch strong. And that one, low cross body, rolls out right, throws it back up to the check down. Do a little lob pass, do a little touch pass, and able to make something happen. Rolling right, throwing right. Kelsey, first down and goal. Yeah, we've seen that a lot in this tournament. Tight end on the post, tight end on the crosser, getting under thirds and getting over those cloud flats by the corners. Great dot by Wesley, already in position to score early. Cook, 
Try to find some room up the middle. He'll get three down to the one yard line. So he goes right back to it. And he does, and he scores. James Cook, a perfect drive to kick off this game. Wesley goes down and takes the early lead in this $50,000 game of Madden. And that's a statement opening drive right there from Wesley Gittins. Remember, he's ready for this moment. He wants this bad. He wants to get to Vegas so he can have a chance at redemption against the King. And Cliff, what's the feeling right here? I mean, that's an easy drive. You know, you don't see any third downs before you know, hey, I'm here. Yeah, it's just deflating. It's just it's just a deflating situation. You know, you go down here and no resistance. That's the thing. Mm -hmm. When there's no resistance and they just marching like down the field, bay. especially your confidence is, is diluted because what you just did to 88, you know, when you were on defense. So for somebody in the same playbook to come down here and march down the field, it, 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 hits, it hurts your confidence a little bit. Whoa. James Cook action. Pick up the first touchdown on the game. Wesley taking on Fancy. And Fancy had quite the run last year. Our first in-person Madden in a couple years. And Fancy made a, a great run through this tournament. Unfortunately, he ran into this guy named Henry at the end of it. But you had to think that this run for Fancy was a confidence builder for him. Yeah, I mean, you know Fancy, you know, he's one of those guys that we expect him to eventually get over the hump. But let's be real. He's been playing some dogs. You know, you get beat by Henry, you're not losing to just no no name. So now you have another tough task in front of you, Wesley. Can he be able to step up and get the job done? Yeah, looking to go back to back final fours here in the Madden Bowl. Been so successful in his career. Had a great win earlier, yeah. too, Clef. I mean, he really played phenomenal defense, too. We know Fancy for that offense, but it yeah, was a defense, defense that was exceptional. Matching. Yeah, it was a complete win for Fancy. You know, for an offensive player like him to have a complete win where he just dominated every aspect of the game, it gives him a lot of confidence going against somebody like Wes, who had a real good tournament so far, and a strong, strong two wins that he had previous to this. Early score for Wesley. Can Fancy oh, I forgot answer? To take it away. Yeah, yeah, take one. Yeah. Take one. You see, this is a... A fairly common gentleman's agreement in Madden. These setup, these audibles, so important for these guys to run their offense. They use up a delay game. Decline, Clef, even you're declining but, that one, right? No. Oh. I'll decline it, but I don't like it. they just too friendly. Their voice is, had no aggression in it. Is Clef, Have some aggression. Is Clef Man, take your delay game. Player. I mean, he's he's a guy that would never be nominated. Now, listen, listen, EA listen. When before. fans, he said, oh, my fault, I, I forgot to take a delay game. You bet you did. Don't do it again. So I'm like, you got some aggression. Let him know we not friends right now. We brothers, but right now we not friends. Me and user was playing. He know what it is. I got an iconic moment versus user. We ain't gonna talk about it. Yeah, yeah. He almost did right now. He almost he ain't want to dab my Once you play Clef, no friends. I'm telling you right there. Is there an EA negative player of the year? Oh, he'd be nominated. Crab of the year. Although no, I know who I know who would be nominated. Crab of the year, Mr. No Money Spent would be nominated. Why would I be nominated? That Crab of the year for sure. Let's, let's call Ryan and see what he thinks. All I do is speak facts and y'all get upset. It's crazy. Krabby facts. You want to know who your favorite sandwich is? <laughs> Krabby Patty. Yeah, gotcha. 7 0. Fancy an offense. Strap back to work. Bunch to the right side. Pressure right oh up my. the middle. Back foot. Just throws this one out of bounds. Of course, Fancy rocking that New York Jets offensive playbook. Got that CJ Stroud with Hot Rod Master, Gunslinger, set feet lead. Looking tough here for those first two downs. See if he can pick something up on third. Stroud. Yup. In yep. trouble. One more. Down One more. goes Stroud. Out, Fourth and forever. And Wes has had that best dollar here. I you know, mean, it just seemed like his dollar. Sometimes when it's your time, your defense just look different. You his, might be doing the same thing. His dollar might be a five dollar. Might his, be a ten dollar bill. Hundred dollar. His dollar is just is something different about what he's doing out here, and he's just getting home a Maybe lot. Maybe a fifty thousand dollar if he wins this. Nice, mm. nice, nice, mm -hmm. nice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A little late, 19. but you got it there. Yeah, he got it there. He got it there. A, a, a for the line, C plus for the execution. That's a B. Oh, 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 Forward, fourth and nineteen. Fourth and no problem. Wow, that's clutch from Fancy. Fourth and nineteen, back against the wall, and he throws an absolute laser. That dot came out of the oven at 425 degrees. It was a hot one. First and ten. 
And that's the one thing about it. When you're playing the season, bet, fancy knows what time it is. Yes, it can be fourth and forever, but at the end of the day, I got to go for it. I got to keep pace with Weston because you know you can't be out here punting the ball. Right here, fourth and 19, take a look at the replay. User drifts right to cover the, the seam route, leaves Zay Flowers one-on-one, -on -one, and Zay Flowers one-on-one. -on -one. We call that defensively a problem. And just too aggressive right there by West. Why are you on a safety right there? You know, stay on one of them linebackers, set your zone drops on, and trust the AI to make a play. Oh, Ooh, that's true. Move oh. outside. Oh. Spin move. Picks up a first down. Crazy stick work right there from Fancy. Goes with the juke and then back with the spin. You know, that spin we don't see too much here in Madden 24, but goes to it. Nice little stick work. Stroud steps oh. up and Stroud sits down. Pocket collapse and the walls are closing in. Out of position that Rob Gronkowski, one of the best items still out there from that zero chill program. Yeah, and we saw in the previous game, Gronk came right up the A-gap, swatted the ball, almost picked it. That Gronk is so effective. Look at right side. Megatron gets sideline animation. First down to the 11-yard line. Boys, I don't know about you. This feels like we got a, we got a shootout at the OK Corral. Yeah, these boys are playing offense. And Wes is loading up to stop Durham. So basically, he got this play side, this safety to the strong side of the formation and a hook. He's loading up to stop that running back street, the drag from the tight end and the crosser. So these corner routes, they are wide open. Cook outside, nowhere to go. Good edge contained there. Gonna bring up a second and eight. Clock running down here, $50,000 on the line. But more importantly, a spot in Vegas. These guys two wins away from a Madden Bowl ring. We'll head to the second quarter, 7-0 Wesley with the lead, but Fancy knocking on the door. Remember, winner of this game secures themselves a cool 150000 mm. in this tournament. What, do we get a cut of that? or no. Nothing? No, nothing. They don't have to like pay us like a nothing. little bit? Like a nothing. percentage? Wow. We're gonna ring, you can get, a, hey, you can get a nice Lexus with that. You can. You mean you can get the all-new Lexus GX? Mm-hmm. Over the middle. Oh, that's a dog. Oh, yeah. Dobbs, oh, Romeo yeah. Dobbs, end zone, touchdown, oh, fancy. That's a super hot dot. Double in routes there on the wide side of trips. Threads the needle. That's a really nice red zone play. And that's how you have to respond when you're playing a guy like Wesley. Both of these guys known for their offense, high power. You know Fancy understands who he's playing. A lot of times people come out here and they get too conservative, like, hey, I, I can settle for three. I can punt. Well, you got to realize who you're playing. He's not going to punt. He's not going to settle for three. They go for seven. I mean, <laughs> Romeo Dobbs might be the player of this tur entire tournament. He has been so good. For so many players, shout out to the University of Nevada. Yeah, we've seen a lot of Romeo Dobbs, Zay Flowers, and Megatron. Those have been the three receivers all tournament long. Oh, wow, what a blue pass. That's a blue pass. And that's really scary. Fancy's doing a great job of lurking on this lurk artist and, and covering the corner route and letting them linebackers play low on the drags. 33 yards to Calvin Johnson. First and 10. Five man rush. Nowhere to go. And he'll throw this one away. First incompletion for Wesley. We're in the second quarter. Yeah, it's definitely going to be a shootout. High scoring affair between these two offensive juggernauts. It might be the first person to get a stop. It might, a stop might decide this game. Stroud. Oh, the oh, middle. Wow. Oh my God. Finds Kelsey first down. Come on. I that mean, that's just scary. a surgeon right there. Just to sit in the pocket, look right down the barrel, and deliver a strike. Yeah, and a dangerous throw, you got to throw that right when he threw that. He threw it with perfect timing because he threw that a millisecond later. It's a pick. There's a bunch strong. Flowers, solo receiver. Kelsey, Megatron, and Dobbs in the bunch. Rolling right with Stroud. Does he throw deep? Blue pass, clicks on. And good coverage back there, able to get in the way of an easy touchdown. Yeah, yeah, that corner drop, just, it just got upfield a lot and ran, ended up running right into that third. Mm -hmm. I thought if he would have waited a couple seconds, might have had a better angle at it. Nice click on to still make a play. Third and six. Of the seam, oh, nope. James oh. Cook drops it. It's knocked out. You saw it light up. KO. And this right here is the respect that he has for fancy offense. You know, he's going to end up going for this, and you're going to see this from both players. They're not going to be comfortable with settling for three, even on a fourth and six. <laughs> Fourth down. Bunch to the right side. 
So receiver wide left, Cook in the backfield. Stroud snaps it, waiting, looking, deep. That's Enzo a laser. Dobbs! That's a laser. Now, Wesley with the beams! And the thing about a fancy, he had immaculate user right there, but still, Wesley being patient, able to hit the right read, that's a beam on fourth down. And user, you know all about that Texas angle out of the backfield. He had that, and he also had the post. Such a tough route combo. Fancy did a good job, like you mentioned, guarding that angle out, but then the post came open late. Yeah, and he baited it real well. It was like the, the angle looked like it was going to be open, but Fancy came right down on it, and Wesley able to fit that ball right in between the third with that double post. Yeah, and that's that separates the good offensive players from the great offensive players. We haven't seen him run double post really at all this game, and he saves it for a money down and dials it up, and both people will open. Yeah. He really that's had two people to throw it to. That's he could have thrown it either or, that's and a great that's click that's on, that's and a great pass lead. And you see that play. It might, it might have been friendly early. Not nearly as friendly now. No, it's not. It's good. Motions are going to start flaring, but you see that it's play. It's turned to a cleft game. Stresses, no friends. Stresses the user so much over the middle. You saw that Ryan Neal had no choice, kind of got stuck in no man's land. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Nice. Easy to settle down. Jesus, oh, man. man. I thought he was about to get jiggy. It's all good. The Ultimate Madden Bowl is presented by the all-new Lexus GX. Big shout-out to Lexus for supporting competitive men. In a game like this, when you know you really can't stop the other person to come down to coaching and clock management, you see already Fancy wants to make this the last drive of the first half. No blue on that one. That was orange. Like my Cleveland Browns, it probably shouldn't be. That's probably not a good thing, is it? Definitely not. Joe Flacco was throwing orange that entire playoff game. Hey, at least he got you there, all right? He did get us there. I appreciate that. Second and ten. Stroud stepping right. Pressure getting there. Oh, oh my God! No oh, oh, pass! No and moves. Moss picks Come it up! On, man. He was throwing that ball 20 yards downfield, and it's picked game, off right by there. Randy Moss. Not even close. I mean, that's so just, oh, that's at Sorry. least, I mean, he's that that's, that's 10, 15 yards underneath where it needed yeah. to go. I mean, that's one of the worst passes we've seen in a game like this. Fancy and with that. And that happens with 50K on the line. Fancy with a, just a tremendous mistake in that situation. Getting a red pass. Put, it, it was wide open. The crosser was wide open. I must watch TJ's game. It was like, do I need to, is that what I need to do? Don't take that away from TJ's game. Second and five. We'll have to snap this ball before the two-minute warning. Goes to Bunch Strong. Looks like a little RPO action. He'll give it to Cook. Cook's got a wide open lane. Doesn't take it. Makes it third too. and short. Yeah, you honestly wanted to be third in inches right here. It's a good spot to be in because it's going to allow you to run another play and before you get to that new set of downs. It's going to allow you to run more clock. I was going to say the exact same thing. And you pick up this first, and then you can get fancy to start using his timeout so you can really chew that clock. And fancy having a problem stopping this run right now, and there's no worse position. When you can let a guy who is a passer be somewhat balanced, he got 60 yards rushing. Do you go away from the run at all if you're Wesley? No, you stick with it right here. Especially, you got to take some of these timeouts. Especially you know, on you first gotta down, you got to run the ball here, I feel. Especially on first down. Goes to the RPO, gives it to Cook. Picks up three, stays on schedule. Timeout taken, only one left for Fancy. Then the 52 in our first half. Watch that tight end crosser here. He loves that down here in the red zone. Using that hot route master, he will add some extra route combos. They got him. Oh. Mm, there's an orange pass. Hey, Marty, guys, you might see it pop up in the chat. But if you all could do us a favor, we've got that broadcast survey going around. Make sure you fill that out, help us continue to improve. The product, let us know what you think. Third and seven. Bunch to the left side. Cook on the right hip of C.J. Stroud. Play clock down to 10. Stroud back to pass. Three-man rush from Fancy. Watch that running back rope. He playmaker him back inside and a great click on end user. It's fourth and three. And West is going to take the three. And that's a smart decision here. You go up two possessions. You get Fancy to use all his timeouts here, and especially coming off a stop club. I think it's the right decision. Yeah, it's a win for, it's a win for Fancy, honestly. It's, it's a huge win to not go down 14. Because if Fancy come out here, he get ball half. If he come out here and get seven points and, and is only down three at half with the mistake he made, he's going to be feeling real good about himself.
Pacheco, nine yards deep, takes it to the 10. Not even gonna reach the 15 yard line. Special teams coverage, elite for Wesley Gittens. Fancy back on offense. He's gotta put that interception out of his mind. Has to. I mean, it, it was a monumental mistake, but you gotta find a way to bounce back. And right, that's been the kryptonite in Fancy's career. Making big mistakes in big moments. We saw him do a great job bouncing back uh, this week of making that crucial game winning drive. He needs to find a way to fight through that and overcome. Wesley defensively. Three Lark artists. Nice dog. Two deep outs, one mid zone, one deep in zone. So he's looking to break all these passes up against a guy like Fancy who's going to use the whole field. Yeah, those knockout abilities so good. But Fancy's doing a good job here. Nice read on that one. Got to go quick. Does go quick. Looks over the middle. It's Megatron. Oh. He just missed him. Just out of reach. Looking for that diving animation. Yeah, just things not going his way. Very uncharacteristic game right now for Fancy offensively. Double corner routes, but nowhere really to go. Yeah, that's yeah that 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 pass rush is getting to him right there. He's rolling out. He's stepping right into the the DN. The DN is disengaging and it's forcing them yellow passes. Inaccurate. Stroud on third down. Over the middle of the field, he finds Romeo Dobbs. Dobbs breaks a tackle. First down. Got to spike it. Running. Got to spike it. No, he's going to go hurry up. Is that a spike? Bad decision. And he audible. There's no way. Bad decision. Eight seconds. Eight seconds. Seven seconds. Snaps the ball with Stroud. Corner oh. route. Travis Kelsey oh. just out of reach. Oh, and Clef, you see the, the littlest things. The, you know, oh, these, these plays come back to haunt you. We saw a few of them from Fancy. Oh, man. Plays like that, they, they keep you up at night because that's a that's huge right there. You're talking about the score could be 14-17, fancy ball to half, down three, to now he's going to need a touchdown coming out of half. One second stays on the clock here in the first half, 17-10, your score. In this ultimate Madden Bowl semifinal matchup. Sanders nowhere to go. That will take us to the second half. One more look at this. Simple corner route, and that Travis Kelsey right is so through. good. He was right there, but how did he not catch that ball? Right through his hands. Fancy can't believe it. Your heart breaks for the young man. There's been a few of them. He's just shooting himself in the foot this game, Nick. But it was big to get that field goal. I, I, it was good to get points, but, man, it's just... Spike that. Probably gotten two shots at the end. These few plays where things don't go your way in a Final Four game like this can come back to haunt you. We have reached halftime here in our first semifinal. $50,000 and a spot in the Las Vegas on the line. It's Wesley with the early interception. He takes the 17 to 10 lead with 10 minutes to go here in this matchup. Coming up this Saturday at 7 p.m. Eastern is the Pro Bowl games. Madden NFL 24 edition. Tyree Kill and David Njoku take on Micah Parsons and Puka Nakua. Host Carissa Thompson, Chad Johnson, and the never, the never punctual one great user. It says it in the script. He's never on time. Brings you all the action on NFL YouTube and EA Madden NFL Twitch channels. Surprisingly, he is on time for halftime. User Clef. You look good up there, you. Hey, I appreciate like, it, man. You look like you belong up there. Hey, I appreciate it. Hey, Clef, you know, one thing about you, I respect you because, you know, one thing about you, you're a guy that respects the grind, right? Oh, you, you would never cheat the I grind. And I would never question. Yo, I know what trigger man. You know what I'm saying? You would never question the grind. You know what I'm saying? But I want to know why you feel like you can cheat the grind on your beard and start dyeing your beard for the people out here. What you mean? Huh? What you mean? I don't know why you think this you're real. This is real. This is all natural. Come on, don't, don't do that. Don't try me like that. Don't like, do that. I ain't hey, natural. zoom in on the cam if you can do zoom that. Zoom in all the way. This is natural. Y'all can look, see look, the mascara, look, man. Look, ain't no mascara. This no. <laughs> they, ain't no they don't even put makeup on me. They say you look that good. They look <laughs> that good. This no makeup. That's no crazy. Filter you got to cheat the grind. This, Listen, this no filter. incredible first half right there. As you see, Wesley and Fancy, both these guys back and forth, fourth and six. As you see, a big play we're going to take a look at right here. And. Wesley able to clutch up, going for it. A lot of people would have settled for three right here, but these guys wouldn't be the offensive juggernauts that they are if they settled for three. Yeah, right here, this is a great combo and a great timing to call this play. We haven't seen this play from West 
at all. And he comes out here, runs double post with the anger eye, and it really puts the user in a bind. You know, Fancy, he really guarded nothing because it there were two people wide open. All he could do is try to bait like he did. Let's go ahead and run this play. And this is one of the best plays in the game, double post. And you see, Fancy has a choice to make. What can I do besides bait like that? You know, he's kind of in no man's land. And right here, as you see, those are the two guys. And Fancy trying to cover everything but nothing right yeah. here. Swirl, swirling around with his user, basically not getting anything done. And Cliff, you can see what happens right here on fourth and six. Wesley just clutching up, choosing the post, and just a great user catch to click on. That great click on. That click on is really what, what saved him because, you know, everybody got zone KOs out here, especially on Eric Berry. That click on to get him back to the ball, get that animation. Difference between the touchdown and the knockout. And then we got one more play. Maybe the game-changing play of the day right here. First half. Go ahead and pull this play up right here now. It's second and 10. We talk about these guys rolling out and scrambling. Go ahead and start to run this play right here. Now, in this situation, you know, you're only down seven. Mm -hmm. You're still moving. You're in a great position mm -hmm. in the game. We're going to pause it right here because, Clef, what are you supposed to do right here? He did everything he was supposed to do. The only thing he didn't do is blew this throw. You know, we seen TJ do this last game, and it cost you a pick. The thing is, when you throw on the runs and when so, you're outside the pocket, if you mess up, usually it finds a DB. Where he should be trying to go right here because I— where, where, He where? went to the post. He went to the post, but he messed up the, the uh, throwing meter. So when you mess up the throwing meter, there's no telling. That ball usually levitates right to the nearest defender. And you can see he's looking at Calvin Johnson. He sees him open on this crosser. This is exactly what he's trying to throw, roll this play. You can see where he's trying to go with this ball. But he messes up the throw, and you see Darnell Savage is close enough to him to get that pressure on him. And you see it just goes right to Randy Moss. He wasn't throwing to Travis Kelsey. He's throwing to Calvin Johnson. But when you mess up the throwing meter and get a red like that, that is the result you get. And that could be the play that seals this game in right before half. Fancy, like you said, didn't spike the ball with that big chunk play. Has to settle for three. Even though he gets the ball at half, what is your gut telling you right here? Fancy got to be blessed. He got to feel like he's blessed and in a good spot. You're still in this game. You know, you still, you down seven, but you get ball out of half. You can go down here, get seven. In your head, there's all type of ways you build confidence. In my head, he hasn't stopped me. He hasn't stopped me. I messed myself up. That's the only reason he stopped me. So you still got that confidence to go down here and get seven right out of half. And like you said, Fancy still in this game. He gets the ball back. We will see what he will do in this second half as we throw it back to Nick and Ty in the booth. Clevin user, appreciate it, fellas. Two of the world's best Madden players go head to head for their share of the $1 million prize pool and to be crowned the ultimate Madden Bowl champion. Will you be in Las Vegas on Friday, February 9th? If so, we have limited spots available for guests to catch all the action in person. If you are interested, DM at EA Madden NFL underscore MCS on X and we'll reach out with more details. I'll be there. You'll be there. I'll be there. All right, it's time. We've heard you out there on social media. It's time for the first dump truck of the night. The three offensive and three defensive players you've seen so far tonight all coming to the account of D Russ 54 or Druss D Russ. Congratulations to you. Keep flooding the socials with hashtag Madball. Let's see how many dump trucks we can give away in one night. We got to get this trending. Hashtag Madball. Second half action, we take a look at the most career MCS win. Look at Henry and Wesley, both reaching that 100 win mark this weekend. On the, I mean, you talk about two guys who exemplify Madden. That's these two players, and for Wesley, he is, with this lead, 10 minutes away from a spot in Vegas. 10 minutes away from going to Vegas for a chance at that ring right there. You see it. And for Fancy, getting this ball to start the second half is huge. Got to find a way to get something going. Things haven't been going his way. Small moments, small mistakes have been hurting him, but you're still right in this ball game. Fancy with the ball to start the second half, down by seven. Here comes Steve J. Stroud out there, quarterback. He's got Flowers and Kelsey over the left side. Megatron and Dobbs over to the right side of the formation. James Cook on the left hip, and we got a delay of game. Mm. A lot of audibles, and that one was not declined. Clep the guy. He said, yeah, you're going to take those five. Yeah, at some point you got to feel me. At some point you got to let him know we're not friends right now. I, li I like that move, set the tone. Scream at him. What a Come screamer. On. Darnell Savage right up the A-gap. And yeah, not the way you want to start every fancy. Taking a delay game it adds to the list of the small mistakes. Then you take a big sack here, right up that A gap. Wesley dialing it up. 
Second and 22, bunch to the left side. Dobbs, a solo receiver, wide right. Cook on the left tip of C.J. Stroud. The Texan goes to work. He finds James Cook, the Buffalo Bill. Picks up a first down, 22 yards, not too bad. Nice start right there. That halfback streak been so good in Madden 24. And that's what you need right there if you're fancy. Get the confidence going, get the momentum going on your side. First down and 10. Stroud. Oh. Over oh. the top, looking no. for him. Does no. he have flowers? Oh my Ooh. God, bro. Like, what the fuck is this game, man? It's the artist. It's the artist, bro. God damn, bro. Let him lose. Just let him lose. And a terrible read by Fancy. He got the post route wide open. Nobody's n near the post route. And to throw that is like, wow. Wide open, Clef. I mean, he doesn't get more open than R1 was right there, and he just chucks it. It's time it takes Cook on read. That one was open. That one's got a first down. And we know how mad it worked. We know how it worked. When After you drop, drop a pick, pick, yep, you're getting some big He's oh, yeah. seven this drop. I don't know how oh, he's yeah. going to get seven. And it's been it's like already 17-17. Seven, it's been like 17, 17. 15 years in Madden. Yeah. Every, every time. Might be right there. Uh, Megatron. Every time. Uh, drop a pick, give up a touchdown. Left it's a written rule. Point, calls it. An extra point away from tying this up. Hey, it's a rule, man. I don't make these rules. We just live by them. These are the, this is Madden law. Mm, it's the so Madden this Bible. The Madden rule book. <laughs> <laughs> West got to be sick, man. When you drop a pick like that, that's like a game in the pick, too, when you haven't got stopped. And how about Megatron to the pylon? And we got a tie ball game, gentlemen. Semifinals, $50,000. And we are back where we started, all square. James Cook on the handoff. Not a lot of room he'll get to. Goes that RPO bubble. Bunch strong. And I think Wesley kind of wanted to get on a hash mark, but it didn't really happen. He's still in the middle of the field here. Second and eight. Stroud roll right, and he'll throw this one away. A hey, reminder, all these games played on PlayStation. Sony PlayStation, the exclusive console provider of the Ultimate Madden Bowl. Yeah, and you can see West, uh, Fancy starting to contain this right side is DN, so Wesley can't just roll out. He's been rolling. Oh, my God. What a lurk. Just got there a little late. Oh Fancy's done. He's done letting Wesley roll out and throw corner routes. He's containing his right side now, sending this A-gap, really trying to keep him in his pocket. Stroud back to work. He rolls right. Does Might he throw it, it down the field? He's got Flowers, and Flowers stop and go. Excuse me. Touchdown, Wesley. What a play to Zay Flowers. Big play right there from Wesley. Rolls out. It's been a staple of his offense. Roll, hit that deep post. Gets behind the secondary. And just like that, we have a huge play in this game. Yeah, Wesley's great. Like, Wesley's mad in game and his composure right now. It's on another level. You know, you have that drop pick and your opponent go out there and get seven. And you, you, you let all that frustration out. Forget about it. And you just march down the field and negate everything Fancy just did. Take a look one more time. Wesley went to the restaurant. He ordered himself some hot beans with a side of lasers. And that stop and go was nasty too. A little bit, you know, underrated there. You don't even think about it, but that's good stick work. And Wesley knows how big that touchdown was there. I would just like to point out, not to inflate the uh, already inflated ego of one great user, but you, know, you guys were doing halftime over there. Mm -hmm. My wife texts me, she goes, is you just the guy talking to the bald guy right now? I'm like, yes, he goes, he looks good. I'm like, all right, settle down. Yeah. <laughs> all right, easy. Said nothing about me, but, you know. You a 40-year-old with the mohawk. He's looking for the, for the old, <laughs> old man, man still nice rocking moves. the mohawk. Come on, man. It's not a mohawk. So you look, you're, my, my wife approves of, of the fit. I appreciate it. Appreciate it. Yeah, the mohawk is crazy. <laughs> the mohawk is crazy, man. <laughs> this is a slight tape on the side. Y'all don't even know what a mohawk is. It's crazy. Roscoe Dash was like 20 years ago, man. Come on. <laughs> Listen, man, I understand you mad that you're 22 and bald. I mean, but come on, man. Now I'm 22. Yeah, you're 22 and bald. You me younger and younger. I mean, you're 22. 22, six feet tall. 22. I take it. 22, five, six, and bald is crazy. You just showed me on everything, Wow, five, six is crazy. Man. Five, six is crazy. We're nearing the fourth quarter. Stroud runs into oh his own God. blocker. And, and Fancy's lucky this. right there. That wasn't thrown because that Ryan Neal was real close. And he does have pick artists. Yeah, and we don't say it often, but that was bad pocket. 
Screamer. Right down the A-gap. Good nice pocket. Pa now it's up. nice pocket. Oh, my God. Cole oh, makes the catch. Oh, so and Cook fights to the one. Saying how fucking. And this is old reminiscence of Wesley. He just said, wow, how hot it is. And I like fancy. Not going to the John Beast with him and facts. telling him. I he didn't hit him with the facts. Yeah, he hit him with the facts. He said, that's hot. He teasing him. I like, I like that. Poke yeah, the bear. I like that. Yeah, that's hot. No, that ain't look. Poke the bear. I like that. And it was good pocket, too. He rolled out. He waited for his lineman to pick that guy up and, and threw, <laughs> threw a tight dot. Fours up in the chat. Fours up in the studio. We head to the fourth quarter. Five minutes away from filling a spot in Vegas. And we got ourselves a seven-point ball game. Fancy knock, knock, knocking on touchdown's door. Elite, elite wave for the studio. I'll give, I'll give a round of applause for the wave. First and goal from the one. Off the completion to James Cook. Goes to I form twin tight end. Gives it to oh, Cook and tackle. Cook what is user. met by Ryan Neal. Good gap shoot from Wesley. Phenomenal user, phenomenal gap shoot from Wesley right there. Very difficult to do on your backed up there on the one yard line. But he's able to shoot the gap, make a big tackle on the running back. Second and goal. Four wide set. Gives it to Cook. Oh, another he's big tackle. Backwards. Get the reds right on stop. Unfortunately, he's in reverse right now. Yeah, and five yards, losing five yards in two plays when you started at the one is not the position you want to be in right here. It, this is four down territory. Yeah, he, you got you to gotta score here. You got to score. Because even if you don't get this, at least he's backed up. Oh. <clears throat> Trips. Remember last time you ran double in routes right here. Yep, looks like he's setting the same, same thing. thing up here. Levels concept. Stroud, quick throw to the flat. Megatron, he's not going to get there. We're for the goal, the one. And the kicker, he's taking a seat. All offense. And he wouldn't be here if he didn't have a one-yard play to tie this game. And, and usually in a situation like this, when you're this close, it's hard to just sit in the pocket and pass. You would think he would try to get on the edge right here. Stroud rolls left. Throws it. Oh, That's a beamer. What a play call. One stop. One stop. That's beautiful by Fancy. That's great lab work. Woo Fancy with a little beautiful. smirk, too. He knows how nice that was. But one of the things right here, four minutes left. We're in the fourth quarter. The last time we saw Wesley, Wesley had become a master of clock management. He can milk this clock out and kick three and get out of here. Yeah, this is one drive. This is one drive. Look at this. First of all, this is the play that set it up. Lobbing it into the post to James Cook. And you got to put oven mitts on for how hot this dot was, user. Yeah, right here. That's just a great play call. Something we haven't seen before. Automatically roll the quarterback out. Oh, the big tackle, tackle right there. And, and that's he just doesn't make that tackle. He might still be running. And that's just something that's in Fancy's bag, right? That's something you laugh for on the one-yard line. You know that you can go to that in a situation like this. He pulls it out of the bag, executes perfectly. Stroud over mm. the middle. Finds Dobbs, completed third in the yard. And it's perfect. It's perfect right here for West. That. It's perfect. You don't want to march downfield too fast right here. You want mo most of the field at play so it opens up your offense. You want to be in third and one. It's way easier to clock this out. He's going to pass it. He's going to roll Green. out. Green. Oh, 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 Peppers almost had a pick, oh, and we have a fourth down. Oh, that's super ball. fortunate for West. That's Julius Peppers. He has lurk artists. He has lurk artists. That could have easily been a pick six. It hit him right between the nine and the zero. Fourth and one for Wesley. Does he go to the ground? Does he go to the air? What a game. He's going to flip to Bunch Strong. Bunch to the right side. Zay Flowers, the lone wide receiver, just outside the left hash mark. Stroud back to pass. Pressure picked no. up momentarily. Oh, it was long. Oh, this is insane, bro. This is insane. This is insane. It was had to an illegal contact. It's a first down. The referees, they bail Wesley out. He did get there kind of early. He, got, he did get there early. That was one of those plays where you, you see the defender get there early and the commentators go, I, this might be a pass interference. And we all went, 
Whoa, I wasn't that early. And Cliff, that's one of those moments where you get so excited. You're like, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna break it up, and you get there too soon. Yeah, you just spam and square it, trying to. How early that was that, user? How early was that? <laughs> I feel real Vince McMahon right now. Oh no. <laughs> You talking scripted? <laughs> you talking, real, you talking about real the Illuminati? Real WrestleMania right now. Man, we got crazy. wrestling fans out there, man. Don't burst their bubble and tell them wrestling not <laughs> real. True. They will it come ain't. for you. They, can we not alienate our entire crowd, please? <laughs> he all settled down for one second. Stroud over nut. the middle. Blue path. Kelsey through the contact. And it's a bad position right here for fancy. You know, Wes is really comfortable moving this ball. You got to get desperate right here if you fancy. You have to get desperate, get aggressive, and get, hold him to three. You got to sell out here. You got to sell out. I just didn't use that timeout. Oh, man, that's Well, beautiful. that's not selling out. That's good. Yeah, rest. Can you get down? Is this really a passer? The first games. Is this really, really a passer? Hurts. Because Wesley, he's got the but that, that actually helps Fancy that, that he got the first. And, and the problem is right here for Fancy, you got to get off this DN right here. You have to get off him right here. And that's why he's getting pounded. You got to be on a safety or a linebacker. I'd be on a safety right here. Stroud, he's passing. Oh. Underneath, James Cook again. Picks up seven. Final timeout for Fancy. And Wes is already thinking about that Vegas vacation. And it's just different. It's just different when you want something so bad. You're not running the ball on first down. You're trying to end the game passing the ball. He's not conceding any downs, wasting any downs. Second. Beautiful play call. And commit. Third and two. Does Wesley go to the air here? Yeah. I think he go to Eric. I, I think. He I goes, think so. He, I, think yeah, you end he, it. I think you end he go it. Because he wants this first down. Yeah, More than he wants it. three, he wants this first down. And with it only being 30 seconds, yeah, I think, but, I think you try to end it. But you have to know if you're Wesley. If you're under pressure, just take the sack. Take yes, the sack. Yes, yes. 100%. Take the sack. And he will. He's seasoned enough. He will. Third and two. Fancy's got to make a play. Snaps it with one second on the clock. It's Stroud. Over the middle. Got him. Dobbs, first down. Wow. Romeo Dobbs coming up huge. And the $500,000 man is thinking about Sin City. And what a play call by Wes. Fancy got aggressive, no deep blues. Wes had a streak for a touchdown, but you don't want to score there. You want to do exactly what he did with that reverse whip route. And Wesley going back to another finals. In the Madden. He's got to make the kick. Ball. You got to make the kick. I'm just saying. We're tough, not gonna I mean, he, he had a timeout. No I, I I, this this is all but you, guaranteed. You never know. This is one of the most impressive runs I've seen. Mm -hmm. hey, this I've is seen. as good as Wesley has ever looked. And, and this is as good a run as I've ever seen. Yeah. He, these two, the game versus John and this game right here, things have went against them. Yeah. And, and he's fought through it. John Beast and now Fancy. I mean, back to back you look plays, at that role. Bro. You look at that role. You, and then you, who knows who he has to play in the final? Who knows? Who, who knows? knows? Who knows? And, and, if he has to play him, and he, and he called a shot. He said before this tournament start, started that mm -hmm. he was the best right now. And he, he right now, he what we, go. he what we call standing on business. Here we go. Timeout taken. I don't know how many times in your life you're going to have a kick like this. A $50,000 kick and a chance at history. Oh, Wesley please. Giddens just hopes please. that there's nothing that goes against him here. Ball is down. Kick is up. And Wesley is on to the finals. What a battle in the semis. A show from Fancy and Wesley, but Wesley is one win away from $250,000 and an ultimate Madden Bowl championship. Wesley Gittens heads back to another finals. He's headed to Las Vegas, and can Wesley finish his story? What a battle. This was back and forth, user. One of the best semifinals we've seen, and you love end of the game. We're back to brothers there. They just chatting about this game. This was unbelievable. This is an epic game, an instant classic right here. These guys just fighting all the way down to the end. Then you get to the fourth quarter, and Wesley says, let me put on a master class of clock management. A lot of these guys we've been seeing, two or three possessions in the fourth quarter. Wesley said, no, we ain't going to do that. We're going to go to old school Madden, and I'm just going to milk this clock out, make it easy. Let's take a look at the semifinal highlights. In case you missed any of it, we started off Wesley fine in the end zone and on fourth down. How about that throw to Zay Flowers, Clef? Yeah, just a great dot by Fancy. Kept him in the game because this game could have got dark early if he don't get that. And then Fancy coming out of his trip side and throwing that in route with the post route as well. Just a great combo for him. And right here, just a big play by West. Just a perfect play call. He had two people wide open, found Romeo Dobbs. 
great click on on a fourth and six to go up seven. And right here, Fancy has it got wide open, but Red passes it, doesn't get that blue pass, and a big play in the game. 17 7, Fancy able to before the, the half get three, but he could have had seven. Could have had seven, even with the mishap right there. We go to the third quarter, and Wesley, an opportunity to pick it off. Alexander sells, TD. Yeah, and Fancy had a wide open poster on the backside, throws a, a, a blind read, and Wesley just can't come away with the pick. And what happens after right, the drop no. pick, Clef? We know what happens. Seven. 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 There was Man no doubt. Law. It was already 17-17. Man law. But how about this? Zay Flowers, ring, ring, pick up the phone and answer to the house. A little stop and go action right there to Zay Flowers. Wesley showing a little emotion. He's fired up. He knows how big going up seven was there. And Fancy came right back. This was good pocket. He waits for the block, throws the streak, clicks on with James Cook and falls down to the one. He's able to punch him. This was a phenomenal call on fourth and goal. Goes with the screen, comes backside. Great lab work there from Fancy to tie this game 24 up. 24 apiece, guap drive opportunity for Wesley for $50,000. And on fourth and one, it looks like a stop for chance. And what's that? There's laundry on the field. The referees come into play. Yeah, and that's a play that Fancy gonna think about for a very, very long time. Because if he gets that stop, he is in the driver's seat of this game. And West with a big time. $150,000 seal with that kick right there. 27-24, your final score. Our first spot in Vegas is filled. And joining us at the desk once again is Wesley. He is the first finalist in the Ultimate Madden Bowl final. Wes, congratulations, my man. Thank um, you, thank you. Listen, the game was great, and I'm sure these guys have plenty of questions about the game. I just want to ask you what this means. You, you have been... One of the best players in the world for a long time. We've seen so many of your games, and so many times you've been on the wrong end of moments, but to get one of these moments here, to seal up this spot, what does it mean just to get to the final? Uh, it means everything. Uh, I always say every year Madden Bowl is our most important tournament. That's been a thing for years now, and also I put my best at Madden Bowl, because that's prep time, everything just goes into it. These games mean more. It being in person adds so much to it, because this is my first in-person event since most feared before that, you know, since Madden 20. So, you know, being able to do it in person and, you know, clutch up multiple times is just a really good feeling. You think about it, Wes, like, ever since you lost that bowl, you know, people kind of, they kind of slept on you, let's be honest. <laughs> Even though you're the second highest earner, and you know, they, they're like, Wesley, does he still have the juice? I don't, I don't know. And you look at it, years later, it's so, it, it's not many people that has that redemption, and you to make it back to the finals, looking at your chance to be the first player ever to win a Madden championship ring, how does it feel? Yeah, um, I don't think I was slept on too much. I feel like the community still knew I was, you know, as good as I was, but I wasn't, this is my first final since then, so obviously there was a little drop off. But, you know, I chose the right time to make another finals, and, you know, hopefully I get my, I get my rematch, you know. Mm -hmm. I, I, I get my chance you to redeem it. myself mm -hmm. for, for what happened a few years ago. Yeah, Wesley, that's just kind of my question. Congrats, but how bad do you want this matchup versus Henry? Nah, Henry's the best in the world right now. No one can take that from him. And I just want my chance to prove that, you know, I'm on, I'm on the same level and I can beat Henry in the biggest game. Yeah, and Wes, congrats. What's clicking right now for you? Because I, I think this is the best and most complete you've been. You fighting through all type of adversity. What is different in this tournament run? Because it's saying no, like it's, it's one of them magical moments where you just feel like it's your time. I mean, the prep time, obviously, I feel really good on both sides of the ball. I told you before I played a game this tournament, I felt like I was the best right now. You called I, it. I, I wasn't losing games online. And I don't know, some of being in person just, I just feel like I'm, cl I'm clutching up more. Uh, what a game. I, I also want to ask you, by the way, you 100 career wins. Only only seven other yeah. people have done this, six other people have done this. What does that mean to you? Your career's been so long. As we take a look at this tweet, I mean, look at Fit Life Gamer. I think Wesley keeps that fire burning. Mm -hmm. You know, there are a lot of people, I've been watching the, the reactions using that hashtag, man, but a lot of people out here rooting for you, but what does it mean as a career legacy to reach that 100 win mark? Because there aren't that many people who've done it. Yeah, 100 win mark's huge. It just really shows consistency that I've, I've shown in Madden. I feel like I really haven't had an off year. You know, I've had five straight years of just very consistent play. The only mark on my career would be a belt because I have every other accomplishment, like, surpassing almost everybody except for Henry, honestly. Will, and, will, and, and, will and a ring make thing. up for not having a belt? Will a ring be okay? Because we can't offer you a belt this time. I'll take a ring and I'm going to call myself a two-time, so. That works. No, that works, man. Congratulations. We'll, uh... 
We'll see you in a couple days in Vegas. Yes, sir. What a win, what a game. Let's take a look at our updated bracket, see where we stand. Right now, one spot is filled. Wesley waiting in the wings as he takes home the first semifinal. He will await the winner of semifinal number two. Henry and TJ will battle it out. And speaking of giving away big prizes. Oh my lord. Oh man. Oh, this is sick. Oh my god, this is fire. Can I open it and touch it or not? Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I, I need this. This is crazy. Yo, this is fire. I mean, that is sparkly as sh That is awesome. You definitely can see it on my finger soon. <laughs> Oh yeah, it's got the fuel on it too. Las Vegas, this is awesome. Is this real? I would prefer this over a belt, definitely. If you have the one ring that they give out a year. It just makes this mountain bowl mean more. This is something you can definitely put on in person and show, and it actually looks crazy. Like this ring, this ring is tough. Winning this would mean everything, honestly. Oh my God, yo, I gotta win this. I got it, I got it. This is fire. And there you see it, that was the ultimate Madden Bowl ring, the first ever designed by Jostens, the storyteller of champions who have produced 37 Super Bowl rings and the first ever ultimate Madden Bowl ring. Wesley's got a chance at it, but who will face Wesley for a chance to take home that beautiful piece of jewelry? Gentlemen, let's talk a little bit because we've got a second semifinal coming up now. Nick Mazesco, one great user, Tyler Davis and Clef the God. TJ and Henry. Everybody's already got in their mind, user, the rematch. But there's somebody standing in the way, and TJ is playing some elite John Madden football. Yes, I, I mean, be real. TJ has been looking dominant out here with his defense. He's been blitzing every play, and everyone's wondering, okay, we're thinking Henry just gonna skate by. Why? Because it's Henry. But I'm gonna tell you one thing. TJ has made every final in each live event he's been here. And TJ is somebody you cannot sleep on. You see time after time, he's coming up with play after play to make sure he advances in every tournament he's been in. Clef, we do get to see for the first time, though, taped up Henry, little injury going on. Mm -hmm. Will that affect him, or is this just something that he's gonna block and out? And that's Clef's fault, too. No, yeah, well, well, first of all, it's not my fault. He wouldn't even guard me. That ain't nothing. It's your fault, because as a big bro and an OG in the community, no. you should have been out should've there been to there. stop him. No, no, you no. wanted to sleep. No, no, no. You want to rub your feet together and no, stuff no, no. like that. Listen, when I'm not there, you got to step up for the community and be the big bro and say, hey, I'm man, I'm 22. Let's not do this. I mean, no, you're really 20, but that's okay. 20 and ball. Oh wow. 20 and ball is crazy. Listen, this won't affect Henry at all. Let's just be honest. Henry don't lose these type of games. It just doesn't happen. These games, he don't lose. And you can't beat Henry struggling. TJ has struggled, in my opinion, just too much. This is going to be a hard, hard matchup for him. You predicting Henry to win this game? Henry's going to win this game. We're going to get a Henry and Wesley rematch. We know who Ty's picking. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to turn it I'm like, ain't no way. Ain't no way. He's going to go out on the lift. I, no I, I just want to talk about the game. I don't, okay. Do I got to make a pick, too? We, we know uh, your pick. I, I think TJ no, has, but you don't have to make a pick. We know who you're picking. I think TJ has a real chance here. He really does. He can compete with it. The, the big issue is the offense. The okay. offense was really struggled. And I'm wondering, switching to that Bears playbook, that he kind of seems a little concerned about his switch. You heard him talk about it. He doesn't feel super comfortable, and it didn't seem like he was in that game. So that's the big mm -hmm. thing for me. Mm -hmm. Said he's got a real chance. It's a real chance. You he's taking a him? Real chance. Are you taking? Just him? that user. Just he and you. Are you taking right him? Now. I'm picking Henry. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm shocked. I'm shocked to hear this. User, who you got winning this game? I mean, let's be honest, man. Why don't you go on on a limb? He not. He not gonna do it. Yo, cause, go out on a limb. Cause he didn't start off his sentence with TJ's got a real chance. Y'all know how his record used to be. He trying to get his record back, man. Listen, you gonna man. mush Henry? That's true. Never, man. That record was bad. I'm gonna tell you right now. It still kind of is. I'm gonna tell you right now. This moment, Henry already knows who's waiting in the final. Yeah. It's, it's, so, it's so much on the line right now. You have the road to a Madden Millionaire. You got the championship ring. You got the first player to become a Madden Millionaire. You got your rematch versus Wesley, but guess what? There's one guy that they're saying might be the rookie of the year. Might be the rookie of the year. Might be the next coming of you. You got to go ahead and put him down, put him in place right now. And if anybody going to do it, it's the king. The sixth time. King Henry. Who you who are you picking? Why you, well, then why you went both ways with I that? I never went both ways. Yeah, you did. No, you didn't. Who are you picking? It's King Henry, man. Stop okay. playing. All right, well. Stop playing. Uh, this should be as good of a matchup as it gets. We've only got one spot available in Las Vegas. Who will take on Wesley in the Madden Bowl final? David versus Goliath. The GOAT versus the Rookie. TJ and Henry coming up next. Here from the Ultimate Madden Bowl presented by Lexus.
every moment worthy the all-new Lexus GX. Seven million dollars. It's insanity. Let's go, baby! There's no world where we're thinking about a million dollar winner inside of Madden. Hold up that belt, young fella. The best man players in the world. Oh, he's out here going crazy! <laughs> All fighting for 14 spots in the year's biggest tournament. Welcome to the ultimate Madden Bowl. Oh! And all eyes are on one man in his quest to become Madden's first seven-figure earner. Henry has a chance to get his Tom Brady on. Let's go! Winning the Madden Bowl, that's definitely the end goal for sure. Talk to me! EA Sports presents Road to Madden Millionaire. One spot in Vegas, one chance to take home that ring. Who will take on Wesley for the Ultimate Madden Bowl final? The rookie versus the GOAT. It is Henry and TJ battling it out for $50,000 and a spot in Sin City. Let's take a look at our tail of the tape. No surprise in this one, TD. It's heavily weighted towards the first ever $900,000 winner in the game of Madden, but TJ's not to be overlooked. Rookie of the year versus the greatest of all time. Unreal matchup here for Henry. It's about being the first ever Madden millionaire. And for TJ, it's about knocking off the king and shocking the world. Number one seed, number five seed. Clef, I know a lot of people are sitting there, they're already talking about a Henry Wesley game, but you cannot overlook the 20 year old from Dover, Delaware. Yeah, you can't. TJ has done a lot to get to this point. Consistency all year, he's been a great player. Been one of the best players in the world. He's had a top five year. Forget about the rookie season. He's had a top five year, period. His year has been sensational, but you're going against a, a GOAT. Henry, you got to play your best game. He's been struggling all day. He's going to need to come out here and play the best by far he's ever played. Who hasn't heard of Henry at this point, TD? Nobody. The number one player in the world, the highest MCS earner of all time. He's the first of 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900,000 ever. 11 MCS Final Four appearances the most all time. You see the accolades here. Fifth straight Madden Bowl. This guy does it all when it comes to competitive Madden. That's why he's the greatest to ever touch the sticks. 11 final yeah. fours. This is the LeBron James. Insane. This is the Insane. LeBron James. 11 final but, but, fours. Which, by the way, like you think about it, 11 final fours, and in those 11 final fours, he's got six titles. Yeah, that's that's a, that conversion rate, that's Jordan conversion rates. Yeah. He's Jordan combined with LeBron. Yeah. Who comes in at 16 and, and he's succeeded expectations? This is LeBron like. We, he had all those expectations. And he's blew past mm -hmm. them. Nobody ever thought he was going to do what he's doing. He had to go through his early Cav years with Sasha Popovich and Booby Gibson, and then he went to Miami. Well, he didn't have many of those. He didn't have many of those. It was a lot. It was a year. Yeah. Cook with the carry. It's Henry with the ball first. Henry can make a statement here, user. 
Absolutely. Opening drive right here. We're going to see because one thing, TJ has been playing phenomenal defense all day today, but this is Henry first game. Clef got him banged up, jammed his finger out there playing basketball. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Will it cost him today? We will see. Can he play through actual physical and injuries? Those thumbs matter, though. When it yeah, comes to Madden, those thumbs matter. Oh, oh it's a uh, jam thumb like a sprained ankle in Madden. But I would say this, game plan wise, Versus Henry, TJ got to send five to six every single play. That's the one knock against Henry. He's going to try to send out five every single play. You got to make him block his running back. And I'm going to tell you right now, I can already see that injury pain making an impact on this game because Henry would have made some moves already right there. Clef, what you got to say? I got to say it's your fault because you want to be rubbing your feet together, man. That's cool. Laid up in bed. It's Sean Logs. Third and six. That's Open a beam. He looks fine. Romeo <laughs> Dobbs. He looks, he looks fine. fine. Looks fine to me. Hey, listen, man, this is flu game, man. He played through everything. And there's great camera work. Checking in on the thumb right there, uh, Henry. Here, here's the question. This, this, is, this is what's important. You know, LeBron plays through a sprained ankle. Yeah. But if it's Joel Embiid, he's out for four weeks. Listen. This looks like LeBron. Scream up. Come on. Oh, my. Oh, my. And that's the thing to see here. Does TJ continue to set pressure? We saw him do it against Kobo. Does he continue to do it here against Henry? I mean, looks like the answer is yes. And you think about this right here. How big would this win be, Clef? He's, if he's able to pull this off, he, he wasn't even able to get an MRI yet on that thumb to see the real damage. You know what I'm saying? What you really caused him today. You got to stop. You got to stop, man. You got to stop driving this narrative. You're so narrative based, man, with your agenda of Clef doing this, Clef doing that. You was a wake up. Now, Clef, you do make a point, though, because User is kind of the godfather around here, right? He is the one that <laughs> overlooks everything, so he really should be looking out for No him, way. He the oldest one here. He older than the pee people daddy out here, man. Maybe. That's Side a beam. Side flowers. On KO. KO goes crazy. Fourth of the yard for Henry. Remind you guys, log in right now to Madden Ultimate Team. You can earn this Lexus Stadium. Really cool. Who wants Lexus Stadium? You want Lexus? You logged in. I saw you hey, logged yeah, in. I logged you were doing in. your solos earlier. Yeah, I was doing my solos. Super Bowl pass, man. Make sure y'all log in. This would be huge for TJ if he get a stop. That's a beam. That's a touch. Top. Oh, he goes the God. other way to right. Flowers. How about the hand dog? Jam thumb and all. It doesn't matter. He finds the end zone. I thought he was going to all one for a touchdown. That window was tight right there, but of course the king is able to fit that in there. Yeah, you hit it on the head, user. I thought he was going to R1 on the left side, but he comes back to that deep skinny post. Threads the needle, great pass lead, and Henry goes up early. Clef, is there any better feeling when you had two options for a touchdown? Oh, no, 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 no. it's no better That's feeling. That's as good as it gets. That's as good as it gets, and then to capitalize like he's capitalized, go down here, a defensive player like Henry. Henry is a defensive player. To go out here and get seven your first drive, it put a lot of pressure on DJ. And one thing about it, this is Henry's first game of the day. Take a look one more time from long range, looking like Clef today on the basketball court. Paint it from distance. I like that, Nick. There you go. I got you, man. TJ, third MCS major appearance. How about third Final Four user? What a rookie season. All he needs is to close one of these tournaments out. Yeah, we might as well go ahead and close the debate of rookie of the year. TJ has the, the guy vote. that we talked about just getting a semifinal, yeah. making. Let's go ahead and make the vote right here unofficially. Who are you voting for rookie of the year? He rookie of the year, but I'm we got, TJ. But he top five this year, period. Yeah, oh, yeah. His, his oh, year yeah. has been crazy. He's had a great year. Maybe top three. Maybe top three. Maybe. Maybe. When you clear six figures top in a five. year, You've had a top year. Who, who's your Who's your other four? Top. I said top five. I think he is. Henry, Wesley, Zombies. That's why I say top three. I see it. I might. Well, put he would be the fourth. I might put him over John. I might put him over John. Same thing. I think he's third. Two finals in yeah. one year and another Final Four. It's impressive. Don't worry, John. I got you. I mean, John was the number two player. He had the bye coming in. That's how good a year he had. And a belt. Can't go wrong with either one. And we got Henry in the Drini defense out here in the 3-3 three, odd three A-gap, giving TJ something he hasn't seen. Basically, he's saying, TJ, I don't know if you can adjust mid-game. I see how you struggle versus Kobo versus something you haven't seen before. I'm going to give you something else you ain't seen. Thank you. That's a great point. Interesting to see if he goes more bunch strong or more tight. You see him here going tight slots weak. Stroud back to work, second and oh, six. Oh, he had X wide. He's hit, got him. Well, how about he had X wide, he has Kelsey wide, and everybody open first down, TJ. Yeah, he had him wide from the beginning. Saw him a little bit late, but it didn't matter. Still able to get it there, pick up a huge play. Blown coverage from Henry on the left side there. Screaming. Uh -oh. He's going to have to throw this one away. 
Henry dials it up there. Great job to get pressure. He had two guys coming free at the quarterback. TJ, nice job to throw that one away. And when you play against Henry, you got to prepare for multiple, multiple defense because he's the type, he's going to find out what you don't like, and he's going to sit in that defense all game. Did you do that? He, he threw that. He did, Henry. And that's one thing about it. TJ, he will give you an opportunity. Every game we see, we've yet to see him play a flawless game. And you cannot turn the ball over when you're playing somebody like Henry. Can't make mistakes versus Henry. He'll, he'll smell blood in the water. And right side, Kelsey. Hey, yo. Okay, goes crazy. Fourth and ten. Early opportunity for Henry. He just threw it a little bit early. Need to throw that oh, a second no. later. He's out here taking three, and he needs to take three. For his confidence, he can't afford to have zero <laughs> points and get his ball back. Oh, no. You got to get on the board, user. Oh, Kicking no. The three. You got to get on the board, user. Oh, he no. needed for his confidence. No. He gets stopped. Is it's 14-0 that... oh, quick. It's mm -hmm. over. No. He needed for his confidence. I agree with him taking three right there. Feel your way out. Feel your way out. And you got to, it's, 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 it's morale. It's in your mental. He got him on the fourth down, the first try. He got him to the fourth down. He scored on the fourth and one. But, he but Clef, you're saying he should stay alive, but when you're dealing with a shark, you need to bring that shark mentality. Listen, listen, I don't know. You got to, but this is, you he's don't a shark lose the game waters. In the, you got to go all in. You don't want to lose the game in the first quarter. He don't get that this one over. But you can lose the game by playing too timid. Yeah, you can, but I don't think, I think that situation, I, I like his chances with that situation. Bean. Over the middle. James Cook. And Henry's just eating up these blitzes right now. Spinner is just not ideal right now. Henry has an answer for it. Everything he's doing looks good. 7-3, the score. It's back into the trips tight end formation this time. Henry goes to work. Pressure picked up nicely. Ooh, the red wow. pass. Inaccurate and incomplete. A reminder that the ultimate Madden Bowl is presented by the all-new Lexus GX. And it's kind of funny to see Henry audible to that trip tight end, especially how much success TJ had versus Kobo in that trip tight end. Yeah, that's a great point, user. You see Henry Rock in this Indianapolis Colts playbook, known for their bunch, so surprising, goes to that trips, but stays in the bunch here, picks up a nice check down of five yards. Yeah, but the reason he does that, because he playing against this offense, and you're starting off in bunch offset. So Henry audibly because he know he in spinner. So you can't run spinner versus trip. So once he go to this trip right here, you're going to see he base the line. He's getting out of it. Stroud, left side, got him. Oh, Flowers, oh, there goes Flowers. Hey. It's a trap yeah. meet. Go, see ya. Touchdown, Hendo. Absolute free form laser with precision to the outside shoulder. That's a hot one. That's why you can't kick three versus man. You, just some people, you just got to go for. If you die, you die. Yeah, but he had to get something up on the board. Because if he get, say, okay, say if he What's the difference him, between three and zero? Because if he go get seven, Nothing right, down if he go get seven right here, he's fine. He's fine. He's down so, but, for it. And he get ball to hell. He's fine. But he has to get seven here. This he, is no, no more field goals now. Now, this is seven or die. And now you play this situation totally different. Totally different. Take a look one more time. TJ's the track star. The Flowers turn this into a track meet. And just like that, Henry's got a two-score lead. I mean, that's such a tight window. TJ can't believe it. The precision on that. It was about two inches away from the defender. Using that L2 button, pass leading to the outside with the free form. Over the middle. There's Travis Kelsey. First down. TJ needs to put six on the board. But this will take us to the second quarter of action. Three quarters remain. In this $50,000 game of Madden, it is Henry with a 14-3 lead. Remember, head over to X, use that hashtag Madden Bowl. I don't think we're trending yet, so I don't know if... Let me, let me check, man. We let might me not check. even have any... Let me, see, let me see how hungry they are for these extra dump trucks. Oh, good defense. Everything bad. Leave him alone. Unreal defense. He had a flat zone to take away the drag. He had the running back bag, and he used it at the post. Phenomenal defense from the King. Second and ten. Bunch wide side. Mm. Dion, the solo receiver, pressure, oh scream, shout, yell, whatever you want to say. That that pressure was there immediately. And these new defenses, these new looks that that Kobo did it to him first, and now Henry seeing that. And a great player like Henry, he's gonna see what you have trouble with, and he's gonna use the same game plan and just giving him new looks. Finds Flowers. Triple coverage over there. Found a way to teardrop that to save Flowers. 
Boston College rookie making big plays both ways. Nice start there. Way to stay alive. And Clef, we talked about a little bit off air though. He doesn't feel too comfortable in his offense. It could get ugly if he doesn't get things going quickly here, but nice dot to stay alive there. Mm, can't find him on the run. He needs to make these passes. You know, these are these are passes that we've seen players make today. You got to blue these. You got to blue these. We haven't seen TJ really get any blues today on his throwing the run passes. Stroud over the middle. Third and seven. Twenty-year-old from Dover, Delaware, goes back to work. Two wide to the right side, one to the left side. Travis Kelsey also to the left side of the formation. Gurley in the backfield. Stroud stepping it, right, throwing it right over the top. Oh Almost <laughs> picked. Oh oh. I mean, the jam thumb might be an issue user, but Henry out here playing loose and having fun, that's as scary as it gets. And this is pretty much the game right here early. He needs this to stay in this game, but this game, this game will get ugly. Fourth and seven. No field goal here. He needs to pick this up. No split Gurley out of the backfield, wide to the left, empty the backfield for C.J. Stroud. Stepping left, thrown over the middle. He's got Zay Flowers. Going to click on and a first down to the 14-yard line. And this once again is the thing with TJ. It's been the story of his season. It looks ugly. He's struggling, but in clutch moments, in big moments, when he needs it, he does find a way. And that's another clutch one there. Oh, He's stepping left. That's a really good user. That tight end route has gotten open so many times, and Henry recognized that. Yeah, that's great just lab film. work. That's just film. Yeah. Film study. Henry saw that dot and said, guess what? I know what he's going to right here. He's not going to run that versus me. Looking left side, Sanders. And I would like to see TJ right here go back to tight slots and go for the seam streaks. You know, when you play against somebody like Henry, he's really aggressive with his adjustments, especially down here. You can catch him with a seam streak right up the middle to one of your receivers. Watch him motion out his running back, what he's been doing with these seam streaks. Third and five. Stroud. Good talking. Oh, Stroud. Oh. Ooh, I thought he was going to go fight for the touchdown. He slides down safety first at the one yard. Clef looks puzzled. You got to let him hang. You got to let him hang. You right there. You're going to get in the zone right here. CJ Stroud, he got to walk in a touchdown because this is the last place you want to be on the two yard line. Excellent pocket, though. Excellent stick to make that play. Remember, Kobo had great run defense down here, was able to stop TJ. Wondering if Henry can do the same thing and hold the door. Stretch run right side. Can he get there? Right. Derrick Henry into the end zone. Oh. There's a reason that man is the king. Just like that, TJ cuts it back to a one score game. And that's why you take three. That's why you take three, because this is still a game. You know, him taking three right there. Now he's only down four. You know, even if, if Henry come down here and get three, TJ get ball to half, it's still a winnable situation for him. This crowd's actually insane. <laughs> I, don't know if, I don't know if you can hear, uh, but uh, Shift Guy Gold kind of talks above everybody else. So we take a look at the fourth down conversion and then the touchdown to the King. A yeah, little stretch call is able to pound it in there. Big, big response from TJ. Get back in this game. Got to figure out a way now to stop Henry, though, because you do get ball start the second half now if you're TJ, so that's important. Over the middle. Ooh, that's scary. Mm. That's it. That's real scary. And I, I like what TJ doing. Relentless pressure. Mm -hmm. Relentless, relentless all game. And you got to play your chances that you're going to get. So you like that he's still sending it? I like even it. Even though it's been a struggle? I like it. I like it. I think you got to keep hitting Henry up. Because Henry only want to block his running back to get you to stop blitzing him. Mm -hmm. You know, he likes to play. Oh, oh. Ooh, and, and to your point, Clef, it only takes one. It only takes one mistake to really turn this game upside down. Exactly. I 
Under two to go in the first half. $50,000 on the line. Stroud to work, rolls right. Good user downfield, throws this way. Phenomenal user there, staying with that angle route out of the backfield. And that pressure's heating up. It is coming. And I like it because he's forcing Henry to play different. Henry loves to send out five. He don't really like blocking people. Stroud to work. He finds Cook out of the backfield on second down. Chu moved inside, back outside. And he'll step out of bounds at the 36-yard line. A reminder, all of our games being played on Sony PlayStation. PlayStation, the exclusive console provider of the Ultimate Madden Bowl. And Henry just so smart. Mixes up the running back route to the opposite side of the user where the blitzes are, and he just checks it down. So, so smart making that adjustment. And he, he's perfect at throwing a jab and having a counter punch off of it. Like, he'll come out here, block his running back a few plays, lure you into playing coverage, and then he'll start sending people out. Brilliant on offense. Goes to that RPO flanker screen. And Hello. James Cook. No, I'm good. Thank you, though. Social distancing here in 2024. That was the almighty stiff arm right there. Woo. And I like what TJ doing, not using his timeouts right here. Let him reclock himself. Let him have to play this perfect. Don't give him extra time. Oh, yeah. He looked like he they had some things open. open. Yeah, he had R1 coming across there. But you know what I've learned? If there's one thing I've learned I, now five years of doing this. It, don't question Henry. Don't doubt the king. Yeah, don't. Just, just sit back. Enjoy. So you're saying he's going to score a touchdown here is what you're saying, Mr. Mazzetto. Sit back and enjoy. Bunch goes to the wide side, flowers. You, know, you should do predictions. Why don't, why don't you ever get to make a prediction? Because I'm doing all the other work. It's true. It's <laughs> I'm true. doing everything else. <laughs> I don't got time. 14 to 10. Bunch to the short side. 19 seconds left in the half. Semi-final action. Nick Mazesco, Tyler Davis. Cleft the God and one great user. Taking you through all the action. We appreciate everybody's tuned in over the last the defense, three days. Oh, over the open. middle, Flowers gets open. The patience. The patience yeah. of the greatest of all time. You saw it there. Nothing was open, but he waited. He waited, and the dig route came open. Throws it in there for a first down. And that clock management, absolutely perfect. And TJ got to come back with his user and make a play on that. You see Henry rolling left outside the pocket. You know he can't throw nothing deep or to the right. You got to come back down with your user. He had perfect defense, but come back down and drive on that, on that in route. First and goal. Shotgun wing stack. Haven't seen this all day. Splits Kittle off of the line. Gives it to Cook. Not a whole lot there. One timeout remaining. Eight seconds on the clock. And we'll see what he goes to here. Eight seconds, one timeout. He still, uh, I don't know if you can run it here. I think you got to go to the air. Let's see. This will test Henry's red zone lab work here. Yeah, he's going, I expect him to pass his ball and I expect him to try to get outside the pocket and give CJ Stroud the opportunity to run or pass it. Two tight ends, two wide receivers, back to Cook. Juke oh. move, fights through it, down to the one yard line. Dang. Probably the best situation oh. for TJ because now you put Henry in a situation where a he decision. has to go for this. You got to make kicking, a decision. He's, he's kicking, kicking three on the one. one. He's, he's at the three. inch. The Boobirds come out. <laughs> this tells you what Henry thinks about himself exactly. on defense. He thinks he's elite on defense and he thinks he's bagging him. So that's why he's just taking his points. But I I'm absolutely shocked like with that out. decision. I just like to point out with that. With that front row of our crowd, what do, what do we got over there? We got we got Slim, we got Dottie, we got Kev, we got Astro, and Shift God Cole. Is that the tallest front row ever? Mm -hmm. Like, if I was in a in a sporting event and that was the yeah. front row in front of me, I'd be so mad. They should be in the back row. That doesn't make any sense. Look Cole. at the height there. There's a lot of height in the front row. Man, I, I'm still shocked by that decision, though, from Henry. I mean, I, you know, and I'm not going to ever question Henry, but you, you can go up two possessions at half? And you're on the one yard line, you can go up two possessions. I don't understand it. I don't understand it. Well, TJ will get the ball to start the second half. We are 10 minutes away from finding out who's in Vegas. The King has the lead 17 10. TJ holding his own, though. Yeah, he really has. And that's big for TJ to hold him to three there. Questionable decision, Henry. You know he trusts his defense. That's why he kicks the three. We'll see what TJ's made out of here in the second half. 17 10, your score. 
at halftime. If you haven't done yet, make sure your EA account is linked to your Twitch account so you are earning that an ultimate team drops. In game, you're gonna be able to get those Madden Bowl token packs. Those token packs, three of those tokens will go towards the month Super Bowl program packs available tomorrow, the second. Be able to get some of those items from the Super Bowl program we revealed yesterday. But if you missed any of the MCS drops throughout the year, you can use three tokens to get an MCS Drop Player Fantasy Pack, which will have your choice of any of those MCS Drop Awards. You will need that for the final set at the end of the year. That set will become available on the 9th. So make sure your EA account's linked to your Twitch account because you're going to want those drops. You're going to want to earn that Kyle Pitts next week in Vegas. Speaking of final, Wesley and either TJ or Henry will go head to head for their share of the $1 million prize pool and to be crowned the ultimate Madden Bowl champion. Where are my friends in Las Vegas, Nevada? Will you be there on Friday, February 9th? If so, we have limited spots available for guests to catch all the action in person. If you're interested, DM us at EA Madden NFL underscore MCS on X and we'll reach out with more details. Guys, we got only 10 minutes left here in the Redwood City Studios before we start planning for Vegas. Got to break down that first half to break it down. Throw it over to Clef and User. Incredible first half right there. Clef, as you see, Henry decides to settle for three. So many times we see people go for that in that situation. And you can't win a game before half, but you can for sure lose it. And right there, a lot of times people end up throwing picks in, in situations right before half. But Henry's saying, you know what? I don't think he can just really go down here and stop me. I'm not going to put myself in this situation. If I kick this three and go up seven, I'll still be in full control of this game with TJ getting his ball back at half. What do you think about, the, about that decision? Yeah, he's true to his identity. Henry knows who he is. He's a defensive player. That's how he's won all these belts. You know, he knows what's his state, and he understands how this game is going. It's not an up-tempo game. If this was a fast-paced game and a lot of points was being scored, he goes for that every time, but he has a great feel for the game. He's thinking, hey, I'm playing great defense on TJ. He's struggling. I'm just going to take my points. And we're going to take a look at this play right here as we bring it up. Now, obviously, TJ just finished playing Kobo, and Kobo was really bagged by TJ's defense. And I was surprised to see Henry choose to go to this trip side in. Tell me why Henry decided to dip in the ba same bag that Kobo got bagged in. Yeah, just giving him a different look, especially when he's in spinner. So when he's, a, when he's in spinner, he's not baseline. So you're just forcing him to do a lot of things when you audible over like he did to this trip tight end. And he caught him in cover two. And you can see this safety, Bo Jackson. He can't get all the way to the sidelines on this play right here. This is a great play call and great execution running this play. You see Eric Berry out here in a flat. He throws it right in that hole shot between the corner and the safety and Bo Jackson, he just, he has no chance. He's too far in the middle of the field to get to this route and just roll this and just look at the play right here and just look, just the spacing of this. The spacing works perfect, gets outside. Bo Jackson takes a bad angle instead of getting upfield. And man, Zay Flowers to the crib. And that's huge right there as Henry's able to keep his offense going. Then we're going to go to a play that I feel like is a game-saving drive that TJ keeps his offense going as we pull it up. It's fourth and six. This is the time in the game you expect Henry to get off the field. Fourth and seven right here. And you tell me what you see what happens when we break down this play. Yeah, you got to get, get used to uh, Henry's tendencies. On third and fourth down, he usually he's a coverage guy. He's an adjustment guy like making Millions of adjustments. Great play call by TJ. And he did, he did a good job with his pocket right here because he rolled out. He could have threw the corner or the post right here. This is a great play call. Having routes to clear this out for this post. You can watch this post right here. Zay Flowers. It just runs underneath. It runs underneath the third. A great pass to timing. And as Look at what he got to use her. And as you see, he, he comes down and commits to the drag. And right here in this situation, you understand if he takes the drag, he'll probably still pick up the first down. And TJ just being patient. A lot of people hear ghosts, hear footsteps, and guess what? He just be patient right here and easily hits the short post over the field. Yeah, he didn't panic right here, and this is a great throw. Look how he leads him down. And look at the click on to get down so you don't run into a mid-end zone or a deep-end zone. And that was a game-saving play because if you don't convert that, this game got a chance to get ugly. And even though we said TJ has been struggling offensively, he still has himself inside this ball game. He's only down seven, gets the ball at half. Yeah. What does he have to do right now? He got to go get seven. He should feel great that he's in this game. So no more kicking three like he did in the first half. No, 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 because now we go win the game. In the first half, when you're playing against a heavyweight, it's like fighting Mike Tyson. Dry, take him to the deeper rounds. Mm -hmm. You can't let him knock you out first. You got to withstand that punch that he going to throw. Henry going to throw that punch. He did a great job 
of standing up, and he's still here in a position to win this game. So now in the second half, now that it's competitive, we got to, all you want versus a great player is a chance to win the game. He's in a great position to win the game. Now you go win it. And listen, we're going to see who takes this game, who's going to seal their spot to the Madden Bowl. You let me know. Hashtag Madden Bowl. Who do you think it's going to be, Henry or TJ, as we throw it back to Nick and Ty in the booth? We have to go on day three of the Madden Bowl, so beep, beep, back it up, baby. It's dump truck time. Ronnie Lott, Warren Sapp, Herb Adderley, Terrell Davis, Doug Williams, and Andrew Whitworth. They are heading to the account of King Nooch 1100. King Nooch 1100. Shout out to everyone out there on the socials for hammering hashtag Madable. Keep it up. We've only got one half left to find out who's going Vegas bound with Wesley. Y'all ready? Y'all ready to fill this final? Are you ready? I'm ready. I'm ready to find out. We got the biggest drive Bow of TJ's. I'm oh, sorry. I thought we were doing something. DX. Uh, but biggest drive right now of TJ's Madden career by far. $50,000 on the line here and a spot in Las Vegas to play for that ring you just saw. Is he built for the moment against the number one player in the world? Screamer. He got screamed at on the first play. He finds Travis Kelsey. To the 23-yard line, second and short. He goes to the run here, second and one. He does, Gurley inside zone, good yeah, defense. Know where, know where to go. Gets swallowed up in the backfield. Have you ever been swallowed up? 17-10, third and two. Back to work goes Gurley. Picks up a first down. And we'd like to thank Yuzer for his final broadcast here on the show. Big shout out to Former employee. There's something answer. wrong with you. No, that it's is something, no it's right. something wrong with you. <laughs> like, it's just something wrong with you, <laughs> when? you man. It's, uh, it's just something right. Just way to say Don't things. forget that this man got to be at the Pro Bowl with the professionals. <laughs> they looked at user. They watched his game tape and they went, that guy is who we need. <laughs> He's a crazy man. He's a crazy. I think I, I just wanted it. Whatever comes to his mind, it's coming out. <laughs> it's coming out. There ain't no thought process. <laughs> Nobody proofreading. <laughs> There's no filter. It's, it's coming out. When it gets to his head, when it make it there, it's coming right back out. Hey, listen, man. I love this job, man. I'm here to have fun, man. Let's go. <laughs> I'm just going to text Joe for a second. Hold on. Yeah. Clip. <laughs> Send. See ya. Can't wait to be in Las Vegas with three of the people here on the desk. 17 to 10. Stroud goes to work. Oh, that's Left a side. Oh, oh, is it a dot? Oh, is it a dot? And that corner oh, said it was a dot. That got swatted down like the Kevin Mutombo. And, and that corner route is running real low field. And Henry got thirds out there. That's not a deep half by that safety. That's the outside third. So he needs a sharper corner to get under the third instead of running upfield and running into and the I third. I thought Henry could have picked that. He oh, 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 a stop for the king. Mm. That's that's the last thing you wanted. That's the one thing you tell yourself at halftime. You know in the back of your head, I cannot come out here and, and get stopped early like this. You heard him? And, and Henry, Thanks, Henry. You heard appreciate you. you. And you Henry him? proving my point. Shout out to Henry. Yeah. He, he knew he couldn't move. He knew have he we, couldn't move. Have we ever had a mid-game mic check? Henry doing commentary hey, mid-game. And Clef, you hit and it right on the, the head. Like, you know, if he was fighting Mike Tyson, Somehow you got to be able to survive in those rounds, you know, because you you know Mike Tyson's going to bring in the flurries, the KOs, he's going to try to knock you out. But he's not playing Mike Tyson. He's playing Muhammad Ali, the greatest of all time. And I love how he's just explaining his actions mid-game, telling us why he kicked the three. I just, you know, you heard it here first. User doesn't think Mike Tyson is that good. Mike Tyson may get in contact with one great user. How does everything not say me one great user? I'm going to be in Vegas, and I guarantee you, Mike Tyson Mike, live out Come and visit us at the Ultimate Madden Bowl, presented by Lexus. <laughs> this is you ain't going to get me set up. Open invite. Wait, man, it would be a lot of fun. I, I, I would have fun watching that. Would you guys have fun seeing that? Oh, yeah. Man. Here we go once again. Me saying facts is, is taking shots. This is crazy. You just slandered Mike Tyson. You how? Crazy. That's how I know you're crazy. How? This ain't Mike Tyson. This is Muhammad Ali. Muhammad Ali's the greatest of all time. Come on. Wow, not Mike Tyson. Interesting. Even Mike could say that. 17 to 10. Trips to the left side. Solo tight end right side. Stroud back to pass. Stepping left. Throwing right. Got flowers. Flowers. Easy. End zone. Mm. Touchdown. Too easy from the hen dog. Mm. 
Way too easy for the GOAT. Henry, you got anything else to say? You want to pop up that mic check one more time? <laughs> and it just looked easy throughout this tournament. He just hasn't been in any stressful situations. He hasn't looked stressed. No. We haven't heard he... anything from him. He's relaxed. Hey, the thumb's fine, by the way. The thumb is fine. The thumb is fine. It's crazy. You being a vet, a leader, you know what I'm saying? The youngest, the youngest uncle in the community, you know what I'm saying? The youngle. <laughs> the the youngle. If I'm the you youngest uncle, then you the youngest grandpa. You know what I'm saying? Papa. 19 years old out here bald is crazy. You know what I'm saying? But let me tell you this. <laughs> What's worse, 40 and Mohawk? This type you of can grow up and get waved, get a fade, <laughs> and you still rocking a Mohawk. Listen, man, you out here, you out here dying your beard, man. That's crazy. Who dying their beard? <laughs> you, man, that's crazy. Let's keep it a buck. She. I ain't, I ain't gonna put you out like that. Oh, you ain't gonna put it out there? I ain't, I ain't gonna put you out like that. <laughs> okay. I ain't gonna then. put you out like that. It will happen to your beard, but okay. Yeah, yeah I'm sure. Your beard's looking good. Your beard's looking tough. It's just three of the people up here have kids. That's why That's why we're all struggling. <laughs> Ty's out here living his best life. 24-10. Stroud stepping left. He finds Zay Flowers. Is this the Zay Flowers show today? I feel like every pass is finding number four. Shout out to Boston College. Amherst, Massachusetts. Safe hours, not too far from me. You ever thought about going to BC? Had ever in the, the oh, thoughts? Have I been there? Yeah. To a game? Of course. Yeah. It's electric. They just lost. Mm. Wasn't Jeff Halfley up there? And now Jeff Halfley's going to. It's going to the pros now? Mm -hmm. High ball free for him right there. That's why he overthrew it. He really didn't trust that corner route. He knew if he just high passed it, it was a chance Gronk could pick that off. And at four to go in the third quarter, imperative drive for TJ. Oh, Great oh throw. Nowhere to go. And we saw Henry throw that earlier. So TJ thinking he can do it, but that window was way too tight right there. No, sir. I'm not gonna lie, boys. There's a lot of game left. Third and ten. Let's see if TJ can keep it going. Takes off with Stroud. Uh oh. But I'm not gonna lie. I just checked the road to a Madden Millionaire. Mm -hmm. There's no exit. It's still going. And that's the crazy. That's the crazy thing about it. You know, the community knows they're doing this documentary road to a Madden Millionaire. There's, on, there's only one guy close to becoming a Madden Millionaire. They're not guy. talking about anybody else's yeah. long road to a millionaire. Screamer. You know, and, and, you, oh, Megatron. and you know what's going on. Big fourth down conversion right there. But listen, you can't count TJ out because last time we saw ah. down two possessions, able to come back versus yeah. so able to come back. He, he still finds a way. I mean, another fourth down conversion. He's still hanging in there. This is a different beast, though. It is. It's mm -hmm. a different beast. This dude closes out game after game. Corner? Yeah. Wow. I thought he was throwing the corner. The same thing. I thought he had the corner up. Four's up. Four's up. We in go to the, the fourth quarter. TJ. Five minutes from finding out who's going to Vegas. TJ once again in the fourth quarter, down two possessions in back-to-back -back game. Can he come up with another heroic comeback versus the greatest of all time? I mean, if TJ does that, lock up rookie of the year, lock up player of the year. The fact that he'd do that, MVP? down 14, unbelievable. What a story that would be. Oh, good defense. He's throwing it. Oh, oh. Throw. oh got him! Prime time! Touchdown, TJ! He ain't out of this game yet, Tyler Davis. User, could there be a little bit of bye? Is there? Uh, we'll see. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, you know, TJ's yet to really get a stop out there on the field. That was hot, though. And we've seen TJ a, a bunch today roll out and get errant red passes. This one, though, was on the money in a big moment. And he's comfortable playing in this underdog, having to come back position. So take a look one more time, Clef. This is being... Yeah, this is a great call. That post route getting all the way across the field. And he finally got an accurate throw on the run, which he's been looking well, for I pretty will? much all day. A little eye roll from the GOAT. First and ten. Screamer. Oh, nice catch, Megatron. Second in the yard. And these guys are just sitting in the pocket, throwing dot after dot after dot. Just staring down the barrel with pressure all on them. And TJ got to get aggressive with his user right now. You can't be out there guarding corner routes. You got to guard low and try to get a turnover and get this ball back. How about James Cook for another first down? 
Henry keeps that clock moving. Yeah, that's a big thing. It'll be interesting to see if Henry starts to really utilize this clock. He doesn't have two clock on. Let's see how far he takes us down the play clock. Samps with 11 seconds on the clock. Oh my! Oh, inside and man, when you get hit and that ball's popping around on the D line, that was the chance. And all it takes is a play like that to get TJ right back in this game. And that's why you blitz. That's why you keep blitzing because it's your best chance to get a stop. All it takes is one. Over the middle, Romeo Dobbs first down, Henry. Great space. And the problem is with TJ right now, when Henry sent his running back out, he has no flat zone to the right side. So he's having to take his user and try to guard that. The middle of the field is just wide open. Cook. Up the middle. 3.30. And counting. Wouldn't be surprised if it's another inside zone here. Remember, three, you're in a great spot here going up 10. See if TJ keeps the pressure up. Gives it to Cook. Oh man, Juke nice move. move. First down, stop and go. Call this man a hospital. He's full of patience. Smart play call there. Go to the inside zone, pick up another first, and more importantly, keep that clock moving. And now you see Henry, he turns on that two clock feature. Gonna hike this as low as possible on the play clock. Clef as, as Henry continues to work. Is there any more frustrating moment as a Madden player than when you're on defense in this sort of drive and he's just, it's death by a thousand paper cuts? No, because you see your Madden life just... Getting drained. Drained. Like, like you see the game just tick by tick. Mic check. I'm and you on conservative. Please don't let me fumble. Please don't let me fumble. We got to clean up on aisle four. So Henry wanted to let the people know he is on conservative. Mm -hmm. So if he does fumble... He did, he did ask. And we'll, I'll check with the guys in the back if we can make that happen. But... Uh, Unfortunately, us in the booth have no power over that. And I would be shocked if Henry passed the ball right here. Why, yeah, why would you? Hand it off again. You've been playing phenomenal defense and, and live with your chance. There is the other finalist. The rematch a minute and 56 seconds away from being a reality. Think we're going to talk about that game a little bit? Oh, yeah. Think there's some storylines around it? <laughs> Four more roommates? Again. Former best friends. Mm -hmm. And the Madden Bowl again for the same prize. With a ring. Two years Doesn't get any better. Cook right. outside to the 10. And Cook, uh, what ended that? Uh, uh, the Madden Bowl. It just, everything lined up to seem like the I, game did. And I think before we get to that, I think it is important to once again give flowers to TJ for this rookie run. And, and, and user, I asked you earlier if this was a flash in the pan. I think we have seen he's down seven to the best player in the world. His game translates. This is somebody who puts in the time, puts in the work, and in his first real full year competing, is going to end up earning over $100,000 playing the game of competitive. I mean, that's unbelievable. I mean, almost $150,000, $145,000 TJ earned this year. And, and, you know, great run. That's why I think he's rookie of the year. You know, even though he didn't get a belt, three top you, you got to look at his run. You know, yeah. three final fours. He had a top three year this year. Yeah. yeah. Top three year. Behind Henry he's either the and third West. Or, he's either the third or fourth best player this year. He yeah, he's yeah. the third most. So, most I mean, as to do that in your rookie season? Yeah, mm -hmm. and again, he's a guy who came from regs, said he only played Mutt a couple times. So being able to translate that to the Mutt world, yeah. I, I love and, that story. And, and I think know, his offense is, is really good, but it's, his, it's his defense that I think separates him from everybody else. Oh, of course. And it's funny, we see C.J. Stroud out here a lot as the quarterback, but honestly, TJ's almost a CJ Stroud he's of the, TJ of the Stroud. community. Yeah, he's TJ Stroud for sure. And none of any more mic checks from Henry, or are we? TJ has had a, a, a great year this year, especially for your first year, and you feel like you can use this momentum into future years and keep putting the time in. He's gonna learn a lot from this loss. You know, you learn a lot from playing in these type of games. Mm -hmm. Big stakes. A lot of people don't get to this level ever, and for him to be back here yeah. in all these finals and final fours in his first year says a lot about who he is. And only 20 years old. Yeah, only 20. The future 20. is so bright for TJ. 20 year old from Dover, Delaware, but user. I mean, it's hard to come up with things to talk with Henry. I told him I need Henry to like settle down for a second because I'm running out of questions. Yeah, to ask I him honestly don't know what to ask him up here. I, you I know, no we'll idea. figure out something. But I remember back when he won his first belt. It was one great user who sat there and said, "You, you, the community is messed up because now that he's won one, he might win 45. He's on his way. I said four or five, and now. No, 45. Nick. 
I said oh, I that. I said 45? This one user used to be, I said that, and then user <laughs> said that. Oh, I you told, attended, I and you told him, so he stole that, that from me. Like, Ian Boogs was Listen. telling user this that. This one user used cap. to be in a Discord. This is all User cap. used to be with us, chilling. This is all cap. Take, you, I, I shouldn't do this to him, but this user is, like this the, crazy. User like the snitches thing. This is crazy. This all right, is then, okay. I, let me turn it. It was you, Clef, who had said four or five belts. It was you who brought the Jordans on stage. It was me. It was you who got the Crocs. The trendsetter, Clef the God. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, if user shaves his head before yes. the next tournament, I'm yes. play, he's just becoming user the guy. How yes. about this? Watch how about Clef grow his hair? How about that? Grow the mohawk? That. <laughs> yeah, how about that? Just grow something. You know, Grow something, low regular. You know, are we talking like Kevin Durant on top? What do we? Yo, it ain't even Kevin Durant. Mm -hmm. I ain't gonna lie. I don't know where my hairline even started anymore. Where it finished. I don't want to know. <laughs> it's headband, LeBron. I don't know. <laughs> Just keep moving that headband back. 21 seconds left in this ball game. Henry with the 10 point lead. TJ needs a touchdown and an onside kick. Those aren't plays aren't gonna make it. it Clock get up. runs it didn't down. Get out of and this one might be it. The rematch is set. The GOAT is on to Vegas. He takes down TJ, earns another $50,000, and the road to a Madden Millionaire continues through Las Vegas. That's insane just to think about his run, the pressure. And he doesn't feel any of it. You think about everything that he has going on, and, and you know, some people fold thinking about, man, that. Follow me around. Can I be that guy? And somehow, some way, he continues to excel and exceed well, expectations. Hey, well, look at him. Look at him. It's like he's been here numerous times. You know, a he's lot done of this once or twice, right? It's normal. This is his new normal. And user, we've been around it. Madden. You've been around Madden close to 20 years. I've been in Madden competitive for you know almost 15 years. And who would think that we're gonna see potentially someone win a million dollars playing Madden? It's unbelievable. I had to go through TJ as we take a look at some highlights from the semifinal matchup. TJ was up to the task, but it was Henry early. Henry just cooking up dot after dot. He felt comfortable the whole game, and you can see it. No matter what TJ did, Henry just made sure he was ahead of the sticks and play after play right here, fourth and seven. TJ, that's pretty much for his life, just to try to keep himself from getting blown out in this game. And a great run right there. Good stop right here by TJ. You know, he gave himself a chance to be in this game right here. You can see he get that stop. Henry ended up taking three, relying on his defense, and you can see it paid off right here. First drive of the second half. This really would change the game. You know, if TJ gets seven, the game different, but Henry come out here, bag and get a stop, and then right here. Just going up 14 late in that third quarter, putting a lot of pressure on TJ. It was 24-10, and this is where TJ was trying to, to fight for his life. Yeah, and TJ fought here. This was an absolute laser on the post route into the end zone. And we thought right there that TJ had a little bit of life, but Henry goes with this inside zone and smartly goes down. You see that veteran presence. You see the smartness of Henry. He's been there so many times. He kicks the three to go up 10. And from there, it was GG's in the chat. And Henry heads back to another final. And this time, it's in Las Vegas, Nevada. 50 extra thousand dollars and a spot in Sin City. And once again, we have to come up with questions to talk to a guy who we might have asked a few questions in our time. None other than the number one player in the world, Henry, joins us at the desk as he gets the what appears to be oil or grease off of a, a chair. That was, that was wild. Uh, first of all, I just have to say, from a broadcasting perspective, I need more mic checks in the middle of the game. Yeah, that, that was, was elite. That was that's some elite stuff. Y'all can hear it? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, you asked the Madden guy. Like, I'm on conservative. <laughs> and you explained your three before half, too. I enjoyed that. Great. I enjoyed that. Um, matching up with a guy like TJ, who's had such a good rookie year, you know what it's like to come in new to the, the sport of Madden. Uh, just talk to me for a second. You know, there's all the talk about the thumb and all that, but was this just business as usual? Oh, yeah, I'm not going to lie. When I was playing, it, it was like Because you didn't leave the tape on. You took the tape yeah, off. Yeah, no, nah, I couldn't. I tried to play. It's not 100%. It's not 100%. With the tape. It's not 100%. Uh, I, like, it was cool, but, like, there was definitely some times where, like, like that touchdown before or that play before half where I hit the in route on, like, third down. Like, yeah. I scored there if, like, my – that shit just – yeah, yeah, yeah. It just yeah, felt yeah. weird. Yeah. Like, it just, oh, yeah. yeah, it was just. And yeah. you know, that's clever to God trying to press you to go out there and do something that you don't need to do. You know I what I'm saying? Him. Yeah, you did. No, I didn't. He <laughs> said he was coming there, he was just coming out to no. shoot. Nah. That's all he said he was doing. I didn't know that. It, there was a lot of peer, I was there. There was a lot of peer pride. Play one that game. Physicality got his mind right for this. <laughs> that's really what happened. I mean, Henry, we got a dream matchup. You versus 
Wesley in the finals. Obviously, it's been a while to get this rematch in the Madden Bowl. Last time you won, you know, you had Tony Gonzalez bring you the championship belt. Now we're back to live events. We're going to Las Vegas, the house of blues. How much does it mean to put your stamp on it? Like, I don't want to hit nothing. I got six belts. I got a million dollars. I got a championship ring. I don't want to hear nothing about this generation, that generation. Everything has been checked. Oh, man, I ain't gonna lie. I already had that mentality. I, I never wanted to hear anything now, but the fact that I'm about to hit the milli, hopefully I, I can get the ring as well, you know. Uh, I mean, it, it, I can't even fight with Madden players, but I'm gonna have to start looking at other games and stuff. Mm -hmm. I'm, gonna have, I'm gonna start attacking FIFA players or something. Because oh, yeah. at that point, Not like this. Like, I'm, I'm too ahead Not of everybody like else in Madden. Yeah, Henry, congrats. Can't yeah. wait for Vegas. Um, you know, multiple choice here. If you had to choose three options, what's more important to you? First ever ring, the million dollars, or taking down Wesley again? Uh, it's tough. It's got to be the ring, because the million dollars, like, I'm going to get that next year for sure. I'm at, what am I, 970? Like, yeah. I'm going to get that next year yep, for sure. Yep. That ring, man. That that first ring. First nobody ever. else. Nobody, nobody else, else has that. Yeah, nobody else has yeah. that. And nobody else can say that yeah. they got that first ring. So yeah. it's got to be the ring. But looking for you, you got a chance to do all three in one swoop. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Henry, you know, Wes came up here. He said he was rooting for you to win. Like, he, he really mm. was hoping you win, basically praying on it. Do you think he is crazy to come out here and ask to play you and be rooting for you to win a game to get that rematch in the finals again? I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't respect him if he didn't. Like, at, you got to, you got, hey, everybody knows you got to get that rematch. You know, you got to get your get back. So, like, I, that's what I expect him to say. Now, do he mean it? You think it's cap? A lot of fake confidence. You got to say the right things. You got to say the right things. But do you actually mean it? You know, media training it. Yeah, 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 yeah. A lot of fake confidence. You don't believe it. You, you call him. <laughs> he don't really believe what he's saying. No, it just nobody, nobody says they want to play. Like, that's not a thing. That's 100% not a thing. I'll say this. You know, we talk a lot about the million, the ring, and all that. But I think it's just important to take stock that you get to participate in a final for the first time outside of these studios since Madden 20, for the first time at a Super Bowl, an event since Madden 18, in the mecca of football. That's That's got to be just a cool, we're going to be in the same city that the Super Bowl's happening just a couple weeks, uh, a couple days later. That's just an incredible historic moment that we're going to get to be a part of. Are you, just, are you, did you get you let yourself slip to the thought about going to Las Vegas at any point in that game, or was it waiting until those zeros were on the clock? Nah, I'm not going to lie. I, I like Vegas, and I'm, I'm thankful for like being around like the Super Bowl, but... I'm not gonna lie, bro. I'm not 21, and I've been in Vegas under 21. It's not a lot you can do. So I'm really my, my that, up, that just really gets me like more locked mm -hmm. and stuff, though. Don't I'm worry, like, I got you. We'll, we'll set them up. We'll get, I got, I got some spots. What? I got some spots. I got them. Yeah, I got them. I, listen, I want the champ well, to be going, friends with he me. He can't so. go. He can't go. Who <laughs> <laughs> hates the champ? You heard it. Listen, I'm gonna call your games. We are gonna root for you, man. Uh -huh. You know what I'm well, saying? Uh, I'm, up, I'm over 21. I'm enjoying Vegas. <laughs> congratulations. Um, enjoy these couple days off, and we'll see you in Nevada in a couple days. What wait, wait, incredible. Wait, 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 wait. Do your thanks. Yep, I got you. I thank God, my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And also, thank you, David T., because a lot of those passes outside the pocket, he's, he's the, I know y'all been mentioning the blues and everything. He's the one that put every single person on. So thank you, David T. I really do appreciate it. Bro. I David, got you. David got you. T. getting the shout out. David. Love it. We're not editing any of that, by the way. We're not editing any of that. Not in DC, man. Congratulations. Uh, we will see you in Las Vegas. What an incredible day of games we've had on day three of the Madden Bowl. Let's take a look at our completed bracket. Our final is set. Wesley and Henry will battle it out in the finals in Las Vegas. There it is. I mean, talk about a dream matchup in the Ultimate Madden Bowl Final, presented by Lexus, live from Las Vegas, Nevada. It will be Wesley and Henry, the most anticipated rematch in MCS history. We're off to Vegas, we will run back the Madden 22 Ultimate Madden Bowl Final. Madden Bowl Championship on the line. Third and goal. Henry back to pass with Henry. High ball, end zone, touchdown! Oh! 10 for 10! Young Henry, he's got the clutch gene in his veins. Talk to me, talk to me. That's that's man. You yeah, buddy, oh. <laughs> you did it. <laughs> the champ is here. Congratulations. Yeah. 
it's Wesley, it's Henry, it's a match fit for Sin City. The most anticipated rematch in MCS history takes place on Friday, February 9th from Las Vegas. Coverage begins at 6.30 p.m. Pacific. I can't wait to go with you boys to Vegas. I can even imagine what it will look like. Just, just, let's just, let's just take a second. Oh, y'all already know. At the table. <laughs> we're not going to be at the roulette, but we're going to be at craps mm -hmm. for sure. Mm -hmm. wonder where Clef is. Where's Clef going to oh, be, absolutely. though? That's my question. Where's Clef go? Yep. Oh, that's me right there. Yeah, that's, that's, that's not me. That's not, that's not right. Go. There he is. Now, that's I don't know right. about you. You know where the tank top boys are going to be hanging Tank top twins? Out? You know where the tank top twins are hanging? Yes. Why Getting am sunburned. I so sunburned? Oh, <laughs> look at that. Come on. One moment. You guys are the worst. You guys are the worst. You're clean, though. Why You're clean. You got hangover for? Why like you got makeup on? You got lipstick. You're clean. Poor Nick. Hey, hey, this is going to be epic. Listen, this is going to be epic. This is going to be epic. Oh, yeah. This it's going to be a movie. It's going to be the biggest thing. It's going to be public. amazing. It's going to be a movie, man. The first live event back in person. I, in the might, I might hate Vegas. that more than the Nurky. I might hate that more. We'll be in the pool, man. That scarred you. You don't even want to go outside the there sunburn. no more. My SPF 75 going to go crazy. You don't see that? You don't <laughs> hey, my you, SPF 75 going to go you'll crazy. You'll be good. You and Henry, y'all can play in the pool, you know what I'm saying, have a good time. Drink. That's what we got, yes. Yeah, yeah. We can oh, do that. You know we're going to be cool. We turn up. Man, oh, man. I can't wait for that one. I can't wait for that one. Stop Vegas. spoiling stuff. We still got a week to go, but it's going to be a fun time. But before we get there, I don't know if you guys hear that. I hear a truck backing up. It's officially time for the final dump truck, dump truck of the night. From here at EA headquarters, our final dump truck winner. Look at all those items you're getting from the Super Bowl program. It goes to King Ainge. That's what I'm going with. I hope the X isn't part of the name because I got nothing. King Ainge, congrats to all of our winners tonight. Do not forget to tune in live from Las Vegas, Nevada. It's the Ultimate Madden Bowl Final presented by Lexus Friday, February 9th at 6.30 p.m. Pacific. 9.30 p.m. Eastern, Wesley will take on Henry. For the entire crew here from Redwood City, California, everybody working hard behind the scenes. For one great user, Tyler Davis and Clef the God, I am Nick Mazesco. We will see you next week in Las Vegas. The road to the ultimate Madden Bowl final in Las Vegas makes one final stop at EA Studios in Redwood City, California. The crowd is ready. The people are ready. Are you ready? It's game number one. Fancy and Mr. Football battle it out for $45,000. I have to roll with Fancy. The right side, does he have him, Romeo Dobbs? Yes, indeed. Yes, Touchdown, Fancy. Stretch play, give it a cook, let him cook. Hurdle and turtle into the end zone. James Cook. Oh, sir. Come on, hold on. It is TJ battling Kobo for $45,000. Oh, 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 Randy Moss. Have mercy, 84. That's why he's on defense out there. <laughs> DJ says no, DJ sir. DJ hit him with a no, thank you. You got to take off. He goes Superman. One more stop, one more stop. Todd Gurley up the middle. First yeah. down, touchdown. TJ. Winner of this game will move on to Las Vegas for a chance to compete for that ring. It's our first semifinal here from the Ultimate Madden Bowl, presented by Lexus as Fancy will battle Wesley. Deep, end zone, Dobbs, touchdown, Wesley with the beams. Laser, that's a laser. Megatron. Every time. Drop a pick, give up a touchdown. Throws it, oh, he's wow. got a touchdown, Travis Kelsey. That was hot. Oh my God, bro. Like, what the ball is down? Kick is up, and Wesley is on to the finals. What a battle in the semis. The GOAT versus the rookie, TJ and Henry, coming up next. Oh he goes the God. other way to right. Flowers. How about the hen dog? Jam thumb and all, it doesn't matter. Can he get there? Derek Henry into the end zone. There's a reason that man is the king. Get swallowed up in the backfield. Have you ever been swallowed up? Throwing right, got flowers, flowers, end zone. Mm. Touchdown, too easy from the end dog. The rematch is set. The GOAT is on to Vegas. He takes down TJ, earns another $50,000, and the road to a Madden millionaire continues through Las Vegas.